Hey everybody. How y'all doing? Oh, I was close on the timing of that one. Uh, sorry for the later start. Wasn't feeling the best, but I'm here now, so let's do it. It's time to continue Xenoblade Chronicles. Today's stream is going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one because this is the last of the story beats that I know the spoilers from. And admittedly, as someone who has been taking a lot of shots at the story and the storytelling, I recognize I've been doing that. Uh, you're actually going to be hearing me praise the story a fair amount today, I do believe. Because honestly, these story beats, kind of neat. And actually, now that I have the ability of hindsight, uh, I actually have some praise to heap on the storytelling in the game. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Let's get caught up in what happened last time, then we'll load up the help Nato and do the usual spiel. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we start this, Duke, buy me some time. D-Tran wants to hear your wisdom. Jeremy, you invincible headshot scripted cheater. Now that one hasn't come up in a long time. It's good to see that one again. All right. Um... God, which... Do I even need both? <sighs> you know what? It kind of... A lot of shit happened. Let's just play both. A lot of shit happened. If you missed last stream, let's get you caught up as best we can. If a catastrophe were imminent, it would naturally be preceded by a sign. It can't be. Convey these orders to all troops. Pull the front line back to the Bionis arm. All units, withdraw from the front at once! Sir, are you sure? Victory is in our hands, Your Highness. We must strike the final blow. Do you not realize where we are? Listen to me. We are on the sword of the Mekonis. I mean, you're in the air, but I guess that's besides the point. Oh, are we too late? Melia, be safe. All units retreat immediately. The ground troops aren't, you know, that's fair. Absolutely fair. I just always find it funny. I was counting on you, runt. They highlight specifically the air troops freaking out and not the ground troops. You'd think they would do the ground troops first. That's what I find funny about that. Oh yeah, I forgot this happened. It's like we're floating in midair. Fiora, are you doing this? Lady Manus, you have awakened once more. This light. Was it you who saved us when we fell from the fortress? Maynath. Where's Fiora? It's okay. I'm here too. Ground troops don't know what's about to happen. Yeah, it's already shaking. They show it shaking. My soul was exhausted. But I was revived by the cry of a young Holmes. By his wish to protect you all. Gado. If he had not acted as a shield, I would have been unable to save you. I am sorry. Gado saved us. Now he's... Now he's trapped to be in every Terminator movie from here on out. Every time they reboot the storyline, he'll never escape. Yeah, this scene. This is the scene. The awakening of the Maconis. This is my pain. Unless it's like an air current thing that scares the bird ones. I can see that then too, either. Also hand. Is 
Does that mean we get to see Gadol naked? Yeah, probably. But only at the beginning of every movie. And it gets progressively weirder every time they do it. I'll never forget Gadol's famous catchphrase, Talk to the hand. Sorry, God's a little sleepy. I'm almost sad. I know they wouldn't do it, but in my heart of hearts, I wish they had done a, uh, like a, a Looney Tunes, like, stare at the ground and, like, wiggle their legs as if they were going to suspend in midair for a second. I wish. I know they wouldn't for obvious reasons, but it makes me laugh thinking of it. Alvis, you are aboard Junks, the Machina ship. Yeah, exactly what Ricky did in the tomb. Exactly, I forgot they actually did do that at one point. I'm glad we found. I thought he did that with his ears, but yeah, it's been a bit. <laughs> hey, look who it is! You're still alive, Dixon. How's your how's your neck, brother? Sorry, I had to snap it there to land on you. So you were unable to stop Egil. I thought that much was obvious. You, Father, I have failed you, Venea. There's no need to apologize. Just to the countless people that die in a moment. So, what do we do now? At this rate, that blasted Egil is going to destroy Bionis. Alvis, what happened to the Allied force? I informed His Highness of the possibility that the Maconis would awaken. His Highness is wise. He will have acted to minimize casualties. That's good. Also known as running away. Brother. There is Although it was the time. correct move. Fiora? No, you're... God. So it is her. The Mekonis and I exist as one. Egil is using ether energy absorbed from the Bionis to force it to move. There is still time before the Mechonis fully adapts to the ether. Egil is at the core of the Mechonis. He will be controlling the Mechonis. <laughs> Good from point, Montaro. The tutorial tells you running away is a valid tactic. That's as 100% true. Are we to get there? The Mechonis capital is destroyed. Father, how much remaining energy does Junks have? Don't worry. I made sure to fill her up. <laughs> On the back of the Mechonis is a huge cooling duct. We should be small enough to enter the control core section via the duct's heat transfer conduits. Junks can take us as far as the duct. You have our gratitude. We must go there at once. Then let's get a move on. This one's for Gado. Here, here. And probably everyone else, but especially him. Gado's wishes live on through me. We will fight to the end. of the Triforce. Then I guess it's almost time to finish this. <laughs> now we just stare in silence for a while. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't think about it. When you are ready to depart for the Mechonis, let my father know. I will prepare the vessel. Understood. Oi! Look at that! What the... There is little time left. We must stop Egil this time. 
It is in your hand, Shulk. I know. This whole message just recap. Yeah, I'm just showing the last two cutscene like sections that we had. So we're still in recap mode. That's why the help Nato's not up yet. Here's the other one. Here's the actual last few cutscenes we've had. Big Steppy and Big Stabby. Do my eyes deceive me? The Mekonis is moving. Boy, you! <laughs> I'm right. you. You better not drop me. You let me go, and you'll be doing sit ups for the rest of your life. Yes, Colonel. Here we go, time for some Star Wars. Here goes the Millennium Falcon. Going for the trench run. Oh, hang on, we gotta, we gotta, oh right, that awkward cutaway. Is that here? It totally is. I know it's because it's a Wii game, but it's still just really funny. Just the awkward timing of this. Vanaya, <laughs> I'm sorry for Lady Maynard's will to be real. She literally does I nothing no to bring attention to herself. Your body. It's you such a so long pause, though. Actually, I'm grateful. Thanks to this body, I got to see Shulk and the others again. <laughs> Where is Lady Maynath now? Shall I call her? She is usually asleep. Maybe she just doesn't want to disturb me. She also seems to hate Mondays, so she might be napping because of that. Two hearts in one body. It's not every day you get to experience something like this. I see. That is a great relief. It's as if I can see into our heart. We each know what the other's thinking, but... It's strange. It feels like there's a part of my heart that's hidden. It's the part that holds Manus feelings. And I can't see them. Maybe it's only natural. Everyone has one or two secrets, right? But I know how much she cares about this world. That's why I'm happy to let her use my body. Fiora, I think Lady Maynath is glad that she met you. Yeah. But she'll never tell you. She's very catty like that. Alright, heavy metal music. Lasers everywhere. Hey, I got a load more lasers. Shook, good news from His Highness. The they stopped firing for some reason. Time, casualties were kept to a minimum. Glad to hear it. That's great news. All areas are being prepared for evacuation. We can only hope they make it. We won't let them down. This is one fight we can't afford to lose. Here upon Ricky, all set. Ricky, bound some heads. We'll go with you. Can't beat strength in numbers. Even though we're not playable, we'll just hang out and talk. What's this? The old fossil wants to tag along. As long as you don't slow us down. Uh, let's see who makes it through the battle.
All right, whoever was you mentioned, this is more like the episode six Death Star run. You know, I'll give you that. I can. You know what? Yeah, absolutely. This is absolutely Return of the Jedi. We even have Ewoks thanks to the Nopon. Fantastic. We're here. Everyone ready? Ready. Anytime. Leave it to Hero Von Ricky. <sighs> Hot take, but I think I like the sure? Gungans more than the Ewoks. What is it this time? I mean that that's on. fair. The Monado isn't at full strength. There's really only one annoying Gungan. You talking about that apocryp what you call it thing? Don't worry. He's no match for all of us together. At least the previous encounter allowed us to gauge how he fights. We won't make the same mistakes again. The core is directly linked to the apocrypha generator. Destroy the generator and the apocrypha field will deactivate. Allowing Shulk's Monado to function properly again. Now you tell us. I wish you'd said something earlier. Oh, Shulk, did you hear that? <laughs> Looks like you'll get your wish. Something's not right. What? Egil. He called me Zanza. The same Zanza who devastated Mekonis. What did he mean? He was just trying to get to you. I told you before, right? I haven't had any visions lately. Yeah? But I still know... If I concentrate... I feel like something will happen, and it does. Are you saying you don't need a vision to know what comes next? Pull the other one. Ryan, you're going to scratch your head with your right hand. <gasps> what do you want Wow, he to did! Talk? He was itchy! Stop playing around. Oh... But how did you do that? You've done it like five times in this out. conversation. Ever since we came to Mekonis, my abilities have been changing. Why would that happen? <laughs> if it's true that Zanza used the Monado to lay waste to Mekonis, then is it right for me to use it? Is what I'm trying to do really the right thing? Shulk! Well, time to have a good conversation. Or to electrocute myself. Charlotte, shoot him! Yeah, I was only mildly electrocuted. What the fuck do you think? Am I okay or not? I'm fine now. Man. Your control of the Monado has always been flawless. It never crossed my mind that this would happen to you too. Are you sure you're okay? Perhaps you are suffering this much because you put all your energy into fighting the effect of the Apocrypha. And you learnt yet, Shulk? How many times do I have to tell you? If something's up, you've got to spit it out, man. It's actually just throwing me off that Ryan isn't wearing glasses because I mean, we saw this cutscene last time with them right. on. Sorry. Ryan. Don't go apologizing. It's my fault for not noticing. Let's get one thing straight. I've still got your back. Uh, thanks. No. Huh? Prepare to die. Shulk. No. Zanza. This wasn't caused by the Apocrypha. It's a completely different kind of power. Shulk. What's happening to me?
I know I should be glad we made it this far. But if we don't find the Apocrypha generator soon... Exactly. The fight against Egil's not going to be easy with the Monado in its current state. And we don't know what kind of toll it'll take on Shulk's body. We have to destroy that generator. It's up ahead. Shulk? There's a strong energy coming from up ahead. That has to be it. Really? Yes. Then this is it. Egil's gonna be scrap metal when I'm through with him. <laughs> Puppet Master, I forgot about that from Shaolin Monks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you okay what are all right well that's all the cutscenes that happened at the end or the beginning rather of chapter 15 and that was basically what happened at the end of the stream last time so we've got a lot that's about to happen here now so let's uh let's get the help not up first and foremost thanks all right we've been over this many a time but this is the Help Nato. Uh, this is a blind playthrough for the most part. I am currently in the segment of the story I do know from Emil playing it in our hotel room. So uh, I am aware of what is about to happen, which is a bummer because it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I do not want help from chat. So if you see this X and no help, do not offer any help at all. However, if it switches over to this... Now it's help help time! Then I'm going to ask you guys a question directly and feel free to answer it. You won't get in trouble. So, there you go. So, yeah, as long as we got a green check mark and it says help, you're good to help. But if it says red and no help... Thanks! Kindly shut up. Alright. Let's get to it. A lot is about to happen here now. Oh yeah, sorry, I keep forgetting this. Uh, don't do fake spoilers as well, because we can't usually tell. Or we, if we can tell, we just think you're being an asshole. So yeah, don't do that. Alright, uh, is this the team I'm bringing in? Ugh. What team should I bring? Well, let's check expert mode first. Is that? Okay, it's off. Everyone's got their max level, so... Everyone's 76... Uh, half the team's 76, the other half is 75, and for Fiora is 74. Who are we bringing in? Something tells me I should probably bring in the heavy hitters, if anything. So I should probably switch my party to be... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm hesitating on this for a second because I was like, I think everyone has anti-mech on gear, so I could still put Charlotte in, but I'm pretty sure Shulk's abilities are going to be needed. Once we break the field. But we have to break that field first and foremost. Does anyone have any arts they need leveled up? Shadow Eye could be leveled up. None of your Monado arts can be leveled up currently. Uh, oh, Demon Slayer. Nice. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good one to have leveled up. Uh, anything else that you have equipped I can level up? I didn't even know you even had that. Nope. Ryan, what about you? No, you've you've been at max level for everything for quite a while. Uh, the rest of the... Holy shit, 60,000 points. Um, yeah, you're just sitting on shit. Ricky, everyone's just kind of just sitting on shit. They've just got a, a ton of AP points that there's no point to use at the moment. Well, I could do that. <laughs> Why the fuck not? There you go. The most powerful spear break. My mage has the most powerful melee move possible. That well, I guess Starlet Kick's still there. But at least the cooldown's like 13 seconds. And... I could give you Heal Blast now. Is there anything else you're pretty caught up on? I mean, might as well just remove the or reduce the cooldown as much as possible on this in case I want to slide that in instead of heal bullet. All right, let's do it. Wait, what did I? What achievement did I just get? 
Down to a fine art. Okay, so I, because I max leveled an art. Okay. Or I guess a different art. It's just as I thought. We were one step away from that. The wow. It feels the same as it did before the Apocrypha took effect. No. It feels even more powerful. The Bionis Monado. And this Monado. They have to be connected. Somehow. Because you aren't here. Not anymore. Why am I remembering that dream? Why now? <sighs> Without the power, I can't stop Egil. I have to concentrate. All I have to think about is how to stop the Mechonis. If the Monado does bring about the end, then I know what to do. Fiora! Shulk, what were you thinking about? Uh, uh nothing. So... It's like that, is it? Really, it's nothing. Listen, Shulk. If it's too hard for you to handle on your own, talk to me. Or literally I... anyone else. Fiora. You can tell any of the others as well. We're all here for you. Don't forget that. Especially You're Dixon, right. who's jittering over in there for some weird reason. You're here for me. Of course. And don't overdo it, okay? We all saw what happened. Is your arm okay? Yeah, it's not bad. Just a little electrocuted. Oi, you two! Is something up? No, it's nothing. Come on. Mm -hmm. We we're gonna go. We're gonna go kill someone. Hooray! Oh, ooh. 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 Gonna carry that weight to the end of the game, huh? Poor girl. When does Proton John stream? Right now. <laughs> I assume you're actually asking, like, what's the usual schedule? It's usually 7 p.m. Mountain Time, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Is this? Yes. The Apocrypha Generator. Yeah. Let's trash the thing. We take this out and it's plain sailing for Shulk. It should be. It is a miracle that you have been able to use the Monado at all. Hear that? Uh. Are you really alright? I just said ow for no reason. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm... fine. Venea, we need to find Egil. The control core is directly above. It is not far. Wait! It's moving! No! We're too late! You mean? The Mechonis functions have been restored! Oh, no, right. We were technically doing this on a time yes. limit. You puny <laughs> are too late. I'm on the intercom! Check it out! Fuck fall your house! Everyone fall back! He's gone and done it. Huh? The Mechonis has struck. Not good. I think it must have hit somewhere on Bionis. No shit, Dixon! No. Where do you think he was aiming? The water? Don't forget, we've still got a job to do. Right. Uh, what? <laughs> I think he hit the only thing in front of him. What a master tactician that Eagle is. I fucking forgot how to play the game. Give me a second. I'm still <laughs> laughing at Dixon. <laughs> Give me a second. Alright. How the fuck do I play this game? 
Oh my god. Probably should have saved this. The Mechanus could have hit itself with that giant sword. Oh man, that's actually way funnier. You're totally right. I like the idea of Ego being like, You fools, you were too late. I've got the Mechanus working perfectly. Ow, my foot! Son of a bitch! Where's the instruction manual for this thing? I didn't go to driver's end! And you hear them turning the pages on the intercom! <laughs> No, no, I don't need to know what the turn signal, where the turn signal is. I figured that one out. Chew on that, Apoka, whatever. We did it, Shulk. Shulk? <laughs> Beauty flashbacks, you cannot, you cannot Why? defeat McConnus if I do it first. <sighs> Whoa. It's never shot lasers before. It must have changed just as the generator was destroyed. It's amazing. Shulk learned Monado now compensation. Next up, Egil. Can you go on? Me? I'm all right. Come on, we have to stop Egil. Back on track, just like I said. The kid'll come through. Naturally. Everything is falling into place. Heh. <laughs> you can say that again. So we're just yelling these things now? <laughs> we're not even bothering with, like, any tact? Only as long as we remain within the margins of fate. I know not how things will proceed from this point. Oh, they're not- they even left the party! Wow! Alright. Cyclone! Oh, no, there they are. <laughs> we just wanted to stand in front of you, so we could say our evil ambitions out loud to you now. What is Cyclone? Monado's power attacks enemies all around its wielder, so it's an AoE move. Suffering break, they get topple. Talent gauge, use large. This fair distance, long, range, circle around user. How many? I don't have many points to level it up, though. I honestly thought I wasn't getting the last art until after the major story beat. So I kind of didn't save any points. Oops. Well, we also wanted to get armor up to max, so... I also took a bit of priority. All right. Let's do it. All right, Twink, what you got? <laughs> we'll be here. This is your fight now. Then why did you follow me just down a corridor, you lazy asshole? Conduct it as you see fit. We will talk again when it's over. This is how far we walked. <laughs> This is it! He just came with us just to get a, like a little couple steps in. He wanted to make sure his Fitbit wasn't yelling at him anymore. Oh my god. What about you, Dixon? What you got? Look okay, at you mean business, brother. I know a lot. You lot can handle it. Off you go then. Stop the nickel once and for all. I'm done helping. Listen, morning cardio is really important. Fair. So, you worms have finally arrived. Agil! 
Stop the Maconis! There has to be a way for us to live in peace! There's no reason for us to fight! You must stop this now! My reasons are clear and truer than yours. What's that? Look, it's Bionis. May the roar of the Maconis be the wrath of my people. Ow! How many? Huh? How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands? Egil! You'll regret this! Brother! Stop this! You'll destroy the Bionis! Let us put an end to our torment! It ends when I say it ends! I will end our curse! By destroying the world! You must realize! That is not Lady Lena's wish! That's why she left us her legacy! Our whole world! <laughs> Pure nonsense! That thing lurking within the Homs girl is no longer our god. This world no longer has a need for gods. Okay, that's kind of badass, actually. Face me, Shulk. Success. And in hindsight, actually, is really cool line to hear. And spread its ashes across the world. Even if it's cliche as fuck for JRPG, still cool to hear. All right, we'll stick with the party we got. You will perish at my hand. What? I can't hear you. I guess there's no point getting behind him. Let's just see what this does. They then proceeded to defeat him. Imagine all the people hearing Eggle from Bionis on and the arm since he's still on the loudspeaker. <laughs> That is my new head cannon. I I refuse to believe otherwise. They just keep hearing over and by honest, just keep hearing random grunting. That kind of sounds like Shulk. Oh, here we go, baby. Infinite damage. Saved by Honest. The Maconis is being operated by Yaldabaoth. Uh, Yaldabaoth. Stop its attack on the Bionis. Defeat the three energy devices around Yaldabaoth, Emil. I know you're here. <laughs> Someone sent me that clip to remind me. In fact. I'm going to show that now. Give me a moment. Where is it? Who sent that today? That was on... No Context TRG, I think. And of course, it's taking me forever to load this up. No Context TRG tweeted this today. Oh, and Twitter broke. Wow, who saw that coming? Come on now. This is from our Kirby's uh, Return to Dreamland LP. John's about to continue his playthrough of Xenoblade as he rushes to beat the game before March and TRG Coliseum. As he realized at the end of the previous stream, he's now approaching a part of the game that led to an interesting conversation during a classic TRG Let's Play. The whole paying attention thing, guys. Come on. Yeah, no one reads anymore. Yeah, you and your stupid no one reads anymore. I don't know why I have to kill these shield generators on this boss. <laughs> Xenoblade! Oh. I got a game over because I didn't read during a certain boss fight. 
I had to take out Fearless Leader. I was just like, okay, yes, I have to beat him within this amount of time, but then I found it I had to take out Shield Hunter. I'm just, I'm just off on the side, like, using my computer, and then I'm like, why are you not attacking these things that the game just told you to attack? He's like, what? You know those things over there? What? Oh! I didn't read. Yeah, that's the fight we're about to do. Thanks! I agree, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your voice was a lot higher back then. Uh, I, part of it's the microphone, part of it's also not being ground down to dust by humanity. How old were you at this point? I mean, this was a decade ago. We did this in what, 23? Or tw no, 23. This is 23. We did this in 13? 2013? This was 2012, 2013, likely 2013. Yeah, so that was a decade ago. That that John was so full of hope and dreams. Oh. I thought John's voice got deeper over the years as well. It's more so I've burned it. I've damaged my throat. Should probably go talk to a doctor about like, hey, can I get my higher register back or something? Because I don't know if this is healthy. Have I damaged my throat? Or maybe it was really just my hopes and dreams. That John thought he would forget all about it. That's true. I haven't forgotten about any of this shit a decade later. I literally haven't. That's that that whole segment seared into my brain. You just gave everyone an existential crisis over the fact that it was 10 years ago? Oh, trust me. I've suffered so many existential crises at this point. I've, chat deserves a couple by proxy. Oh, also, you have boobs now. Wait, that doesn't lower your voice? Yeah, boobs actually don't change your voice. That's not the part that changes your voice. It just changes your silhouette. Some call it memorable. You probably call it trauma. Oh, my God. All right, anyways. I have to destroy the devices attached to Echo and change the future. Oh, he straight up says it. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Oops. Oh, whatever. Oh, it takes... Oh, it's just because we're like... We're level 76. That's why it's only taking like three hits. He says it that's even worse. I think the voice might only be in DE. I don't remember that when Emil was playing it. Okay, lock under the thing in front of you. Thank you. The thing in front of us. You destroy the energy devices and stop the destruction of Ionis. Yay! It was in the 3DS version? Ah, okay. Is Buster. Monado Badunban! And it's the only way you know how, Ryan. <laughs> oh no! Montaru just mentioned he said bad news for Emil. It was in the original, the voice line. Oh no. Overleveling, bitch. Do it. Kill him. Kill him. Of 
voice. Who is that? Strike him down. I will. I'll kill him. A thousand times. Yes. Finish him. End it. It is what you want. Yes. I want to. I'll kill him. For Fiora. For the Emperor. For my home! You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scrap you for even brain! you kill a hom, Mr. Beatus? I want you to kill. I once wished only I to break the circle of suffering. Until I've he scrapped each and, and every one of you! Mena, the villagers, yes. everyone loved you. Every person. Yes. That is why they Finish wished him. to live alongside End you. End it! The wait it is so what clear. you want! To Mena, and to me. <sighs> no! This isn't what I want! Shulk! It's just what everyone else sort of kind of wants! But not really! You lost, Emperor Palpatine. I'm just gonna have a good sit. You wanna have a beer? Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. Yeah, but I would have felt bad about I've it. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know. But I won't do it. I'll let if you kill you yourself. Kill me now. It worked great for Mumcar. will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Over and over again until... We understand each other. Okay? It's a war of attrition, Egil. <laughs> even though I only live for like 80 years and you've lived for like 5,000. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace. Without hatred or strife. Egil, why do you think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas, I'm not very good at answering such questions. It sounds so happy! <laughs> Never contemplated what lies beyond this world. Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Meconis, this world <laughs> Just like John is ten years ago. Yeah, this is me ten years ago. But what lies beyond that? We are still young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Meconis. It's because we don't have boats. To our creators, our world. Build, learn to build a boat. Will, they will leave this place and depart for new worlds. They will build boats. So many boats. Someday I'll learn what a boat even is. Leave this place. That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Hey, Gil. I wish to see. That the people of Bionis and the people of Mechonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes. I too desire this. Aglas. Ooh. Everybody shared the belief that the Ooh. Of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done. Were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Meconis. Or rather, the existence of anything but itself. Hey, let me just pick up the sword I found. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's got lasers and shit! Oh, man! 
took control of my friend, Arglas, and he became Zanza. It was Arglas, possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Dun, Zanza dun, dun. The, the two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate <laughs> the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. You didn't well stab you me. You're different. Sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. Surprise! <gasps> no! Joke! <laughs> Gotta do me a betray, brother, I'm sorry! You were it, that was too nice and savvy, I had to go fix that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That. That was the thing that happened with Dixon. That was the betrayal I knew. And just, just to bring it forward, just in case I knew. So, the, calling him Hulk Hogan, I mean, he looks like Hulk Hogan. That was completely intentional. Uh, when Draco gave me the music to use for Hulk Hogan's theme song, and I remembered what happened in the game, uh, I made sure to have other songs queued up because I realized what, in, what he tries to create. <sighs> new, new, new world order. I'll turn that off so people can actually hear the voice acting. Zanza's disciple. Zanza's disciple? Eagle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. I just As shoot people and leave, brother. Believing. Now, witness it with your own He's eyes. He's gone all anime. The moment of Lord Zanza's return. Choke! Get away from him! No! Ah! Sansa! I won't let you do this! Thanks, I was hungry. Yeah, you can have the rest. surprised everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate including putting on clothing as all that exists is interconnected time can flow only towards the inevitable that is the vision of which I the Monado am the origin that which will be will be 
This was all predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ossie Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? <laughs> Who happened to be there? Who was Gotta have a smoke, was brother. Found? Don't mind me. Who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk. Jackpot. It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What? My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I'd be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead? That's impossible! We grew up together! You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. <laughs> Call that corpse a friend. Don't make me laugh. Yes, yes, but yes. Can I use Shulk? Yes. What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then. And as anything Shulk's kids are known for, it's swinging swords. Those visions that he used to save us. All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high entier fool. And that grunt Gado's miserable demise. All of it. You evil... Yeah! <laughs> There's more. I ain't done talking, brother! The best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of hey, you. Hey, buddy. This world was created by Lord Zanza, by the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before. Then, then all must be restored, restored to its, its former order. order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Everyone's gotta die, brother. More to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Mayneth. The Mechonics! Ah, you're gonna block the screen for me now? Okay. The Bionis! Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get comfy. Yeah, hi. Right. Come on. Here, get in the spot where I can pitch. Buy on these moves. I've been waiting, waiting for this day. Sansa! Man, he blocks it. myself to eliminate Xanta. As long as he lives, there can be no peace for us, or for the people of Bionis. Ha! Then you shall cease to exist by the wrath of my blade! It's... the Monado! 
I'll show you the meaning of wrath! Everyone, duck slightly! No! Why? Egil and Shul could put their differences aside! Meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right! Now! Yeah! How could you do this? <laughs> I knew someone was gonna do it! It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me, and it shall be returned. I want to use the Triforce. Ah, God's taking the form of childhood friends and lovers. How fitting. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. I finally understand. The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided. I will teach you the strength of their will to resist. It really does not help that her swords look like the Dark Demon Blade from Ninja Gaiden, which is an evil sword. ...to deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right! We won't let you erase everyone's futures! This battle is mine, Maynard! Oh, right, okay. Forgot about this part. Ah. Is that all you've One, got? Two, <laughs> Your energy is mine. Ah. So yeah, all that that just happened... ...got spoiled for me a decade ago, and I never forgot. Is that all you've got? Is that all you've got? Ha. Is that all you've got? So you can see why I never really felt the need to play Xenoblade. Is that all you've got? Because I kind of knew a lot. <laughs> you are a pathetic excuse for a god. Is that all you've got? How did it stay so rooted for so long? So, um, another game that Monolith made has a similar, but not as extreme, uh, version of this event happening, where the main character is the bad guy, and, uh, it was one of my favorite RPGs, so as a result, uh, when, when this happened, when Emil was in the room, I said, oh shoot, it's just like this game. Well, I'll never forget this now, because that was my favorite part of that game. That's also why I said if you know other the way uh, Monolith likes to write their games, this doesn't hit as hard. But it's still a fucking cool scene. And you talk of sharing this world with me. So that's why the dead boy is important to you. The homes are nothing but bacteria, clinging to my body. They are living beings. If you cannot understand this, you have no right to call yourself a god. And who decides that? A god. Because only a god may decide. This world only needs one god, Maynard. 
But it's two worlds, you idiot. Only if you stop facing me like a bitch. Then say goodbye to your putrid friends. Zenda! Nina! Such a fool. This is what I wish. This world. Belongs to you all. Create a world. With no need for gods. Mayna! Now I have two Monados! The big hand and the little hand! Goodbye! Disappear! He's gone. And things ain't looking good for us. Hey, mister. Let it begin. Hey. The ceremony of destruction. And recreation! Who's a good boy? Who's watching the end of the world? You are? Yeah, you're enjoying watching the end of the world. Good boy. Yeah. All those city little homes are gonna regret everything, aren't they? Yes, they is. Yes, they is. God's an asshole, isn't he, Bagel? Yes, he is. He's such an asshole. He's a good boy. The... the Bionis? That light! What's happening now? <laughs> Vanea. I'm sorry. I was. I understand. I always knew it might come to this. Go, Vanea. Do what you must. While there is still time remaining. Go beat up the guy that killed my boyfriend. Is not lost. No! You must come with me! I too have something that I must do. It's called dying. The final wish. Trusted to me. By Lady Mayneth. Oh, brother. Melia? I understand your feelings. Leave it to us. We know what we must do. We will do all we can for the people of Maconis. Uh. Now go. Shulk can still be saved. Do not let the last glimmer of hope be extinguished. Begum. Go in peace. Let's go. We're leaving the Mancomets. Ryan, take care of Shaw. Got it. I've been doing that the entire game. What's different now? You okay? Yes. Good. It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the Central Factory. Wait a minute. Let's go. Good, it still works. Oh yeah, right. We're it's gonna explode. Hang on, we should probably run. He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone. Meow. Goodbye, my brother. Fun fact, if you were to run down to the Central Factory Warp now and walk all the way up to it, you could get back to Agnaratha and it's untouched completely. Wow. 
Wow. Did they fix that for DE or is that still in there? Yeah, bagel's directly underneath the microphone if you hear him purring, so. Yeah. Hi. You picked an interesting time to annoy me, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, say hi to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, rub your face against the microphone. Yeah, good boy. Bagel, everyone's dying right now. No, pet the cat. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed one of our guests is a corpse. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> oh. All right, Bagel's leaving now. He's gotten his fill. Oh my god. Yeah, so uh, you can see why I never forgot any of this. <laughs> you know? But I will also say so now that I've actually played through the entire game well, like up to this point uh, for all the, the ragging on I've done for the game for saying like oh man, it's really bad about foreshadowing they actually handled this one exceptionally well. There's a bunch of points earlier in the in the game, very early like chapter 1 where, or like chapter two, where Shulk says, there's two voices inside of me. One wants revenge. That's fucking that. That's so cool. And then little bits and pieces like uh, him having no sense of taste because he's dead. There's just like, they actually handled that really well for a game that handles everything else about foreshadowing kind of, uh, Lee, that the biggest story beat, they handled expertly. I think they did a fantastic job with that. A little, a little shaky uh, at the part where they start showing the dream because you can still extrapolate a little bit that like something weird is up there because everyone died at the at the place where they found the sword, so you can sort of extrapolate a little bit there. But it actually um, it brings me back to another scene too. Remember when like the whole group is in like uh, the the evil group? They're in like a room and they're talking like I think uh, Alva says a line of like. Uh, he's known him longer than any of us and he's referring to Dixon and the part about that I love is you assume that they're talking about he knows Shulk that entire time but he's really fucking referring to how long he's known Zanza and that's a fucking great scene too because of that there's like it's really actually handled well for all the harping I've done on the game in the story beats of this point they nailed this one absolutely nailed it so i will give credit where credit is due i like that a lot it's really well done i just wish i hadn't had it spoiled for me a decade ago and never forgot it <laughs> all right let's put the party that we're actually going to use let's get the fuck out of here So is the rest of the story now blind again or not? No, there's a there's like a boss fight a ways away that I still that I know about as well. So we've got a bit yet before I'm in blind territory. Dixon's name makes so much sense. He's a dick to his adopted son. I I'm going to assume that was not intentional, but if it is, that's like god tier. That is absolutely god tier cuz you wouldn't even think about that. So is this why the Monado robbed Dunban of the use of his arm? Because Zanza didn't want him as his vessel? So this so this is the thing. And I, and I have to pause to talk about this. Sorry, because I'm, I'm like animated with my hands and everything right now. Uh, at the point that they find the Monado, Zanza is already in Shulk's body. So uh, Dunban uses it just to keep them alive. And that's why uh, Zanza's soul and the sword lets him use it. But it's damaging him because it's too much power at once. It's Zanza's power that gives them all the visions. 
And that's why they he wanted to use it against the McConnus because he hates McConnus. But at the same time, it damages living tissue. That's why it doesn't damage Shulk for so long, because Shulk is dead. But you'll notice at the last the cutscenes that we started the, with the flashback here, or like I guess from previous stream, uh, Shulk says he's not seeing visions anymore. Shulk is saying that he uh, like he's not seeing visions, and he gets electrocuted because it's actually eating up like his his body and doing damage to him. That is because Zanza didn't actually want him to kind of to succeed in the way he was going. So he was trying to kill Shulk to release his own body so he could enact his plan. The fact is Shulk was so good at his job because of Zanza, he actually fucked over Zanza's plan, which is awesome. I think that's so cool that we literally stumbled our way into fucking up the bad guy's plan. And that is why Dixon shows up and kills him to release him. Zanza was trying to kill him by f like not doing the uh, by not doing the visions anymore, but he had been using the power for so long he just knew it by reflex and instinct. Shulk was falling forward for Zanza. Exactly. Well, no, falling forward past Zanza's plan. He was literally fucking up Zanza's plan in a way. But yeah, no, it's it's I actually really like how that is handled. Zanza's plan was working too well, exactly. He didn't account for his plan actually succeeding. That's why Dixon in the cutscenes like uh it's like well, I guess he didn't do a good enough job cuz he's actually referring to him like kind of fucking up and not having died yet or not making it close enough to actually have Zanza help. Cuz the true Monado wasn't quite released. That's why he's surprised like, "Ah, oh, I guess we'll be fine after all," or whatever he says. He said in like the cutscene before we fought the the core. I'm learning so much, and I just watched someone play through this after playing it myself two years ago. Well, this is it. This is what like this is the thing that's kind of bugged me at the game. That's why I've been analyzing the story so much because like there's so much of it that I'm just like eh on, but like it nails this absolutely. As much as I was being earlier like yeah no they kind of botched this or like they should handle this better. No, they handle this perfectly. They handle this great. I'm sure there's something they could have tweaked, whatever. I can't see that right now, because honestly, I, I'm just blown away that they actually did stick that landing, because that is a fucking hard landing to land. The fucking taste thing blew my mind, John. You can thank Emil for that one. Emil reminded me of that one. I can't steal that one from Emil. Emil was like, yeah, no, the, the whole fact that Shulk has no taste means he's dead. We were having this conversation at MAGFest. Because I told him, like, yeah, up to this point, the story's been, like, a 6 out of 10. This is, like, 11 out of 10 territory, this whole shit landing. So, like, yeah, this, this, this is good. I love this part. It looks like it's all over. Yep, I know, even though I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, I can see the explosions and all the murder and screaming. Also, the, the speaker was on. I want to thank you for what you did to my for my son, but we had to escape here first. Shall we go back to the village? Okay. And wait a little longer, you know, they'll probably be fine. Let's just go. I guess actually, hang on, before I do this. Now it's hap hap time. I don't actually need to do anything here, right? It's just safe to leave. Just making sure we haven't missed anything. Nope, nope, you're good, you're good. There's nothing here, you're good, believe so, yep. Alright, cool, thanks. Thanks! Stubborn mortals, so desperate to cling to your pathetic lives, even when there is no hope for you! You didn't kill me, remember? Damn it, you guys! Die! 
infinite damage! So glad we made that an alert. You must succeed. Lady. Alright, y'all have a little too I knew. I no one can resist now. We got everyone off, right? Look, starboard. What's that cloud? Bugs. Oh, it's the high anti or whatever they were called. It's Telethia. Telethia, thank you. I couldn't resist. I absolutely could not resist. You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this. Ever since long before any of you lot were born. I am the oldest man! Before we were born. Now you get it. It's just like Eggle said. Lord Zanza's disciple. Dixon of the Trinity! I'm Hollywood Dixon, brother. Gonna get me to star in Mr. Nanny. In Suburban Commando. Watch all my movies on the Bionis in the big screen. Hi, babe. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, okay. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> I love you. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Did the cat go upstairs and take it? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, still carrying a corpse. <laughs> Landmark! Hooray! Ah, uh, shoot, what did I do? Yeah, I think it's just usually the same thing. Aw, oh, crap, the order's backwards. Ah, uh, crap. Well, I can still do this at least. Normally I put Ryan in the third slot so I can just use Sword Drive with the multiplier. I don't fall for not noticing that. He's not taking damage, is he? No, no, never mind. He is. Back to the fight you know about. I guess as a yes-no question. Is this the boss at the end or the next major area? Um, pay for your insolence is the best hint I can give for that. If you know what that line means, that's the boss fight. That's the last boss fight I remember.
Ha 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 ha! You waste of space. Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast. Really? We killed like you took away half your health without really trying. You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! <laughs> Had to mix it up, huh? <sighs> Who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you alright? Oh yeah, that army I helped build. Oops, my bad. My bad, brother. Dixon, he works for the Bionis. He shot Shulk in the back. Is this true? I wanted to do that. Dixon, this ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havres squadron. You cannot win. Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people. Instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right? Lorathea? Whoa! Mondo cool! Lorathea! That's right, boys. Are you in Mondo this cool. as well? Your Highness. <laughs> your naivety is quite charming. I can't believe the character who absolutely looks like she was gonna betray us is gonna betray us! Oh my god! with you and your father. What? What is this light? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't. Lorothea! Awaken, my darling pets! Ooze! They are Telethia. Brother! M Melia! I didn't expect the ooze. Let him go! You misunderstand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself! It's just like she says. The High and Tear are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. They're the white blood cells, Their if you will. They contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. <laughs> It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. Because you're only half white blood cell. Brother? Whatever. You're like we gray or something. I don't know. We didn't think this through fully. Anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a Telethia, no. it just means you're going to get that crushed no by one. Okay, that's a really good, <laughs> that's a really good picture for Dixon. <laughs> Rise up, pets. Do my bidding. Kill Gonna drop the, the sickest rap system. album of the year, brother. Gonna get that macho man, <laughs> Randy McConnus, and show him up. Brother! Straight out of my honest, brother. <laughs> I look like Genova now. I can't help it. I worked on my cosplay for too long. Can't give up on conventions. At least I can still show them the destiny of our people. The burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye. These moments are to be treasured. How? It's almost like love is some sort of power in this universe. I don't understand being a dominatrix. Brother! Melia! 
father's wish and the future of the High Entia are in your hands. Yours and Shulk's. <gasps> Telethia, <laughs> destroy him! Fucking move! You have so much time to move! Damn it, he's right! <laughs> it is too late! Brother! No, Melia, don't jump off the boat! Are you my brother, Rex Racer? <laughs> You are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. Meanwhile, in space. Oh, so this is where you go when you die. Finally, I can get my laps in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I died. That fucking hurt. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I forgot that's what he says. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. That's hilarious. What was the purpose of my life? <laughs> Wish I wore something to protect my chest, like maybe a shirt? <laughs> really should have done that at some point. At least I got a sick tan, though. No. I've got it wrong. I was never alive. It was Zanza. All along. I... Everything I did was... Do you want to say... Pointless? <gasps> that voice... Pick a fucking side, Elvis! <gasps> Nobody else can decide that. Only you. Meanwhile, back in reality. Alvis did pick a side team, Alvis. Touche, yeah. He picked the side of the of the fate yeah. knowers, true soothsayers, whatever you want to call it. New weapon. Since you lost your Monado, I mean. We base it off the one that murdered everyone. Uses the latest machina technology. You'll love it. Use it when you wake up. To murder. Let's all go on living. After all the murdering. We've relocated the Hyentia and the Nopon refugees to Colony 6. Thankfully, the Mekon did us a favor by fortifying it for us. It should hold out for a while. It's ironic. We want to escape Ranza. <laughs> he always loved we machines. His body, the Bionis. <laughs> well... This is our home. Princess, I have to- Oh know. yeah, you're here! Should we be worried about the evacuated Hyentia? I cannot be sure, but I believe not. All those who survived are part Homs like me. Understood. If they ever do transform, I will be among them. If that time comes, you know what to do. Are you sure? Everyone is obliged to accept their fate. No way! There's no way Kallion would leave the fate of the High Entia to you if that was gonna happen. Isn't this whole game about defying fate? Melia, have you really not been paying that much attention? If we are to survive, we must fight Zanza and the Telethia. 
It may not be the case with all of them, but a large number of Telethia were once high in here. Your subjects and your brethren. I am prepared for that. Even if it means harming my brethren, it is for the protection of the survivors. That is the final wish of my father and brother. I will fight to free the souls stolen. To be fair, where did that get them? You're a fighter, man. Eh, touche. Got me there. In the fight ahead. How shock. He's going to make it. His wound has closed. I think Maynith used the last of her power to protect him. So he's okay. Linada is tending to him now. Fiora? He won't wake up. It's like his consciousness has sunk to the bottom of a cold, dark lake. I keep saying his name, but he doesn't respond. Sansa's gonna pay for this. What if the Telethia attack? Then we'll have to fight without Shulk. That's why we've strengthened our defenses. That weapon I made should come in handy as well. We're backed into a corner, but we'll give it all we've got. Can your resistance truly achieve anything? What do you mean by that, Alvis? Exactly what I said. We were all born of the Bionis, of Zanz. I'm here to be a downer for a Zanz's while. Will that the Telethia return us to the body from whence we came. But I just don't really like wrestling, so I'm going to hang out with you guys for a bit. It's much quieter when Dixon's not around. Return to the Bionis. We cannot escape this fate. Am I wrong? You've got it backwards, man. Just because he thinks it doesn't make it so. We decide whether to keep living or not. I agree. Even though he's our creator, that doesn't afford him the right to take our lives on a whim. Even though he's literally God. That is the thinking of a Holmes. He is a god. Such morals cannot apply to gods. So you think we should just shut up and die? If that is the fate decided by a god. You are mistaken if you think we will simply accept such a fate and wait to die. We'll never stop fighting. Not till the end. Yeah, we power leveled for a reason. The outcome is the same. Thus, your logic is flawed. It ain't the outcome that's important. It's the will to fight back. Even if you die in vain. Alvis! Whose side are you on? You scared or something? Frightened of a few Telethia? Stop this. There's no point fighting amongst ourselves. It is, though it is entertaining. Fiora. Sorry. I need to go and get some air. My triangle shrunk. I need to go get it washed. Hmm. Oh, that is not who I thought I'd be in control of. But it's fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. The affinity chart just updated, and I lost my shit because that means they literally took the time to admit, let you know, Dixon's a piece of shit. <laughs> All right, I gotta see it. All right, we're still we're still good there. Still good there. What, where, where would Dixon be on this list? Is he even in here? I don't even remember. <laughs> All right. Now it's help help time. Oh shit! Okay, that's oh. There's everyone who's dead. Okay, never mind. I don't need the Monado now. Thanks. Never mind. I answered that myself. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Wait, can you give gifts to Shulk's corpse right now? Oh, buddy, we're trying it. Oh, we're trying it. Ah, no. It has to be in the party. They thought of it. Alright, someone said talk to Shulk's corpse at midnight.
Like, will this do anything right now? Like, this isn't gonna kick off a s- no, because the story beat's far away. I do appreciate that the flippers are actually like not bending, they're just they're just ready. Like this he's just on the little ledge there. And he's set to go. <laughs> no shit, Melia! No fucking shit! You think? My life might have been turned upside down just a smidge with my father dying because of you and my brother dying because of the the god that was hidden in your body and I guess really everyone I loved and cared for died because of you. Really? Why am I sad about you being dead? I don't understand. Yeah, no, that tracks. That absolutely tracks. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna go through it in great detail too. This is great. I fucking hate you, Shulk. Yet I still want to go out on a date with you. You've kept me strong, even though you've killed everyone around me that I cared for. You, Charlotte, Ricky, my only friends out of that entire group. Not mentioning the Dunban family at all. Or Ryan. How can I even begin to put my gratitude into words? Mainly because they mostly start with fuck you. I do not think you have noticed being in a corpse and a coma and all that. Out of everyone, you've given the most for me. It's even because of you that I feel the way I do now. They've given you nothing in return, except for everyone I cared for and loved and all that jazz. Chilk, what can I do for you? Are you my brother, Rex Racer? <laughs> you are his brother. I can see the resemblance. Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. They're not implying what I think they're implying, are they? They didn't- they didn't imply necrophilia, did they? Well, I guess he's not dead, but... It would have been a kiss? Okay, alright, that's way better, because, like, the way they framed that came off with much worse connotation than just giving a kiss. If it's just a kiss, that's fine. But the way they framed that made it seem they went much worse. You jumped a couple steps, dude. I thought she was going to. <laughs> She's the one who's harboring like an un unrequited like f love there. I must not take advantage of it. I must not succumb to it. I can't stand equally with Shulk. Mainly because he's not standing. I can only protect the happiness for which Shulk wishes. That is all. Next time I'll try to protect the people important to Shulk. And maybe also Shulk next time. I don't know. I'll think about it. Sorry, it's just the way that she, like, they faded. It's the fadeaway that got me. It's the fadeaway and then the no, no, no. I'm just like, whoa, what are they implying? All right, uh, people are telling me probably take. Oh yeah, no, we're definitely overdue for a break. Yeah, well, perfect time to take a break then. Uh, 
Honestly, a lot of people thought the same thing, including myself. At least I'm not alone in that. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's go to break proper. That, that was a lot to take in. That was a lot to take in. Just wondering, when you got spoiled, was it also Emil's first playthrough? Yes. Yes, it was. He, he had gotten the game... Uh, we picked it up when we were at PAX East that year. Which I guess was like... I think that was May. And then he was still playing it when we went to E3, which would have been like a month later in June. So, uh, he was trying to beat it. But he thought he was only a couple hours away from the end. So he thought he was going to be able to beat it easily while we were there recording. And uh, the point that he was that he started at was um, the proper fight with Gadol. So I mentioned this last stream when I saw Gadol's like Terminator look. I'm like, oh shit, I remember this. Yeah, we might not get past the parts I've seen because of a meal. Not, not not this stream, I should say. Not this stream. Because people wanted me to do side quests. So we're going to be doing some side quests when we start getting that, like, repopulated. So, But let's take a break first. So I'm wondering now, could Shulk's inability to talk about what's eating at him be a subconscious habit because Zanzo doesn't want Shulk to succeed too hard, like you were saying earlier? Or do you think it's still JRPG protagonist syndrome? No, that is absolutely JRPG protagonist syndrome. I don't I don't think Zenza was trying that hard. I just realized I forgot to turn on the the transition. Oops. All right. Let's drop some eggs. I know at least Oh my god, there's so many in the carton right now. Uh, Bub, are you here? Did you give me your, my list? I don't think you are. <coughs> Montaru says, So the storyboard for this scene was way darker, the scene with Dixon explaining everything. Shulk is bleeding out, and at the point Dixon throws away the cigar, he's putting it out into the pooling puddle of blood. Likely didn't get past this part of the stage, uh, this stage though, because of the ratings board. Oh, and there's a picture to go with it, too. Oh, that's so badass. I need to show this. Hang on. Yo. Dixon just throwing the cigar in fucking Shulk's blood. That's fucking badass. Holy shit. Yeah, I can see why. I can see why they couldn't put that in for the rating, but that is fucking badass. <coughs> Alright. Um... Eggs. I don't think I can do the full egg list because, uh, actually, it's not that long. Ethan Nico Margachi for 57, Quiet Redhead for 34, Mabal for 25, Shark for 61, Sir Slayer Dude for 65, Pixie of Ice for 25, Weird Guy 42 for 18, Anti Hero Sora for 20, Wolf Samurai for 109, Earthshade for 110, Crytoxin for 54. Tay the Neon Neko for 12, Lingering Rhyme for 64, Seraphim 2000 for 112, Lightning Cam 1 for 21, Herald of Exeus for 72, The Origami, or sorry, Gami for 69, nice. Techno Hornus for 51, Artemu for 30, Cosmic Blizzard for 9, Observe the Celestial for 38, Q, uh, Q Shin Sonata. God damn it, I'll get a right one of these days. Kyushi, Kyushinanda, 69 for 33. Luna Frey Belmont for 58, uh, Silothy for 2, Com Sonic. For seven, Relic 162 for 67. Queen Chi gives it a sub to Dusamia. Bella Bunny for 27. Major Mooch for 112. Neko Hotaru for 16. Secret 360 for 72. Aaron the Baron for 94. Evil Kitty Knight for 42. Ryoto 87 for 75. Chaos Chester AC for 10. Triforce Drummer for 28. Old Versions for 29. Frosty Dragoon for 20. TJ Kupos 3018 for 45. Uh, yeah, Pike Spend Dragon 67 for 11. <coughs> Kitsu Sakura for 34, Pyroman 2 for 12, Snowy Satoru for 38, Liminality Card for 25, Karibro for 84, Catch'em Kid for 47, Captain Joe gifted us up the Loving Sakura Cat, and Sabirene, Stealthy S1 for 7, 
Blazing Shot 147 for 2, Jolteron for 45, Misfit AF for 43, Gerbobly for 71, Nico Riesu for 42, Kopaka 9726 for 61, Mono Star Storm for 20, and Nintendo Man 1998 for 48. Thanks for subbing, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of. So here's the thing uh, Buttery sent me the recap from last stream. It is three parts. So I'm going to do the eggs around it, then do the first part, and we'll probably do the second and third next break. Just for the sake of doing the eggs. So let's start with this one here from Aaron the Baron, Duke's IT Wisdom. You're turning me on. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, so this part is four minutes. This part is three and a half. Yeah, three minutes, 40 seconds. And this part is almost two minutes. Jasper the Crab with uh, Chug a Bum Rush with spoiler protection. Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> Horrifying. Horrifying. Mega Mania with Dixon Mania. Oh, okay. Just so you know, Dixon shooting Shulk in the back is the most Hulk Hogan thing he has done in the entire game. And if you don't believe me, here's just one example. Starcade 1997 and the main event pitted Hogan against Sting in a battle that had been hyped for most of a year. It genuinely felt like the biggest moment I... in WCW history. Um. He messed with it, allegedly. The story is that Sting turned up to the event. I don't know if this is... You might have wanted to paraphrase this a little bit, uh, Mega. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop that. Sorry, Mega Mania. Do you have a? Do you start talking again at some point? And that is just one example. If you want any more, you can ask Dan. Uh, apparently that video is from what culture? So. Yeah, you might want to paraphrase that one a smidge. It's not going to be a VOD issue, but like, it's us basically just watching the video for a minute, which seems weird. Private Butter with, uh, been waiting forever to do this Dixon. So did I, I beat you to this, is what you're saying. I think... I, I think they were not expecting me to actually do that myself. I think they were not expecting me to also do that. And for those wondering uh, why we're not using the actual, like, song... Uh, yeah, Hogan was infamous for using... Well, I guess, not just Hogan, wrestlers in general, but Hogan specifically was infamous for using, like, well-known artists for the music. Like, I think the New World Order it definitely gets copyrighted and tag, but his or his theme when he was Hollywood Hogan and in the NWO was Voodoo Child by Jimi Hendrix, which is a very, very, very famous song. So, yeah, that's why I had to use the 8-bit versions. <laughs> Monica with The Reveal. This joke has been months in the making, having a little transparent Vanguard in the center of the screen to represent Zanza. There is no god, only Vanguard Jesus. Thanks to Rosie for the art of Vanguard. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. Alright, let's go back to Buttery's recap. Here's a recap of uh, from 
God, you make this so hard to do every time. Uh, butter crumbs, full strain, gring grong, cleedane, xeno shade, chronic pains, eight, part one. Fire the Christmas cannons! Those tanks for all the bastards! Hey, we're doing pretty good down there! There appears to be hesitation with their reinforcements. The tweaks right! Initiate no thoughts and empty mode. Yeah, brother! I forgot I was even in this. <laughs> Long ago, two titans existed. I don't quite care why, hey, uh, but they bitch, did. Tell us something I was one of them, know. I guess. They had Stupid. souls. We already know that. We've already well, fine. I think <laughs> I will. This is just <clears throat> history to us. In the year 20XX, an archaeological dig discovered something truly incredible. A large monolith was discovered. Oh, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> the Zohar, <laughs> along with several <laughs> other important objects universe, that would eventually. Well, excuse Thank me you. for being tortured by. Well, you can use it. Anyway, the Bionis Wax. Yeah, let's just go play Zeno Saga instead. I'm jealous of me being an idol to my people. There! Wait, it did? Now hold on, that wasn't in the Blu ray version. Wait a fucking minute. It's the flying slime! She dressed like Daisy. I was gonna beat the shit out of Zanza, but it didn't have burst. It ended up being a timer scam fest. And it ended up in a draw after he cut off my arm. Ouch. Ouch. So after all that, I got put in a hexagon and told my people Zanza would eventually return for his salty run back. So that means I just unleashed an angry god? Did anyone else notice Ricky's been strangely absent? Yeah, where did he go? Something tells me to reach towards the pause button right now. I had to walk up the ends of the earth of a giant stupid bionicle, but I'm here. This is what my whole life has been leading up to. A Denny's! <laughs> it's the god Denny's! Oh, oh, there it is! There it is! The Grand Slam! Damn! You harms bastards are better pay for chipping my pain. Yeah, don't. Quit having a brain aneurysm and get out of that computer. I'm gonna put an innumerable number of holes in your cheesy body. He ain't gonna listen to us. We just won't beat the shit out of him. He completely whiffed Shala. How many times do I have to say stop? Let me just slip in here. I need to cure his stupid. Beat him up. So what we're good at? X Buster! Damn, she wasn't lying. That funny robot girl can X Bust. Hey, Fiora, is he gonna be okay? Oh, he'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Open tabarnak. Finally, I'm out of the Windows machine. Now, go beat up my boss. I take you home later. Stay safe for now. He's a male <laughs> You could evolve your wingle into an Agumon. <laughs> you just stay there for now. Then you could get medical attention. You don't look like any doctor I've seen. You're all I'm like. They took away my medical license. It's time, John. Open it. Open it, John. Open the box, John. Open the box for everyone to see inside of. John. John. All right, hang on. So, I have a story to tell. I'm glad you timed this for the first one. I was wondering when you were going to ask for this. So, it is story time. <clears throat> At MAGFest, Buttery was there. And uh, I had managed to slip out from working on Throne Controllers long enough to go to Jules's panel. And in the front row, I was sitting there with Laughing Boy and uh, K-Head, I believe. 
I think it was the three of us. And then a couple of the mods showed up, and then someone ran up wearing a Rosa hoodie and a Snorlax hat and said, Hey, John, take this. And they handed me... Which camera do I need? Eh, we probably want the full screen one for this one. Hello. And they handed me this. A blood pressure monitor box. Now, I knew it was buttery because I saw the hat. So I was like, yeah, that's buttery. And I heard the voice, which also helped. But they just literally handed me this box. And I was just like, oh, okay, what do I do with this? Just like, don't open it until Xenoblade. Like, what? Like, don't open it till the next Xenoblade stream. Like, I have to get this across customs. You know I'm going to get in trouble for this, right? If I don't know what this is. He's like, put it somewhere. You won't, you, trust me, it'll be safe. Just open it. He's just like, it's not a blood pressure monitor. It's okay. So, I now officially get to open this. But I, I piece together what it is based on conversations with Buttery. And it's probably doubly helped by a part of that video that we just saw. It's Ricky. I have my own Ricky now. And I do believe this Ricky also talks. Uh, I don't know where the pa I think it's right here. Hang on. Let's see what it says. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. I'll I'll play it again without the intermission music here, and then I'll just say what it is if you couldn't hear the full thing. Is there even a Denny's in Canada? Is there even a God? Is there even a Denny's in Canada? Is there even a God? Thanks, Buttery, for helping me smuggle Ricky back to Canada. Now that I have smuggled an illegal alien across the border, I'm getting arrested. So thank you so much for getting me incarcerated. And yes, there is a Denny's in Canada. God, the jury's still out on God, but yeah. We all smuggled an alien across international borders? Oh, maybe. All right. Let's, uh, let's go to big prop break proper when we come back. Art block and more Xenoblade. See you guys in a bit. Why is your chat like this, John? Because I encourage nonsense to the extreme. Uh, you know what? Yeah, before we go, since it's been two hours before we took a break, uh, the Wisdom of Duke. Just requested by Just a Talking Sword. Let's see what we got. Anybody mind if I take off my pants? That seems fitting. Back in a bit.
who's hanging out tonight? I'm back. <laughs> what is this, Puppet Master? The year is 20XX. Everyone uncovers divine artifacts at task levels of perfection. Because of this, the vessel of each god uh, depends solely on plot convenience. The Rock'em Sock'em Robots metagame has evolved to ridiculous levels due to it being the only remaining factor to decide omnipotent conflicts. <laughs> it's just real steel! It's just real steel, the Hugh Jackman movie. Fun fact, in the YouTube ads for Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, it had that scene of Zanza absorbing the energy blast that was from Egil in the ads. It was at the very end of the ad in a small box, but still visible. I uh, thought it was funny when I saw it in a very weird scene to add into the ad. Jesus. Yeah, that is a weird choice. I just got this message from Buttery. Forwarding a message, Moose would like to say thank you for humoring his nonsense as vulgar egg beast. And he wants me to apologize on his behalf for having his voice embedded in what is surely a cursed artifact in your possession. Let's be real here, I don't have a shortage of cursed artifacts in this house. Let's be entirely real here. But I like the message I see, which is, I am in John's house, he cannot escape me. Thanks, Moose. It, Thanks, Buttery. I've been in his basement, it's true. It's like a different house. <laughs> It's just, it's just, it's just cursed. How's All it about going? that cursed life. I'm doing good. How about you, buddy? Uh, my, uh, arms are dying because I just flew in from Canada. But don't... That was awful. That was awful. I'll, I'll just leave. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> bad, How about actually. that airline crude? I mean, what is up with that stuff? Uh, I, uh, no, I started a new workout routine, so it hurts. Body's still getting used to the soreness. Overall, great! I have a brand new... And by brand new, I mean uh, used as hell. Super cheap, super off-brand 4K monitor on my desk. Working with the new computer. Nice. And getting to talk about Xenoblade! <gasps> Thank you for inviting. Because What's the Xenoblade? We invested. It's, well, it's, it's, it's a weird-looking knife. Oh, I've tried I... to use it to cut eggs, but it doesn't like cook, cutting anything that's living, so it just didn't work. I knew you'd be most invested. I knew you'd also want to be on on the one stream where I've actually been praising the storyline. <laughs> hey, I genuinely loved uh, the non-agreeing discussion we had <laughs> over the... Um... <laughs> over the Dunban scene, yeah. Over the Dunban scene, yeah. yeah. It, doesn't, like, it doesn't have to... End, I, end I've, like I've been so like, man, they like the game... I So one person I think broke it down pretty well in uh in the comments on a couple of odds ago for for xenoblade and it was their comment was essentially like uh this is a game that is designed around spoiling itself so as a result they kind of repeat the story beats too much to a point where you just kind of get sick of it or it gets like blasted in your brain too much mm. and this was one of the times where it wasn't and i'm like oh so they actually did this well by if they had held back everything else the whole thing would be like an yeah. 11 out of 10 thing i think i told i, I told this story last stream i said i told emil that up to the point I'm at right now, the story for Xenoblade's been a 6 out of 10, and he actively kind of, like, he almost seemed offended about it. Okay. 
And I'm like, don't worry. Okay. I'm at that scene that you spoiled for me, though, and that scene I love. So, don't worry. It'll go up in points after that, but up to this point, yeah. It, it, it might have hit different had you not known what was coming, but also... I'm a huge proponent of Zeno 2, and I have I have to admit, up yeah. until the halfway point, that one's like a four. <laughs> so I I can't I I can't take offense to this statement. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's read some alerts. Go to Art Block, and then get back to the game. I do want to say I can now tell you the exact comment. Or okay, I can't remember the exact thing, but I've told you before I got split on the same thing. It was a comment I read on that part where Dixon's in the Satoru Marsh, just like, I don't feel so good about lying to these kids. And a comment in Emil's video said, man, I didn't expect him to kill us to revive God, and people were just shouting spoilers at them, so I'm just like, <laughs> well, that means I know what happens. Oh, mm. that sucks, man. That, uh, I, yeah, I get, I get, like, way more upset at people who like shouts those are spoilers no it actually goes like this than just letting a spoiler run because if you don't draw a huge attention to it a supposed spoiler just rolls off you like i, I it, it depends because in the case <laughs> yeah. of that oh. comment that uh, montaro just read out i would be like that makes no sense uh, whatever in that case yeah i could see that but there's other points for it like it sounds it has to be within the realm of plausibility based on how <laughs> things have gone up to that point so if you told me, like, uh, if you told me Dixon kills us to revive God, I would have been like, that? Whatever, that's weird. I, I, you probably just pulling my leg. But if you told me, like, yeah, no, Dixon's going to betray us just and, and just do something bad, I'm just like, okay, I believe that. It just it depends on how insane the jump is, basically. I have a thing where just, like, the spoiler rolled off me, but that's for Xenoblade X, so I can't say that. Eh... I read it, I'm just like, that is too absurd, and I just ran it a while, left it alone, and then it happened, I'm just like, oh god. I yeah, there's a, there, there's a particular thing uh, I've seen, I'm not gonna say what it is, but y'all know it, from the ending of Zeno 3, that everybody I saw talk about it is like, there's no <laughs> way that's real, and it was real. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's quickly read alerts here. Uh, I don't know if my question got answered uh, for this, but did you do the Alchemoth quest before battling Egil? Yes, all side quests I have been able to do up to this point are done. We have not missed any side quests. And now we're about to have a shit ton more. <laughs> so. What about the mutually exclusive? I'm kidding. <laughs> well, they didn't all die. They're, you're, they're, they're gonna, you're gonna have to go, you know, yeah, find them, and then they'll be like, oh, all my friends died. Have my, uh, my quests about how they're dead. <laughs> there were some not gray portraits there. Is this 100% playthrough? Um, not on stream. I've been doing the side quests off stream, but I've had numerous requests to do very specific side quests that have dialogue, spoken dialogue in them, done on stream. So I will indulge on some of that today. Because I do believe um, we're going to get to a point of no return soon otherwise. I think you would be fine for the rest yeah. of the stream. But, you know, your 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 uh, your plans. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll wing it, as they say. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Will Peter says, Master, what are midichlorians? It's heroin. Yeah, it tracks. Mm -hmm. Queen B Nev says, Xenoblade time, baby! Even though I have school tomorrow, stay up late and watching this stream while drawing. What a rebel I am. Thank you, Queen. Bella Bunny says, that Chugga call out gave John at least one jolly. Yep, I, I got some of my rage back. I've got like a, a, a fraction of my heart back. <laughs> and then lost it immediately hearing 10 years younger me sounding so much happier. Ah, Slevio says, evil it. Hulk Hogan time. Yep. I love how your first instinct was to say, I got my rage back instead of I got my happiness Look, back. man, I, I know the one emotion I show the best is anger and rage. So, I mean, like, what are you going to do, yeah, right? I wouldn't have lost Some that. people enjoy the I, venting. They, I, like, I, like, I, I technically lost it in Mario Party joy. DS. Technically, I did. There. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zanza says, everything up to this point was predestined. Yes, even your frivolous shirtless squad. Don't ask me why that was inevitable, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, finally, uh, I, I fixed that. Put finally, I can put on a shirt. <laughs> it's very cold outside. 
we know it wasn't because we saw visions with us wearing shirts at first. <laughs> you changed the future! That's my favorite joke is just like, yes, <laughs> changing your outfit changes the future. Because you see the visions in the current outfit you're wearing. Antihero Sora started off the mission accomplice run with no message. Uh, Mecha Kurogane says, Look, I love this game, but I get it. A lot of the twists and elements in this game uh, are in and are done better in other Monolith Soft games like Baden Kaito's. In fact, the thing I feel are unique in this game compared to the other Monolith RPGs are done to death in other JRPGs. Also, bye-bye the only interesting aspect to Fiora. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I had a bunch of people actually saying that about her. Yeah, so this so this is an interesting discussion I saw in the YouTube comments, and I think even people in chat brought this up. Was like, uh, I mentioned, yeah, uh, Monolith Soft likes to reuse a lot of story beats. But someone brought up a perfect counterpoint of like, yeah, you can't play any of those other Monolith Soft games anymore, because they were stuck on the GameCube and the PS2, and they never got re-released. So unless you emulate the people who played Xenoblade as either their first RPG or just their first one from Monolith Soft, didn't know any of that and that's a fair counterpoint it's i'm Me. just saying more and like yeah if you if you're familiar with the with the past stuff it's not gonna hit as hard but yeah i get why people would be wouldn't know that that makes sense i mean there's there's parts uh, so xenoblade one is sort of exempt because xenoblade one was kind of special they were making something that was supposed to be brand new you know but like everything else has some very clear parallels all the way back to Zeno Gears. Like, yeah. if you know Monolith's perfect works, you know a lot mm -hmm. of where they're going to be pulling stuff from. Yeah. We talked about some of the cut plot points that they had uh, planned as well, or at least considered. <laughs> every story is Simpsons did it. All right, not to that extreme, but... No, no, it's every story is Gilgamesh. <laughs> that was the Divine There's Comedy. A... <laughs> There's no, there, 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 there's another uh, another point too that I think is uh, I may, maybe it's uh, just me being positive uh, on a game series that means a lot to me, but like I don't remember where I saw the thought, but there's like the game does a lot of foreshadowing, and that specific point is very well done, and a lot of the other stuff is beat over the head, and I don't know how much of that like was maybe intentional or maybe like layered in a way that it draws your attention away from something else i've, I've had two different uh thoughts uh, brought to me about the game one was I, I think ryan you were the one who brought this up or it might have been montara one of you did uh it's japanese writing and their japanese writing tends to like to repeat things a lot to kind of like hmm. reset the thought it's why metal gear that has like the weird robust. quirks Gold what men. That could you have been know either of us, because yeah. I always refer to it as Metal Gearism. Yeah, I so I've I don't. never said that in my life, so it's probably you. Okay. okay. Yeah, so it's like that's why Snake always repeats questions that he hears and like weird statements. What? It's because it's a Japanese like writing style thing about like re-referencing things so they can go into going into it on great detail. And the other thought process was someone mentioned like there's a lot of side quest things. They kind of expected you to take breaks when you got them and do them, and so they keep refreshing you on the plot. But do because of the way I played the game, it stayed pretty fresh in my mind so but then again Metal Gear has a similar issue but on a, a much smaller scale uh, Fox McCloud then followed up with the mission accomplished then Chaos Jester followed up with a mission accomplished saying rip in literal pieces Egil and Makanis mm -hmm. Antihero Sora then did another mission accomplished and said uh, Egil finally dead Anonymous then <laughs> E for Egil as well Bella Bunny says Dixon is a winner <laughs> Hildebra says, oh man. No message from Sora on that one. Maniacal, no message on that one, but it's the, the brother one. Well timed. Phazon Farmer says, slams a bottle of Jack Daniels on the counter. Hashtag poor Milia. <laughs> they really, they really, really dig that dagger in and twist it. <laughs> Yo, is it Shit. time? Is it time to get my uh, my poppy drinking gif? Maybe I genuinely just the, the more the more shit that happens in this story, the worse I feel for Melia. I legit feel bad for her. Uh, um. I have seen this story many, many times, and yet you know I I never realized that in this specific moment, it's like it's not it's not just the getting you know the heart twist. Melia is very then Melia's you very lose bad, your whole race. Worst day. <laughs> then you lose your brother. <laughs> and to hear of Sora with the. With the uh, fuck yeah, Hildebrand says holy cow. Bella Bunny says no, no he isn't. 
not anymore. That was from reference to brother. <laughs> Uh, Captain Joe with the brother. Bleach Bummer says, Sorry for another donation, but that animation of Chugga running at you. Why did it give me an idea for of a meal running at you next Coliseum only to hug Cardboard John while you're there? Oh, it's like a stunt double bit? Yeah, that was something I was thinking of. You it could just be you capture their stunt doubles. <laughs> and Dexter says, Hey, John, I'll be working for my birthday tomorrow. Could I get some Duke wisdom for my forecast? Well, happy early birthday, Dexter. And sure, I'll hook you up. Let's see how your birthday and the year therein is uh, predicted by Duke. Ah, alien technology at its finest. Nist, nist, nist. <laughs> All right, so don't use computers for a year is what I'm taking away from that. Is So I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Buy insurance on all your products. Let's go to our plot. Uh, we might cut this art block a little short because we hung around here for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we hung around talking about sh talking over Shoal to dead body in the <laughs> We sure did. <laughs> Alright. Let's start with this picture right here from Gabber19. Uh, hello everyone. For the next piece of my Rosa Blade Chronicles art series, I decided to draw Horse Mom as Fiora. Enjoy. There you go. Very cute. Very, very cute indeed. Thank you, Gabri. What if their job is computers? Then I am so sorry. <laughs> From Nerd, who has two thumbs and excited for next month? This guy. We got Pocky Jammy as Kirby. We got Queen of John as Kirby. Only, maybe it will only crash if they use alien computers. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's right. It's alien technology. So don't use any alien computers and you'll be okay. B. John as Kirby. And Snippy as Kirby. As Kirby comes out next month. Thank you, nerd. I'm very sad that uh, the checkerboard chase is not going to have online. I'm so sad. Did that like, that dragon dragons Kirby. game that was just checkerboard chase? Did that have online? I feel like that also didn't. It was on Steam. Oh, okay. It's, it was. I it's like know. it's called it's called something like Dragon Dragons or something like that. And it was literally just checkerboard chase, but it just uh, like a uh, non hal made checkerboard chase. I will say though, the 99 Samurai Kirby looks hilarious. Dragon Drop, thank you. That's the name of the game. Dragon Drop. Dragon Drop. Okay. All right, from Maniacal, the shirtless squad are here once again, perhaps for the second to last time, as with this iteration of the collage, I made the robot lady Vanea into 2B and Gadol into War Machine to make a counterpart to Sharla's Iron Ma'am. Excited to see where we get into the story today. All right, I gotta see if he's actually there or not. Watch this actually be the one time it's not there. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's there, genuinely, you faded it so much, I just can't even see it. Like it's. Yeah. Still though, thanks Maniacal for this. I uh, said check on a previous one just to be sure. Check on previous ones. This one uh, doesn't laugh. <laughs> let's try this one then. Oh yeah, sure enough. Huh. Much easier to see on this one. You can see the shoulders right here, and you can see his feet right here. Nicely done. And speaking of, now that I have the holidays and Magfus are over, we're back with another installment. So the real Bionian, version 11, pushes past the 10-minute mark. I think we can easily hit 15 by the end. Here's the short version. I can't wait to watch the entirety video, the entire video at the end. It will be so funny. God, oh, it's you. Let me see you. <laughs> That's it. Cover your face, Charlie. The shame. I was, expect I, ex I was expecting it to just be his eye. It'd I was expecting it in the eye as well. Yeah. <laughs> Spin it around that explosion. Dance it on top of the McConus. Fly it around in space. Find your Monado. The one true Monado is up here. Booby robot lady. Birdman. Screen loaded tits. Now they're 
were two of me. I didn't expect the dramatic music. Hang on. <laughs> that threw me off for a second there. I thought there was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> That's my party too. <laughs> oh my god. I should have stayed at home. Why have to be my body? Because <laughs> I'm disappointed she wasn't dancing. As for him, he'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think you had a lot of fun with this too, Toby. Mm -hmm. This is great. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> The Vakatus is awakening! <laughs> jumping from shoulder, jumping from shoulders, jumping from heads. Running away. Did you use the fucking slap image? I'm glad I'm on time. Yeah, brother, it's you! Ooh, yeah! You didn't. Oh, never mind, you didn't. <laughs> ah! I can't do it. Everyone's falling! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Perfect. I'm glad you threw that back in there. Hey! What a stroke of luck, you're still alive. There's Waldo. <laughs> Never give up. Oh, Waldo. Trust your instinct. <laughs> Perfect. I can't wait to watch the, <laughs> the thing in entirety when it's done. Thank you, Dovey. Thank you for your service. Uh, where were we? Vanguard. We're back on Vanguard. You know what? If we've got four minutes left on our block. We might as well take the rest of it. Let's let's do it. Okay. Because I forgot we had real Bionian in there. I sent you uh, since people wanted it. Uh, the poppy video too. Okay. Just in Discord. <clears throat> From Muta Lord. Happy New Year, Buru. I'm back with a ton of text. This is Chugga Chugga, a uh, Hosen monk. Hosen is a World of Warcraft repeat their name. Uh, Hosen's in WoW repeat their names when they are adults. And Chugga got his when he said a pun so bad that the guildmaster died and caused a wipe. So it was a self given title. He's using a sacred sword, the Banado. Uh, I was hoping Emil would be here for this, but this time, but time is ticking for this playthrough, so I'll take the L. I mean, he was in chat earlier. Uh, lastly, an extra message. Uh, this should be followed by my avatar reveal in the Buru. Last time it was deleted, but I checked the rules, talked with some people in the Discord, and even tried to talk to Juker a couple times. With bad timing, and the reveal is not breaking any rules. So hopefully it is next. Yeah. I miss Proton. I'll use my big brain and imagine the next one would be Tim, right? I mean, that would make the most sense, so. Also... There's a clever Easter egg on the Bonato. Uh. Ryan, quick, what does it mean? That looks like the thing for color. No, maybe it's T. That's not color. I don't know what that one is. Maybe it's meant to be banana? Because, yeah, they're saying banana in chat. Which is what I expected it to actually say. Hold up, let me get G Show. <laughs> I'ma write this into the dictionary. Do you need me to keep Two. this on screen or am I good to move on to the next piece? I got it. And it's not there, so I'm guessing <laughs> their, their, their thing didn't show up. It okay. is the kanji for banana. And yes, uh, that picture came up and we didn't see any relevance. So we needed it. That would be why. Okay. So, Muta Lord, I would talk to uh, I would talk to Ailita or or Ryan about it and show the picture and, and discuss the relevance. Tremendous beat. I forgot to upload this as well. This was another picture I drew for the new TRG custom board. It shows up briefly during the trailer, but blink and you'll miss it. Anyways, I couldn't leave out the beloved Doke upon shopkeepers, especially Hans. So here they are. They're having a sale. Nice. Hi, Hans. Thank you, beat. Next up. <laughs> From Toby. <laughs> you worms cannot comprehend my genius. <laughs> oh, did he cut his other arm off? How is that even possible? P 
page of stuff like, where are the instructions in Portuguese? I mean, fools behold my mastery of this god! Please do not operate heavy machinery without proper training. <laughs> Thank you, Toby. Is he still forklift certified? He's, he, needed a he needed a driver's license, and he didn't have one. I mean, he was doing pretty... Maybe he just overextended himself. <laughs> he was doing pretty well with Yaldabaoth, about, but the Mechonis is a little bit bigger. There it is, from Mike Capella. <laughs> it's Dixon! He's here, but which side's he on? It's been two streams. I made this back in December off of a comment I made saying Dixon wouldn't be the third man. Small story, this was spoiled for me really early in Chugga's LP, and I was really mad, as were others. Now I never check YouTube comments. Sounds like you weren't the only one who did that, uh, mm -hmm. Montaru. Oh, I know. Uh, Emil talked about this at one point in the video. He said he was complaining about this thing. Like, yeah, people were putting the final boss in episode one. I didn't see that, but I'm just like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's why you, you gotta be careful with YouTube comments on long games like RPGs. Now I'm wondering, if Emil would have beaten the, the boss quicker, i.e. he read, sorry Emil, would you have been playing your game still and not notice all of this? Uh, I think I still would have noticed the cutscenes, but I could, I specifically remember the infinite damage, uh, vision. Because, I mean, he went like, oh, out loud. So like there was, even if I, even if I had read it, I still would not have been able to avoid it because of that alone. I am a little bit upset that it says Bionis slash 10 when you can get shield 10 if it said 11. Yeah, but we can't put the shield on all of the Bionis. We can only do like the units in the area around That's us. That's the location that makes sense, but I still think it would have been funnier. It would have been funnier. You're right. All right, and we'll end on this picture here. Auto manual stick shift <laughs> for Grease Lightning. What's a car? Why did Lady Maynard design it this way? I need a key with the ignition separate? Why won't the emergency light turn off? 1.5 million mileage? How do you explain cars to a machine person from a world without fossil fuels? That's a good point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, the ether is Like, wait, this doesn't make oil. sense. I mean, ether technically the runs cars. out. Hmm. That's why they had to keep getting those ether batteries at the beginning. But does the Mechonis run on ether? Yes. Yeah, that, that was actually confirmed earlier. That's why it's stealing it from the Bionis. They even said just like, Egil's forcing it to move by using the ether he stole. He's literally siphoning gas off the Bionis, so... Doesn't tell me that it- that tells me that it can use ether, but not that it was supposed to. I mean, I, ge I guess, but like, it's also supposed to have a soul, so I mean, that's the other thing it was missing. The soul is actually a catalyst converter, so... I do... So, I do kind of like one detail where it's just like, oh, why did Egil's sword break when it was fighting against Zanza? It's because he didn't have the Monado with him. All right, let's get back to the game. Okay, so uh, I assume we're about to get hit with a bunch of cutscenes here now, considering oh, what's going on. A handful, yeah. You would be correct. All right, well, let's go check on the girl that stole our crush. Was or I smart to leave a shulk at with you all night? You didn't do anything weird, Melia. Did you? <laughs> did you? <laughs> I did not. Almost, but did not. Ah, that's how we get to that area in Tefra Cave now. Okay. Oh yeah, and I uh, I just popped in. I'm, words, heart sentences hard. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch the part. I was at the ending of a meeting when you got uh, the moment when her heart ripped in half, mm -hmm. and I gotta go back and see that. I was about to say which time. <laughs> the first one of oh, this stream. Okay. All right. I was I was going to make a thing where it's just like where was the SpongeBob scene? You want to see me rip Melia's heart in half? You want to see me do it again? But I couldn't get the editing to work. <laughs> it was too hard. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the shops. See if you got anything Hello. we need from there. Mel Melia is not technically an eighteen-year-old teenager. She ages slow. That doesn't mean she's eighteen. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's the equivalent of like 16, 18 years old, but she's still got 88 years of life experience yeah. and memories. Yes. Yeah. She just had a really long, terrible twosies. She's an 88 year old teenager, even and worse. Eight, <laughs> 80, yeah, even 86 more of those years. 86 of those years were as to, as a two year old. Yeah. Just had a sudden growth spurt. <laughs> Terrible twenties. <laughs> now, to be fair, I think most people have a terrible twenties as well. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot happens. What is it? Just in case, I'm assuming none of these got updated. No. Since we're back in Colony Six. Mm-hmm. Hello. Probably should have had my party members here so I could actually get, like, benefits from that. Yeah, yeah it's fine. I mean, maybe they're all gonna die. Everybody's gonna die. If they're not in the party, you don't know. There's so many exclamation marks! Yeah, we can't... Yeah, we can't give gifts to them. Are they even really there? I missed how they got to Colony 6 safely after the Makandas hit Bionis with a sword. Uh, Mikkel showed up with Junks, right? Yep. Uh, we we were just flying, <laughs> and Egil distracted Bionis long enough. And then Callian distracted Dixon and Lorothea. Yay! <laughs> I love every time she I does love that. Her. What, the jump kick? Yeah. Yeah. Did, did she just jump kick when talking to this Nopon? Yep. Mm -hmm. Watch, I bet it won't hit you. Yeah! Alright, let's go get the party together first before we start doing the rest of these. Uh, we have to go to the plot. Yeah, I mean, we probably should. We're basically in endgame at this point. It's yeah, not my fault that it, as soon as I walked out to find Fiora, eight people started calling at me. No, we don't. Never finish the game, but then I have to dress up. I'm afraid of who you guys would pick that I have to dress up. I think we would get Dixon at this point. I think that. I don't see. That's the see. Dixon. That's what I expected, but I still had a surprising I, amount of um, Mithra. I, a lot of votes would probably be Riki. Really, Mithra, huh? Yeah, the three most That's common. The three too. most common. Yeah, I said any Xeno game. So the three most common mm. were Dixon, Mithra, and uh, who was the third? It wasn't Charlotte, but she was up there. Fiora, I think it right? might have been. Guess I wasn't hiding. One anymore. of the Nopon. I didn't want Riku? to worry anyone. It must be difficult living with that body. Manana. I'm getting more and more used to it. What about Noah? No, but that's me. People still look at me funny. Oh, it's not that bad. It feels pretty comfortable, actually. I don't need to worry about food or anything like that. I see. This body, the energy from the chest component made it work. It turned out to be a Monado. Such a strange feeling. A Monado? Was that the Monado that Zamza took from Maineth? Yep. Your body ceased to function. I'll be fine for now. There's still some stored energy left. But then what? Oh, Melia. If I ever... Please take care of Shulk. I know you Don't thirst after like him. That. I've seen it in your eyes. How can you hmm? ask me such a thing? Let's be honest, everyone has, aside from Shulk. I'm yep. Sorry. There's no it's because she's not a machine. Apologize. You're right. Thank you, Melia. The lighting, uh, the lighting was doing a weird thing for Melia's glasses. Like one was just blue and the other wasn't. If Shulk mm -hmm. awakes, will you tell him? No. He worries too much anyway. <laughs> he does worry. It's just like him. Actually, he's just like me for real. I'm already dead. 
I have been since the Mechon attacked. Fiora. But I'm happy. And that's why you two were made for each other. This body has given me the chance to live. Maybe I don't have much time left. But at least I can be with Shulk for a little while. I don't know if I should longer. do the joke I just thought in my head. Mm. Yes. Is it a corpse party? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, because I never legit pieced together that they were both bodies for the whole going, game either. I was going to say, it's corpse that. love between two Everyone corpses. Will start worrying. <laughs> yes. You're right. And Melia. Can you keep it secret from the others? You do not want them to worry. I admire your strength. Or your Maybe. stupidity. I'll tell him. But only when the time is right. I won't say a word. Melly is very selfless. Y'all are expecting. She's like, ah, oh, no. Only for me. I'm nothing compared to her. Yeah, I'm alive. That sucks. A siren! Fiora, let's hurry back. Okay. Wait, what would this even look like if we didn't rebuild Colony 6? Uh, I think the wall is still there. Yeah, the like this barrier is still there, okay. but the buildings aren't. Can you let me warp? No. Of this is not. also techni technically, I'm pretty sure that at this point, uh, the NPCs move from the camp to Colony 6 regardless. So ah. as they build. I believe that's the case. Mm -hmm. no, although, that's not broke. mandatory either. You could just never make them move back, I think. No, 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 I, I know, I'm pretty sure there is a point. When I was looking up, like, uh, side quests, there's, they're like, yeah, there's a point where this just happens if you don't force it yourself. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Meli, Meli is very good as royalty. The royal family in this one is, is, is like, yay, thumbs up. I mentioned this in the in the chat. I love how Kalian checks like every box to be a random B plot villain, and he's just a good person. <laughs> <laughs> like he is the firstborn son uh, of a pure-blooded race uh, who gets overshadowed for the that role sucked. by his half-blooded that... sister. <laughs> Telethia, the horde of them are approaching. Let's move. Gotcha. I'm going too. But Shulk needs you. I know. He but needs I an can't army. Just stay here. What if something happened to you? What would I tell Shulk when he wakes up? Fiora, are you sure? Kind of quiet, better now. We're friends now. <laughs> Look, it's him! <laughs> so he survived. Dixon! That's right. Just that sitting up here, brother! <laughs> Take it a crap! <laughs> I'm really starting to like this squad. Oh, don't be like that. You'll meet him soon enough. You might even be reborn if you return to Lord Zanza. Who knows? He might be your boyfriend next time. You Her brother? brother? That's weird. That is weird. Uh, yeah, they're they're kind of trying to be. <laughs> he means Zanza, does he? I don't know. Decision. Uh, don't don't twist it around. Let the villain be weird. Yeah. I'm trying to get under. Let the villain be weird. <laughs> Villains are allowed to be They created evil. as a physical host. They cannot exist forever as mere souls. This world was created so that they may continue to exist. It is for this reason that its existence and future is in their hands. This is the passage of fate, and your visions. People live and die at the mercy of Zanza, and through this, 
Zanza maintains the existence of this world. Our destruction oh, was always inevitable. Everything we did was meaningless. Are you certain? It was his will to revive you and use you as a host. Taking the Monado from Mayneth, doing with the world as he wishes. Everything was as he decided. But why is it that Zanza now wishes to destroy you? What is the need for this? That's because... He in fact has no choice but to do it. If he does not, he risks his entire existence. Because you are a JRPG protagonist. But why? It is a marvel to exist outside the passage of fate. The lives created by Zanza and Mayneth inevitably attempt to escape the passage of fate. This signifies the beginning of their destruction. Mayneth accepted this and entrusted the future of this world to you. Many times, your visions have allowed you to change the passage of fate. You saved the lives of those destined to die. Well, most of them. We'll give you a couple mulligans. To be fair, the Nothing game said that, that exact same thing. <laughs> That's true. It is a sad truth, <laughs> but you can learn from it Just and begin a little the bit journey too early. on a new path. <laughs> Not Zanza's path, but one that you forge yourselves. Our own path. So, <laughs> the fucking flippers really truth. make this cutscene. Will you walk I had him the shirtless too during the scene the first Zanza, time. It was funny. Or will you walk a new path? No, I'll swim one. The I'll forge my own path. Awaits you. That was Albus has a pretty dramatic, breathy way of speaking. If mm. I wanted to walk the predetermined path, I forget how it I wouldn't have come Japanese. this far. Even with the I, odds so stacked against us, even though I can't see the future, I'll keep walking. My own path, that I decide. Fiora, Rhein, Dunvan, Sharla, Melia, Ricky. I definitely thought he wasn't going to say Melia and Ricky we for a second there. I thought he was going to say, and the rest. Oh. You must defy fate to succeed. Succeed and follow a new path. Humans and the other ones Albus. too. Are you? You already know. You know what I am. A twink. And what you must mm -hmm. do. Just like you. It burns. Mm -hmm. So is this a Christmas game? We've we've experienced the return of God. These things don't give up. He's not God anymore. Ricky it's fine. That's lose. Easter, though. Ricky protect Colony Six. Right. The rebirth of we God. We can't let them get any farther. You know the drill. Take them down. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why are you here? Get out of our party. You're not even in the guest list. Why were you even there? <laughs> oh, did you, was Juju trying to photobomb again? Juju yeah. photobomb for a minute there. <laughs> God damn it, Juju. Juju was in the middle of the group for some reason. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand at this empty spot in front of everybody. Maybe no one will notice me. Finally, my time to shine. Juju's the hero now. Give Juju the Monado? Absolutely not. We don't have it anymore. 
I don't know, maybe he could resist Zanza. <laughs> maybe he could annoy Zanza enough to get him to stop his plan. Yo, yeah, negative. What up, negative. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. I like how Dixon's plan is to send enemies that are weaker than the ones we fought earlier in an attempt to stop me. Ah, oh, shit, I did it in the wrong order. Maybe they're just killing time. time. And also, we love... had a Shulk with us last time. I love how much people hate Juju, Juju, and I'm like neutral, leaning slightly negative towards him. Yeah, Juju doesn't really do a whole Juju lot. Juju doesn't do That's... anything, it's just fun to dunk on him, basically. Exactly! The few times Juju shows up, he's usually being damseled or like breaking something. Yeah. And he only does it like three times. But everyone loves loves to hate on him. He's a child that acts like a child. I mean, he is helping, way. sort of. He's holding the gun a little weird, but... Juju, why are you firing paintballs? If only Shulk was here! We're dead meat without the Monado! Get away from him! Forget about the Monado, kid. More space between Zanza and us, the better. If Ryan's got time to sound off, we must be doing okay. We are doing okay. Ryan is correct. Perhaps we relied too much on the Monado and Shulk. Thank God he's finally gone. <laughs> right. He was slowing us down. To fight the Bionis. We have to manage on our own. <laughs> Look at them struggle. <laughs> if they can't even handle a few telephia, how do they expect to defeat me? <laughs> I kind of enjoy Dixon just giving, like, shit talk commentary. I kind of wish the rest of the game was just this. He gets to just be a scenery chewing villain, and he's such a good voice for it. Fiora! <laughs> It's like a better mum car. <laughs> exactly. Dunbar! Poor Dunban. Both of his best friends Are tried okay? to kill him. I just overdid it. One killed his sister. You... The other killed the person he wanted to marry. His I'm sister. Okay. <laughs> I can still fight. Why are you bothering to try and cover it up? Go on, just admit you've had enough. Never. Look out! Bloods of dino beasts. Yeah. It truly seems as though everything is going as Sansa planned. But our hearts and minds, they still hold the will to seize our own destiny. No matter how Your hard dumb man's like, I know how to be a protagonist. Yeah, I really I should have been the protagonist, honestly. <laughs> Always. Gonna make Sansa regret not picking me. Face it! Your destiny is to die here! <laughs> I was the protagonist! <laughs> oh, ah, damn it, I'm second fiddle again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love now, he's just like getting up his confidence, his protag chops, and. Oh, but I, I was ready to. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Fine, Shulk can do some work again. Thank goodness you're here! Damn, kid. So you're still alive. Attack! Destroy yeah, you're, you missed all my vital organs. All of them? <laughs> all of them. Guess what I can still do, suckers! For worrying you all. But I was dead. Shulk. Welcome back. Yeah, he was dead to begin with. Little brat. What's he gone and done now? Time for me to get my hands dirty. Shulk, look out! Huh? <sighs> Oi, kid. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> For your final lesson. He truly does not Show me give a fuck <laughs> right now. You think you've got the power to oppose Lord Zanza? 
Let's or at least he's putting that on. So they wouldn't have done this because it would have ruined the integrity of the scene. But I kind of wish that like the telepia fell and then Dixon falls like five seconds afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> it just lands on. It would that would have been fantastic. I am with you a hundred percent. That would have been great. It would have totally hilarious. changed his tone. It would have turned him into a show off. Just right now, he's like, eh, I'm not even gonna uncross my legs for you. Fantastic, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling alive. I'm feeling everything now. Hooray! Killer dive five. Man, vegetables are delicious. Hold on, I gotta eat these weeds. Why did it play the someone died music for a split second there? He was only stunned. Or dazed, rather. Is this what saliva tastes like? Yeah. Shit, I, I kind of miss being dead. <laughs> The time is Ryan. You're correct. That brat. How could he read my movements? What the hell's going on? Shulk! How'd you do it? I could see it. The future. I don't have the Monado. But it came to me, Ryan. From within. Turns out letting a god live in my body for like 20 plus or like 18 years helps a lot. Bunch of ingrates. I forgot his age for a second there. Stop hiding and get yourself out 14. here. Because he was four. I don't appreciate oh, yeah. being left to do all the hard work. Alvis! What? It can't be. Alvis! Not you too! I can't yeah. believe it! Riku was evil? The they put Trinity. bugs in him? There's no. your third member. <laughs> How can he be one of them? I'm How could the guy who could read the future and was just kind of annoying the entire time the be a bad guy? You traitor! Except he's gonna really Such betray the them too because, like, Shot. he's clearly playing Maybe. both sides. <laughs> it doesn't matter what he is. That doesn't Santa change anything at reference? all. Of course it was. Does it, Alvis? Yes, precisely. You must find your own path. To the future. The Telethia! He's. So you're just another one of Sansa's lapdogs! Get ready, everyone! The bird that saved us so many Show years them ago. No mercy. As you wish, let us see that will to survive. How can the guy who said it doesn't matter if you fight or give up Sansa still wins? Be evil! <laughs> Ah, the Sani Telethia. Ah, the Sanitation Telethia. I see. We were fighting the janitor. That was his whole plan. <laughs> Aren't they all Sani Telethia? I mean, you think. Ah, shit. Too early. He's paralyzed. He's not going to be in this. What's up, Weapon Master? Thanks for the small raid. Oh, never mind, he is in this. Alright. Like Boy, I'm glad my party that has full affinity still only gets like one extra move. <laughs> I ain't gonna do this shit, I should do something else. Folks, new weapons are all weaker than the Monado 2 was. They're still not the Monado! <laughs> Not so yeah. tough without your pet, are ya? <laughs> They're not an upgrade. I'll show you the will to survive. <laughs> Meddling kids. I have seen your will to fight. It is time to decide. What do you say? Does this world belong to you or to Zanza? Is well, there a third option? <laughs> Either way's good with me. 
But I wonder what Zanza would say about it. He desires the same. And he sees everything. As you see, Shulk. It's like he says. Get back here! Bye, brother. You understand. Don't you, Shulk? Here at Outback Stab House, <laughs> we are committed to giving you the best meal of your life. With ingredients supplied by your local yeah. farmers and our beloved you Beef Oru, we promise that you'll enjoy every bite of your order. If you go My vision is a commercial! Supper, our specialized <laughs> team of doctors will make sure your comfort is at we'll maximum for the duration of your day. visit. Yeah. And with our new delivery service, we, we can the bring you delicious food and pain you expect to the you comfort of your own yeah. home. Try our special chicken fingers deal, 10 chickens for one finger. So come on down to Outback Stab House. Satisfaction guaranteed, or 25% off your next visit. Satisfaction not guaranteed. By eating at Outback Stab House, you agree with the Please speak responsibly. Stupid meddling kid. He had a good burn, finally. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna After do about this now. Years, Look at me, I'm shaking. I never thought the day would come when I would feel fear. I'm afraid of ads. Outbacks. I never thought about getting my arm cut off a chicken. I'm scared of that deal. Ten whole chickens for one finger. <laughs> Do you know how many chickens I eat in a day? I have to give away like four fingers. Dunban, have you seen Fiora? Thankfully they grow back. I have. She said she was going out to get some air. I don't think she went far. Thanks. I'll take a look. <sighs> Fiora, here you are. Oh, Shulk. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's so peaceful. It's hard to believe that we defeated a horde of Telethia just minutes ago. Sansa wants to finish us all. So we can make the vision he's had come true. We're in the calm before the storm. They'll be back, won't they? The Telethia. To remove us all from this world. I won't let that happen. Whatever the future holds, we can never give in. Not to Zanza. No, not even to our destiny. I wonder why Alvis said what he did. Which part? Does this world belong to us or to Zanza? Why would he side with Zanza? Power? Or maybe he wants to live forever? Who knows? But I don't think his motives are that simple. I'm sure Alvis has some kind of plan. Otherwise, why would he speak to me in my dreams? He spoke to you in your dreams? That's another reason Hulk, why I, think I have that's to find you, I think just called you have having a crush. <laughs> you and me both. But no, it, it, I must fulfill it's not He's like not a that. robot, though! <laughs> like, it, yes, it's true that I didn't have a shirt, but that's just me normally. It doesn't mean anything. Shulk? You wanted to speak to me about something. Oh, that's right. Lenarda's looking for you. She wants to examine you. She's back at Junks. Oh. Hey. Um, Something about you, you dying. Go I'll go and see you. Couldn't tell what she it. meant. I need a few minutes to myself. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Oh, thank you. What can I do? If I go to see Leonardo, she'll find out what's happening to my body. I need to come up with a good excuse. Oh, All right, please. I'm not. Let me be with Shulk just a little bit longer. Not mocking the voice actors, but man, Fiora does say "botty" a lot in this last part of the game, and it, mm -hmm. it always jumps out at me. I just know it. Dixon must be there as well. Yes, and Alvis too. That's I feel like we're forgetting someone to too. Are we forgetting another person in their group? Guys. We're gonna need to dig a pretty nah, big hole. Yeah, that'll be fine. How long it take? Ricky get old soon. It just so happens I have the answer. On the Bionis chest is a massive hole that leads inside. 
It's the wound made by Agil's final attack. Then that means... <laughs> Trinity means too! While the Allied force <laughs> keeps the Bathia busy, you can sneak <laughs> inside that wound and take out Sansa. We will take Junks. Let my father know when you are ready to depart. Yeah! Time to knock some heads! Ricky never lose! For Ricky family, Ricky win! We must show this god our unyielding will to survive. The suffering of my people will not be in vain. The crimes against our friends will not go unpunished. Shulk! <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Knew you would die in that one. <laughs> we will free our world from Sansa's curse. <laughs> Everyone, deep, dramatic, meaningful phrases. Shulk! Fiora, Shulk! Oh. <laughs> my reason for existing in this game. <laughs> my everything. Shulk! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to open my mouth and like, man, everyone's being really dramatic. I'm impressed. And then, boom, crashed and burned. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I just realized everyone gave Shulk crap for not sharing things, and yet other people are keeping secrets and saying it's nothing. Oh yeah, no, no one fucking learns in this series. Or in this yeah, game, to rather. Be fair. It wasn't Fiora that was giving him crap for that, because she was dead. <laughs> Guess what? She's still dead. We might still be dead too. All right. Well, let's look at let's look at our new sword, Replica Monado. A sword created based on the Machina's research into the Monado. Looks neat. Uh, and now we can equip weapons. Even though we no, only Fiora, have one. Fiora passes the Brechdel test because she talks with Vinaya about Maynith. Oh crap, I don't remember what I actually had on Shulk. He had one of the AP ups, that's all I remember. Apparently not, because no one's wearing these? What? Excuse me? Oh, because her weapon also got changed. What? I mean, I guess they are better than what we were using. Mm-hmm. Crap, what would, I ha what would I have on her, though? Or did she have one of those? Well, I mean, let's just give you... AP up three... <laughs> Zans is still here, gems, as well. <laughs> Damn it, Sansa! Uh. Hmm. Yeah, agility down three. And that was. <coughs> that was definitely on Fiora. Uh. How about HP up four? And we'll give you back your MP up. Or EXP up, rather. And you've already got... Oh, no, you already have... Wait, what? Then who the fuck didn't have experience up three on? Oh, it's probably... Oh, because everyone had to use their fucking blades, that's why. So I lost a bunch of slots to locked-in ones, that's mm -hmm. why. That makes more sense. No, my experience. I need the number to go up. Number go up mean good. Okay. Hello. So let's see here. Everyone's got the books they need. Uh. Book. New gear for her. I like he's not been equipping him with stuff, because I was surprised. I'm surprised that would Maybe. actually make that big a difference. Yeah, no, it's... <clears throat> Somebody's asking what the Bechdel test is. I don't remember exactly what the measurement is, but... The Bechdel test I think it's just test, at some it point is. during a work, uh, like, 
woman talks to another woman about not a man. Anything yeah. that's not a man. As long as there's something in that story that does not have anything to do with men, passes the Bechdel test. Small it's caveat, really not worth have to be putting... Named. Yes, it's really not worth, worth putting a whole lot of stock in. It's not a measurement for any individual work. It's more a pattern recognition thing. Mm -hmm. I'll get you this because that will actually be lighter than what you're wearing. Uh, I'll get you this because it is better than what you're wearing. Oh, for at least one minute? Did not know that part. Yeah, one, two the characters talk thing. to each other, two, without mentioning man, three, for at least one minute. I've heard the time one before. Usually it's, it's extended to, like, whole stories, but yeah, like, it and is... Yeah. Also, it's from a comedy bit. <laughs> yeah, Please. so it's not... Serious. It's not the be-all, end-all. It's a fun thing to, like, note how many things fail it, and you're just like, hmm, maybe there is a problem, but it's not, it's not something to be just like, yes... This is the ironclad rule that you need to do. Hmm. Yeah, actually. I guess I bought all that for no reason then. Because I just didn't put anything on them. Guys, again, I've heard of the Bechdel test from a dozen different sources and never heard the one minute. It is not mandatory. It depends on who you're talking to. I've mm -hmm. heard it from some. I've heard it. From, I've heard it from others. That it doesn't. Mm -hmm. It is. It is different per. Yeah. Sort by mm, defense again. That was the experience. I think I lost off you just then. Mm, maybe. Yeah, it was. There we go. Well, since the experience up to three is not in use. Mm. Why not? Uh, and we'll just assume everyone else is good for now. Uh, now it is time to buy some cosmetics. <gasps> Yay. Costumes. Hello. Gonna get snorkels for everybody? No, we're gonna buy some stuff for uh, Fiora. You have so much money. I won't by the end of this. No, but you will by the reset. <laughs> the worst part is I'm going to have to buy one of these at least, like, because I think they are objectively better than what she's currently wearing. Mm. No, maybe not, actually, looking at some of these. Hi, Hi Wang. Hey, Hi Wang. I realize I have not done any countermeasures today, really, so I'm just going to finish the shopping and loading here while while we're doing countermeasures. So. <laughs> I just have ignored them all completely. My bad. Alright, so this is a little long. Uh, oh my god, because Fornea just rated just then, too. Fornea, High Wang, Wyvern Master, Negative Pro, uh, Dusk's Wolf. Were those all the ones I saw? I swear I missed someone else. Yeah, Crystal Clear Entertainment. Thank you all for the raids. Sorry they were a little spaced out. I think Tails Faraga even rated at the very beginning. No, that's two days ago. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you, Tails, for two days ago as well. Uh, yeah. Thanks! Yeah, what well, he said. Thanks. Thanks. We're playing some Xenoblade. Two boss nice. cell runs of dead cells are so awful. Ew. I definitely read Knuckle Duster. Doing right. some nice chill shopping. Yep. 
So we On just picked up. Let's let's customize our robot. All right. So we got uh, Ether Cowling two. Eh. Speed Cowling that, three. Is, it's the it's the helmet. Head. The head. Yeah, the head. Yeah. Power Cowling three. Yeah. Attack Cowling three. And that was all the oh, head ones, and I don't like any of them, so I'm sticking with what we got. I, I like got the head wings. Make make her look like Melia as an insult. <laughs> oh no, God, no, no, <laughs> that's so mean. Ether cowling, uh, actually not terrible. Actually, does work look, with our color scheme. I think it would look better with a little bit darker color scheme. The joints being as bright as they are. Uh, power cowling. Mm. Attack cowling. I mean, honestly, like, I like the one we got, but I'm also, which was a speed cowling three? Just, no, it was ether cowling three. Yeah, I'm also yeah, you, not against this one. This actually kind of works mm -hmm. pretty good, too. I think I wound up putting her in that, that last, uh, like, black and white thing that you had on just before you reverted. I went with a color scheme... Oh, sorry, for the, for the body. It was this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. I ended up making a color scheme based on that. If TRG were to do a voice dub of any game that you would do an LP of, which game would it be? Hmm. Isn't that just Banjo-Kazooie? Yeah, that pretty much is just Banjo-Kazooie, wasn't it? I think I'm actually going to do the Ether Cowling, because I actually think I kind of like this. All right, arms for this one. Eh, I think I like what we got going for the arms already. And legs, I think it's going to be the same situation. Yeah, I like what we got going there. Yeah, I'll stick with this. Hold on, go back to the other one. Which one? Go back to that last one real quick. Uh, it was like... Yeah, the attack cowling three. I love how it just exposes her inner thigh. <laughs> Necessary for mobility. Yeah, very important. Just shaking my head. All right. Uh, <laughs> the drones wise. So uh, I am gonna ask this. So let me turn on the help Nato. Now it's help help time. Do I need to worry about Mechonis units anymore? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe it's no. for some quests, but nah. Because everyone's equipped with Mechonis focused gear. You can drop it. If you if you yeah. need Mechonis for something, you can just pop Shulk back in. It'll be better uh, to get the stats out of the other weapons. Yeah. Only one super boss or some unique monsters, that's it. Gotcha. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. Thanks! Thanks. Uh, sort by max auto attack. Yeah, so I figured it seemed better than everything I'm carrying so far. Ryan. Ooh, that really did, huh? Yeah, the later Magna stuff is actually really good. Yeah, now I'm debating on some of these here. Yeah, actually, maybe the maybe the party's sticking with what they got for the most part then. Because I know she's got a better one. I have a bunch of that were better than what she's using for the Machina. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it was the kind of thing where it's like, okay, we need to put a little bit of a disadvantage but then it was so long with just fighting uh mech on that it's like all right they end up just power creeping to standard mech a sniper two. Oh god it's so low down the list fuck i would lose 30 physical defense for her but like my crit rate goes up by fucking 12 percent mm. could that be a gem hmm could that be a gem no, it's not a gem, because the gems she has on are heatsink. Oh, okay. I think there's another unchecked custom for Fiora. Yeah, it's her weapons. I haven't been doing weapon customizations. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll take the heat sinks back. All right. Devil cannon. Save all that, so don't goof on that again. Use the devil cannon to get, take down a god. No, she's fine. Okay. Uh, so now, what should we do? Do you want the voice acted scenes or voice acted side quests first? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to everyone I can to get their. <coughs> oh, I forgot we already did this one. But now you get to finish it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's... I'm trying to think of also what party should be here to while we're doing these side quests so they can get affinity, because those three are already at max. Uh, yeah. Those rat tails are going to be really, really important. I thought you were going to do team love triangle for a second. It was tempting. Uh, <laughs> if anything, I probably should have done that so everyone has Max with, with Shulk, but... Okay, so I guess we'll just run around and collect side quests for now. And then we'll gut specifically do the... Uh... For side quests, there's a few you can get, but only after you travel to the next area. It only needs that story flag, then they appear right away. No need to go any further than the entrance. Hmm. Can I ask you to do something in Xenoblade Chronicles 1, if that's okay? What is that, Peachy Girl? How important are the unique comments, the affinity chart? I'm not sure what you mean, Oregon. Uh, those comments don't add anything to the affinity chart. The what? Uh, when you accept a quest, certain quests with characters, they will oh. make like their own personal comment. Oh, that. Okay, I know. Yeah, those those don't matter. That's just flavor. Like them talking to each other before accepting the quest, that can give affinity, but uh, the actual things that's just like. Dunban specifically talking about this one, that doesn't do anything. Can you go to Alchemoth right now? I'm going to assume not, but let's look. I think Pichu just wants you to see it. You cannot skip. Oops. You can't skip there, you gotta walk. <clears throat> what if I don't wanna... Oh, that means so that... Oh, so that also means the uh, heart-to-hearts here are gone. No. Not necessarily. Like, you can get in, you just oh. have to walk. Oh. I mean, I wanted to leave it vague, but... Eh. Yeah, like, there there are quests that will send you there. We can make Amelia even more sad seeing her empty city. <laughs> this poor girl. Um. <clears throat> Don't worry, it's not empty. Arguably, that's worse. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Now I don't know why I can't fast travel there. That makes sense. That's it. Like I said, just wanted you to see it. I was to say, because it seems like everyone's way higher level than what I am right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, and shit. You would have been sent here eventually. Do, 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 yeah, do. We are doing <laughs> side quests, friends. All right, apparently I actually have to try to leave and him being stuck means nothing. 
There are so many around here, ew. And I can't just warp to that heart, that heart to heart. No, now, no, I can't. Not to the, yeah, you can't warp it here ever again, unfortunately. So I gotta walk. Yep. Damn you, giant fish! Mm-hmm. And here comes a giant fish. You can skip travel out of here, but not within. Okay. So yeah, how should we attack the rest of the content of the game, basically? Someone said going a little bit farther in the main story unlocks the rest of the side quest. Should we do that first and foremost? I don't know where that specific flag is, but if you want a side quest, I argue that just getting up to the point of no return is a good point to go do everything you want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're a bit off from that yet. I wonder if I can even do this heart to heart. I don't even know who it is and if I have enough affinity with them. Granted, you've been going for three and a half hours here, so if you just want to do some side quests to flush out the stream, there will be enough. I mean, and I got... don't know specifically what quests they're asking you to do because I've I never do. done they all the side the quests in this game. They want the voice acted ones. I don't remember those. I never did them. I do. <laughs> there are so <clears throat> many around where this heart to heart is supposed to be. <laughs> I bet some of these quests are going to be pretty high level, though. Some of uh, the, the voice acted ones stuff are not. is tough. Voice acted one is not. He's fine to be able to do it. Mm. All right, whose is this, and can we do it? I can! Okay. Brother and sister. Brother and sister. Brother and sister. Don't say the level of final boss. Don't say the level I'm of final moving. boss. No, don't do that. I know that their post-game enemies are higher level than the final boss. I know that, I just don't know the actual number, and I don't want to know the actual number. Alkamoth is a wonderful city, don't you think, Dunvin? <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. My heart belongs in Colony 9, but I'd love to live here someday. It feels a little spacious for you, probably because there's no one else living alive in here. Uh... What are you talking about? I like big places. Lots of room to dodge the Telethia. Okay, I'm going to assume the bad answer is, but you're bad with directions, so... <laughs> I could be used to it too. The technology is incredible, for instance, especially the weapons. Never changed, John Ben. Always on about fighting. <laughs> That's me, a born and bred killing machine. You know, there's more to you than that, John Ben. I heard you no, saved I'm everyone's kidding. life and more than once. It's nice to know I'm appreciated around here. I wonder if I should try and move here one day. You were serious about that? I can hardly go back to the colony looking like this. <laughs> you worry too much. Those are good people back home. It'd be like you never left. Are you sure? Because I'm not exactly alive right now. Of course I'm sure, Fiora. They owe you. When times were bad, your smile saved them all. <laughs> That's nice of you to say. I'm sorry about all this. I should have done more that day. It's not your fault, really. I've gotten used to this body, for better or worse. I'm the one who should be doing more to reassure you. I really don't need to worry. It's fine, Fiora. Hey, when we get back home, will you make my favorite dish? <laughs> One Dunban special coming up. But you and Shulk need to work on your vocabulary. If I hear, yeah, great, thanks. One more time. All right. This well, was the worst time to see all of that. That was, that was pretty <laughs> funny, though. All right, we, see, we got one. Telepia. We got one in the Great Fiora. Hall, and we got. She's one. already like, I'm, I'm dying. So you know, where, where should I move to live the rest of my days? There's a, there's a lot that I can, would like to do, and I don't think I'm going to get a chance to. Yeah, Shulk can taste food. Now he might say it tastes good. I don't know why I'm bothering to run around, but I can just look at the the list that will tell us if we have any here. <laughs> we can do them all. <laughs> Clear it out! <laughs> Oops. Alright, time to stealthily... Get some heart to hearts done, I guess. They will be hard to get to. I wish you the best. I mean, if I get KO'd, I'll just back off. 
And we'll attempt it later. Giant fish worries me a little bit here. I think you can take it. Probably not. What level am I at right now? 77? 75 range. Okay. Yeah, a little, little out of cap. Is that your max level right now? That is my max level. I have, yeah, expert mode mm -hmm. is not on currently. Okay. But remember, I'm going to be doing side quests between streams, so we'll get some levels. Mm -hmm. I like the, the mist they got going on here to make everything feel evil. What'd you say? Why the, uh, Philip said, why didn't Dixon take one of these guys to attack you? Eh, he wanted to be fair. So say, I can't tell which way that one's facing. No, the, act the actual reason is they don't make as good seats. No, oh, I actually have the party for this. All right, the forefathers. Fiora, Fiora! What is it, Ricky? What this thing, Fiora? Ricky think, wow, Ricky like it. This is a statue made to look like the High Antia forefathers. Melia told us, remember? What the fuck is the right answer here? Jesus. <laughs> just, just go for it. Just pick something. For, forefathers were important? Yes, they're said to be the founders of Melia's family line. So Melia's great grampy pawns. That's right. They're credited with bringing civilization to Bionis. Melly's relatives, very clever. Ricky, think it cool. Why don't you let her know that? I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Fiora, Ricky want to be king. A king, huh? Sounds like a lot of fun. All right, if you get to be king, what will you do? If I was free money. Probably that. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure that's a oh. good idea? No, that was the wrong answer, apparently. <laughs> Helping the poor, not the right answer. Isn't it better that the people work to earn money? Not everyone. Just people who have injuries and old people. Um, <laughs> oh no, Fiora's a capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Help those who need it. Oh, that makes more sense. I thought you were saying people wouldn't need to work at all. Holy I, shit, Fiora. I did come from the, uh, from the Titan where everything is automated. Everyone works. <laughs> Fiora, bad hom hom. Ricky has been alive for a long time. Ricky know better than that. I'm sorry, Ricky. I know your family depends on you to bring home the pollen. Ricky wants to be richer than bird people and be good daddy pawn. That's a nice goal, Ricky. I'm sure you can do it. And now to immediately load up into a fight. Also, I know it wasn't, but I misread Fiora as I uh, know as Ricky is saying. No, I'll only make the uh, sick and old people work. <laughs> Ricky's sick of their shit. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm. Oh, I don't think I'm making it up this one. Oh, we're fucked. We are so foobard now. All right, I can kite them, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to because there's some at the top too. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the rest of these until I uh, am strong enough to take these guys on. <laughs> skip away, Fiora! Skip away! Swing those hips. Distract them with your hips. Uh, I don't think I can get out of range. No. Oh, I can! And have! Congratulations. Yep. But the elevator doesn't work. Maybe some of them are out? Hmm. I know you can get up there somehow. Okay. Mm, maybe they are gone. I don't remember. It's not locked forever. I mean, there's I two other ways up, so let's try the others. A side quest involves repairing them. There you go. Ah. ah. So basically, I can't do the rest right now. Mm -hmm. Apparently. I mean, this one looks like it's on. Those are just the emergency lights. A 
Apparently so. All right. Well, that's that then. Uh, all right. So what's the best plan then? I guess move the story ahead a little bit more. Hmm, that could work. Or you can quest with what you've got now. All right. I guess let's. Um. I don't know the quest people want to see, so I can't say I can like you really how to easily. proceed it. Skip travel to junks. The other junks. Junks too, even junks here. Yeah, well, what are you feeling like doing? Mm -hmm. I would personally like to. Um... <gasps> I would like to do the side quests, honestly. But, like, move the story along a little bit, too. Like, where's the point where all side quests are available, basically, is more maybe my best question. Because what I would like to do is at least do the side quests that give me tree number five on everyone. I don't know what the, what the point everybody's talking about is. I assume that it is just go, in, go into wherever Nicole tells you and then leave. Want to play? Technically, oh, uh, I, I know what they're talking about now. Only a strong man. Do you want the dumb strong man or the other strong man? Want you want the other strong man, okay. Want play? You look strong, we're waiting for someone like you to come. What's bothering you? You probably know that the village is really short of people. There are indeed a lot of monsters in this area, and there aren't really enough of us to defend the village. And there's the other jobs like fixing things and finding food. I can see how the few of you here would struggle with these tasks. Everyone else is working so hard, but I can't do a thing. My body's just stopped growing, you see? I'm stuck as a kid. I'll never be able to help everyone like this. I'm nothing but a burden. Is that what you think? Did someone say that to you? Didn't you just decide that's how you want to label yourself? And don't look so angry. I got it. Won't you help me? Okay, I'll help you, but you've got to stop feeling so sorry for yourself. Really? I'll tell you a list of things to get. Once you found them all, we just need to find an engineer. Schultz can make anything you need. He's good at such things. Leave the collecting up to me. I'll do my best. Thanks. Tell me what I need to find. A transmission bypass and an exhaust pump. Oh, and a mini reactor. Understood. I will find them. The guy with only one functional arm is stronger than the himbo? Yes, he is. Because he's able to participate on par with the guy with two arms, with only one. Dun Dunban is pretty strong. <laughs> Just note that some of the fifth branch quests are extremely high level. I had a feeling. Oops. No, I need current. Man, it's already been a week since I got back from the Corona Hotel. Oh, yeah, I caught Corona, too. Um, oh. Forgot that at the beginning of the... And while I was there, I was like, I'm going to draw my two new emotes. I'm going to make a Lance Hype, and I'm going to make dun a Gun Ban. <laughs> and I didn't do either one. <laughs> I just played CrossCode for three days. <laughs> hey, CrossCode is pretty fun. CrossCode it is, is pretty fun. I'm playing it in Japanese, so it's going really, really slow. And I did, just recently, I finally picked up... Um, or logged in to Final Fantasy XIV, and I took an hour doing literally the very first quest. <laughs> like, like just go talk to the person inside that tells you, that like, registers at a guild. That took me an hour. But it was good Japanese practice. <laughs> No, I already took uh, time to make the character creation before. This was a character I already had, and I was like at the end of a Pokemon stream. And I'm like, ah, uh, sure, let's play Final Fantasy XIV for an hour. And I did one quest. And I want to go back and play more. It's going to be very, very fucking slow. But I think that's probably my best bet for Japanese language practice right now. Crosscode is a good translation so far, but a little advanced and very wordy. 
stun van is the most sane. Yeah, that doesn't uh, exempt him from being a himbo. I'd argue Krunk is the most sane person in the Emperor's new groove. I don't think Dunban counts as a himbo because it's not that he's just sane. He is clever, smart, suave. He's more a buccaneer. Mm -hmm. A rogue, if you will. How wordy is it? Um, so keep in mind that if you're playing in English, you know, you, you just read sort of subconsciously and you won't notice it. When I'm playing in Japanese, I feel like every time I accept a quest, I have all the info I need, and then they speak for eight more text boxes. Which is actually really close to the problem I had with Iconoclast, and John, you were the one that told me that. Like, it's a surprisingly wordy for a pixel RPG. Oh, it's right. very wordy. My god, yes, is I'll it wordy. I'll pause this until I can read faster, and I'm really feeling like Crosscode is getting to the same point. Granted, Crosscode is, uh, you know, basically a single-player game in the world of an MMO, so maybe I'll just go play an MMO. <laughs> or play Dot .hack, which is also the same thing. <laughs> And the main character speaks the old English like. I don't know what race I am or what town I'm in because, you know, those are all custom based on whatever race and class and everything you pick. I pick the big burly guys and the second option that has a cat nose and I'm in, like, some forest region. That's the place I'm at. And so far, the text is, you know, it, it's still slow reading because it's the foreign language. But aside from, like, names and proper stuff, it's all pretty comprehensible Japanese, which is, like, exactly where I need to be at. Stuff that I can read without getting too stuck Brazil. on the sentence structure. I don't think Brazil is what they're... What it's, they're not, it's not, it's probably not Brazil. <laughs> it's probably not Brazil. <laughs> Ooh, this one actually might be a little tricky with this party. Let's try it. Rothgar and Gridania, those sound close to the katakana that I read. Not the Lion Folk. The Lion Folk you need an expansion for. I'm just in free trial. Just remember to give Jesus a hug if you go to Brazil. If I could have, I would have made a Viera because I... Yeah, you, you need to place. buy the game for that, which is why yeah, I bought it. And now I can't do the free trial. <laughs> I, oh, I have been in some kind of fucking back and forth hell with Square on that. Because I, uh, I have an account that, like, can't use the free trial because I signed up for, like, a 30-day free trial a year and a half ago, but that was with the specifically, like, paid version of the game that was only free for 30 days. And now that flag is set, so that email is locked forever, and I can't ever use it for anything again. It also got linked to my Steam account because I made the mistake of launching it from Steam, and now that lock is it's a linked to my Steam account forever. Even though I went and deleted the Square account already. So I made another one on my side email address. I still can't log in via the website because that thinks both of them have been locked. I don't like Square, man. <laughs> I really don't like mm -hmm. There we go, we got them all. Yay. But yeah, if Quality. I could have, I made I, I'd have made a Viera because Final Fantasy Tactics is like the only Final Fantasy I've ever really beaten. Or Tactics Advance. Tactics is on my list once I get better at the JPs. He I, thought you, I thought you meant job points and not Japanese for a second there. Japanese, yes. <laughs> JP is literally a thing in those games, Ryan. That's why I had to make sure. <laughs> and I haven't played them. <laughs> you played Advance. You just said so. Fair, but that was like 13 years ago. Actually, more. That's over 20. About yes, 20. But, so the main story is the only part of the bet. John's just doing all the side quests because he wanted to play. Yeah, because then time. I can mark the game as complete on, on mm. my backlog and never have to play it again if I don't want to. 
Squeenix put some very small asterisks on the free trial, but they're very lethal. <laughs> the growth device. Wow, of course that's what we're building. It's finished. I'm pretty sure this will work. Just use it once every day. There's no point overusing it. So if you use my body, we'll get like an adult. Yes, but I'm afraid you won't grow up overnight. It will just cause your suspended growth to restart. So it won't make me an adult straight away. Correct, you'll just grow up gradually like everyone else. It's a bit frustrating, but I suppose that's what growing up is. Thank you, now I can help out and finally make my mom proud. Yay! You're welcome. I don't know what I would have uh, done without you and Dunban. No, it was mainly Dunban, I just helped out. I'm so grateful to you and Dunban. This is like HRT, there you go. You've changed my life. Congratulations, you got a skill. Ryan was really excited for Dunban. So was that was that his fifth? Did you oh, just accident into that? <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. All the ones that add to your tree, uh, they require your party member like to talk to the person. So I knew it was Dunban's mm -hmm. fifth just by talking mm -hmm. to them. But I did, in fact, luck out into just finding them. Because I just went like, to the only exclamation. <laughs> yeah. All right, is Dunban the only one who wasn't done his others? No, he has done them all. Okay, enthusiasm. Prior to this trace will improve strength. Grants haste buff at start of battle. Twenty-five percent activation rate for thirty percent haste. Increased chance of a counterattack. Ten percent. Increased tension gained after crit hit. Ten percent or ten points. Increased tension using uh, gained when using arts. Ten percent or ten points. And fills party gauge when activating an aura. Tw Ooh, okay. Eight. Decent. Eight. 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 Uh, everyone Good else, meanwhile, standing. let me just look. Yeah, Eight. all done. All done. All done. New tree. All done. Lot to go. Uh, all done. See, so, yeah, I, I need the other trees just so those points are actually going to something. Everybody thinks you are very powerful. Uh, I should bring up the list to see how many missions are where. If anything, what else we got to talk about streamline, I, streamline this a little bit. I feel mm -hmm. like you should be talking about something, but I uh, am no good at bringing stuff up out of the blue. Speaking of segways, I wonder when I actually get to go into that <laughs> stupid spot in the in the trial room we had to do it next to Alchemoth. Uh, oh, that one. Uh, that is actually a pretty doable west if i recall yeah okay so i think i see the one that people are saying that i should really go into the place for yeah because uh replica monado is written there we should probably do those yeah yeah when i was just like yeah it's the quest and that i'm thinking like i don't remember any quest doing that oh never mind oh yeah final fantasy 9 i'm stoked to get started on that too yes Right after Pokemon or Pester Quest finishes up. Ah, that's how they get around it. <laughs> that makes more sense. I was curious if there would be a restriction, because I've never tried this. What am I looking at? Uh, RPG site has a spoiler-free list of uh, all the side quests and when they unlock. So I just pulled up the endgame quest list. I want to wait on 9. Rumor Mill is spinning hard on a 9 remake. Oh well. Why would I wait? I already bought it. What 9? Mm -hmm. Which 9? Final Fantasy 9? Final Fantasy, yeah. Why would there be a remake I... of that when they're still working on 7? Yeah, I also, no. like, I, and I don't... It, if anybody says there's a rumor about something, I'm like, cool. That is actually a point, basically a point to the negative that it'll never happen. As far as I'm concerned, I do not care about rumors. <laughs> All right, so let's let's just move the story back along a little bit, I guess, and then, yeah, some so at this point in the game, many many end quest games begin to open up. Some uh, require you to step inside the uh, the Bionis interior, which is where we're going next. They already told us we're doing that. And some require items from Prison Island, so consider doing that first. Some of the quests listed here might technically be available earlier, but they are either easier to acquire now due to affinity needed, or easier to complete to do. Uh, to do levels or items needed. Luckily, there are no more missables at this point, so you can relax a little. 
In case you're wondering, the point of no return in Prison Island is extremely obvious. After defeating a <laughs> dragon boss, Dunban will warn you before taking a warp that you cannot come back after you step through the warp. Yeah. Oh, I have a story about that. I have the screenshot that. in my mind. Like, I, I, I know exactly what that screen looks like. It's, I've seen it many, many times. All right, well, let's, uh, let's move this along, shall we? Just the, the guys, oh, the fact it that just it, warped the, the, us here. It didn't actually yeah. start the fucking flag. Okay. The mm -hmm. the fact that a rumor is was was on a list with other rumors that happened still doesn't mean anything. Yeah, Chorus Kid never came to Smash Bros, and that was on the list with with every other character that did come into Smash Bros. Like until it, there's actually news of it, it's not real. It's just how it goes. All right, let's do it. Fly to the Bionis interior. Somebody asked me what about Toothpaste Chan? Toothpaste Chan isn't real, so that's mm -hmm. fine. I'm still waiting for the next Fire Emblem announcement. <laughs> it's the inside of the Bionis. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. Then we find Zanza and stop him. Yeah, Ricky just wanted to jump. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, do we just keep moving forward then? I guess. Uh, if you like. Oh wait, no, no, hang on. There, it's right there already. I can see it on my map. Hello. Is replica Monado to your satisfaction? There's something that I have not yet told you. There are five other prototypes in addition to the replica I gave you. I could make them if you had the time and necessary materials. What do you think? Would you like me to make them? Have them make a Monado replica which is made for lighter, easier fighting. Somewhere on Bionis. Uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. They're end game quests. Yeah. For sure. Please take these five designs. They are prototypes and may be somewhat difficult to wield. They must be used correctly. But once mastered, they are truly formidable weapons indeed. Oh, she's just going to give me every quest right straight up. Customize your JRPG protagonist. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's that just... Say... Hmm? Did that say demonic bra guy? Diamond Brog Eye. Diamond okay. Brog Eye. <laughs> also, I thought you said Demonic Brog Guy. Hmm? I mean, Demonic Everflame is there, so I think you just might have mm -hmm. saw two of them really quickly and combined them. Maybe. I would say, where'd you get the bra from? But I, like, it's here, so. Well, I uh, said Brog. Oh, I'm saying that to Ryan, so. Okay. Who said he got it from you, so. Learned it by watching you. So mm -hmm. here, should I just push to point of no return at this point? Can I even get the point of no return tonight? That's we will not. I would be very shocked if we could get to that tonight. That's what I thought. Okay. So then the question is, with that done here, are we good to just do the side quests now? It doesn't seem like anything else. Well, actually, Some no, that's a lie. There is one thing that's going to slow us down. Yeah, it's Colony 6 stuff. Yeah. There's also, like, you don't have access to all areas yet, and there might be some materials from those areas that you need for side Yeah, quests. in here. I need, Most mm -hmm. of these have stuff in here. So let's just run around here, I guess. Because I can do side quests. Oh, here's the other thing, because I think this should work now. Hmm. I, I still have no idea. 
like what any of these feel like. You've been doing them, but I completely avoided it on my replay. Here's the other thing. I wonder if they're finally there now. I'm also trying uh, not to dig too deep into the chats talking about three engaged now because before the stream, oh, we were having a, a discussion <laughs> about engaged. But that was about three houses. Well, I mean, it was about Fire Emblem in general. No, they're not there, son of a bitch. No, the classic, sorry. classic Fire Emblem argument. It must be when I'm going to Prison Island, because at some so at some point you can buy the Colony Six items here. Yep. I know that. You have to activate the point of no return cutscene in order to get what I suspect you're referring to. That's what I figured. Yeah. Damn, damn. You have, no, you have no idea how scared I was when you first mentioned this, because I'm just like, oh, this wasn't in my list of things to like uh, divert from, divert John from realizing. Sorry, I already knew war? about it. It was not a waifu war because you know real fire emblem discussions uh, no, no, are about no. mechanics. Oh, no, 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 this was this was about uh, mechanics. <laughs> we finally found the first lung. Mm. I like how like how like how much earlier were we even in this fucking area? It's like the sixth card we had or the seventh card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right after Satoral Marsh, you step inside, walk down a hallway, and then bail. What well, even is this one? I don't even remember what the hell that one is. That's other. Ah, my favorite area. Yeah, so like we had Colony 9, we had Tefra Cave, we had Bionis Leg, Colony 6, Ether Mine, Satoral Marsh, and then we were in the interior, but we couldn't do anything there, so. It's taken this long. <laughs> other is from trading. Oh, God. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just to answer, um, we were discussing designing for difficulty, different ideas on what should be the default. That's all. Yeah, I was discussing like which basically gameplay type they preferred out of what mm -hmm. Fire Emblem does and could do and has done in the past. At least that was what I saw when I skimmed it. Mm, it's an interesting series. It's gone through a lot of, while well, keeping the same core flavor through a handful of very different, like, feels. I don't know what Harvestella is, King Money. I have never literally recent, in my life heard of it before. Very recent game, a couple months ago. Uh, Square. It's uh, RPG, action RPG-ish that has like farming elements to it. It's not canonically the ass, it's just close to it. Wait. Harvestella is no, close no, to ass. Satoral Mash. No, Satoral Marsh. <laughs> okay. Let's finish. Who wow? Yeah, there we go. Mmm, nutritious microbes. Great. Satoral Marsh is the Bionis' tramp stamp. Pretty good. It's all right. moist and gross. TLS and he wants the wisdom of Duke after that lovely phrase we just uttered, so let's see what Duke says. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's fine. I was hoping for damn. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't near the butt, we said that. Well, I guess it technically is with the tramp stamp. It's near the butt. Okay. The Smash Bros. trophy informed everybody that Colony 6 is right on the crotch. Right dead in the center. Oh, that's why that happened. Okay. That makes a bit ah, more daytime. sense. Everyone, let's go. Get down here! And now we've got, I think, like three minutes till like actual break, so all we're doing is just kind of putzing about at this point. Mm -hmm. Just the smash. 
without the Miller turn wheel. I never would have finished. Echoes, loved as much as I did. Echoes was great. Loved it immensely. One of my favorites. Charging antibody six. Oh, that's yeah, why this I, I don't miss Xenoblade 1 gameplay either. I replayed it, what is it, about a year, year and a half ago, like for the Japanese, and um, after you get used to Xenoblade 2, like something with a little bit more depth, this feels very sort of... Yeah, because that's, so that's Hello, the thing that kind of bugged me about like how everyone <laughs> praised this so much. I'm playing this, I'm like, this is just kind of like an MMO. Which, when it came out, was really sort of novel to have this sort of MMO style in a single player. No! Game. <laughs> Final Fantasy XII and Dot Hack! There were well, seven Dot Hack games out at this point. I mean, I guess that's still novel if it's a, still a single digit, but yeah. But I, my, I guess that's my point. But as a Wii game, though, yeah, so that's the thing. For Nintendo systems, yes. Mm -hmm. Nintendo systems, yes, it was novel and new. I will give you that. How many people know Dot Hack? Well, considering at the time it had an anime airing. Well, actually, no, that probably would have been Pat. Shit, when did Dot Hack air? When did Dot Hack sign air on, like, Toonami? Is that, like, 2003, 2004? So that, that would have been, like, way later then. First episode date, April 4th, 2002. 2002. Oh my god, way earlier than I thought. But that's Japan. Oh, man. Okay. I've, I've heard of Dot Hack, but I know nothing about it. And considering there's like 15,000 turn based RPGs, yeah, like. The, when I say novel, I don't mean brand new, but like. feels different, basically. This was 2010, Final Fantasy 13 was 09. Uh, do you mean 12? Because I said 12, or did I say 13 by accident? I meant 12. You said 12. No, you said 12. Okay. I like how all the ones I'm thinking of are all PS2 games, I just realized. Because Dot Hack mm -hmm. is all PS2, and 12 was PS2. Yeah, Dot yeah, Hack is like, a multimedia I... cluster truck, so you probably know it from something in some way. Yeah, it had a card game, manga series, anime, OVAs, the game Literally series. Never heard of it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been shocked if uh, you guys talking about it during the uh, video game panel was the first time I heard about it, but I've definitely heard about it before. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I it think was, that might have uh, been the first time I knew it was a video game, though. A lot about Xenoblade stands out uh, if you played it at the time of it coming out, and as a Nintendo fan specifically. Like, a bunch of asterisks, sure. But nothing about, you know, games experiences is universal. Yeah, I guess that's the thing I always... Oh, well, we'll see this cutscene first. <laughs> you look well, your highness. Who are you again? Are you one of the two trinities? <laughs> there are two it's trinities right now, two two groups of three. Show yourself. No, there's just one, two. There's just two, tr two in the Look trinity. That. That's it. <laughs> the heart of the Bionis, the pulsating life of Lord Zanza. Quit your yapping and show yourself. I await your highness here. There is something I wish to show you. My back. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is. If they survive. <laughs> kiss goodbye. <laughs> I leave now. Lorithea. Kiss, kiss, fall. What are you planning? Forget her for now. We he doubled onto the heart. Four trinities. All right. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Xenoblade 1 is an anime. Sounds like a nightmare of getting hyper-condensed, which I'd watch for the hilarity. I'm, uh... I mean, finally, I think. Like, finally, Zeno, I Zeno Saga had an anime. I think it was only for the first game. It was now. only for the first game, sadly. But yeah, it still had an anime. So even, like, Monolith has precedent for their games becoming anime. 
Um, the most important thing is that it got the beach scene into the anime. <laughs> it also wasn't very good. I left mm -hmm. that part out. <laughs> See, like, I'm, I'm finally got somebody that I can watch the Persona 3 movies with, and that's going to be my next attempt at an anime thing. Because Persona 3 has four movies. That's a pretty good length, but that's still, like, six hours, roughly? That's a lot of game to stuff into six hours. I have heard that they're pretty good, but it's yep. still going to be a little rushed. At least. <laughs> God damn it, I keep forgetting to use the damn Xenoblade transitions. <laughs> we have the sword, we're due using the damn sword. There, cut that intermission into intermission. <laughs> Yes, uh, the Nier Automata anime is currently airing, and I don't have any of the things that it's on, and I'm not paying for Crunchyroll, and I want it in Japanese. Luxon, if you ever do decide to do that, tell me where, when I can audition. Okay, let's drop some eggs, go to break, stretch, and then we'll go through Art Block, and then we'll 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 have like up to 90 minutes to figure out what we're gonna do in Xenoblade, basically. Mm -hmm. The best plan of attack, because ideally. I want, between this stream and the next Xenoblade stream, to be able to do all the side quests. Except for the ones specifically people want. So I'm gonna need, like, a written list. I'm gonna need to do some homework, is what I'm kinda saying here. And, yeah, you're gonna when have to voice get through, through this section to be able to do that. Okay. Do you care if I tell you just how many voice acted ones there are? Sure. A single one. That's it? People made mm -hmm. it seem like there were multiple. No, there's a there's a lot of people want you to see, but when it comes to voice actor one, there's only one. Okay. Vincent Sin for 87, Garthon 6 for 24, Emerald Bard for 28, Pastel Sakura YT for 18, Wild Wolf KOF for 7. This page is my own for 40, Hat Monster for 28, Somaria Moon for 50, Rio 3415 for 111, Jake Monroe for 94, Cosplayer Dork for 27, Abunai Gaming for 66, and Joshua 8824 Racing for 51. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... Oh, yeah, we haven't shown the other two parts of the recap yet. Uh, God, where do we leave off? Nico, I think, is where we left off. That's one big cow thrown together in, like, 30 minutes. It's moo. Trojan, with you will give me 900. You will give me 900 dollar dues. Tobias! I'm glad you left the Tobias part in. I would have been real sad if you didn't. <laughs> Corel Leo with, hey, you want to see something dumb? Always. Hey, you want to see something cool? So happy. They're all friends now. <laughs> I don't know why I was pointing Oops. it at your back, but sorry. Yeah, it's just a habit I got. Uh, catch you through <laughs> two with Xenoblade 1 gear system. My understanding of Xenoblade 1's gear system is probably incorrect, but based on the cosmetics alone, I've realized that, well, there's the default outfit that probably has very very weak stats or maybe it doesn't there's an outfit that looks in between wacky and normal and it probably has better stats Prob probably there's the outfit that basically says I could not afford the rest of the set so <laughs> I will cobble together anything that I think I needed in this moment. Yeah, the clown suit. It's a staple There's of MMOs. A set that is you just wanted to show off your kendo stuff. I'm just going to wait to the end ether, to say what I want to. Maybe speed. The set that screams, I needed more speed, and the only thing that made sense was to take off the pants. And then there's the beach outfit. <laughs> Use that pool noodle! Use that pool noodle! Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Thank you, Catcher. <laughs> I'm just thinking the Pro ZD bit. This is my ass-kicking outfit, bitch. All right. 
to continue on the recap from Buttery and Crew, Xenoshade Chronic Pains 8 Part 2. Part 2 Xenoshade Chronic Pains has been approved by the Xenoshade Chronic Pain community for being VOD safe. Um, we understand that this is a scary thing to put at the front of the video, but trust me, mm. I looked around, I'm pretty sure this is VOD safe. There's been no tags uh, on, on the song. If this is missing from the YouTube VOD, you know it why. It plays around here. <laughs> Thank you. Ground is being given up. Something is wrong. You mean they're giving up Arizona? No. The Titan's now rising from its slumber. You have arrived. Look, sad boy. I know your friends died and all. But what's this got to do with us? I am simply starving the Bionis. You fools are only circulating ether back into it. Ether is power. Maybe if you chucked your dead into the ocean, I wouldn't be killing you all. What, just oil in a car? No, your food. Literal food. Hi, right, why don't we just beat him up? What could go wrong there? All right. Oh, that Admire weapon had a flip. Poke. Can you stop this bullshit and come home, brother? Not until the Bionis stop. sinks Did into the know? ocean. No. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Your blade. Stop. No. It no. did not cut no. deep enough. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. Oh. No. And here it is. My mech. Windows Vista. The most glorious of Windows OS. This is it, Senza! Welcome to DIE! No, you! Wait, welcome to die? What? No. Yeah. <laughs> Not even you can stop me, pop sensation native. Catch this orb! You piece of- Mechonis, it is just you and me now. I shall be your new spirit, your soul even! Ah! The earth is going to blow up! We've got to run! And uh, my where's the walk of pineapple? Finally. Matt <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Sounds like ominous crackling and thunder. You know what? I've accepted this. I can die happy now. Gado, where are you? Mike, we call you Gado. How did he just oh, vanish like that? Ball. He's in a big stupid mech. He can't just. Off my severe <laughs> and continuous lapse in my judgment. I like it's just it was just so out of character for him. Period. To, I get why, but he did it to, like period. This is a surprise. It doesn't matter who he did it to. Just anyone was a surprise. I don't know, he hit shock a couple of times. I don't even remember that, so. He slapped you in the back. Oh, what is, what is this from? This sounds weirdly familiar. Oh, it's from this guy? Oh, then it's probably safe. That would also be why it sounded familiar, because I've actually played a bit of this guy one. You know, your mech was very poorly shaped for acting like a shield, too. It's just, I don't know why you ever thought that would work. It was mostly noodle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we gotta fall back. Wait! But we're winning! It's waking up, idiots! <laughs> if you don't show up, I'm beating ya. <laughs> oh, shit. Get the fuck down. I'm so sick of saving you. <laughs> this is becoming a recurring trend, and I don't like it. I was content to die, die God. I could have gone peacefully, <laughs> free of death. This is it, Sean. <laughs> this is my sin devil trigger. I'm out of petrol. My <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking bag. I'm paralyzed. Someone had a good scream in there. That was a solid one. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, it's you! What was your name again? How did you forget my name? Brother! Alright, 
We good to go? As long as we get to repair the Denny's. I still gotta try the double berry banana pancake with a pitch black coffee when my kids scream at me for a McDouble. I, I don't know. I I'm not feeling my A game. Hey, I'll go get you some Flintstones gummies, mate. You'll be fine. I, I guess you're right. Stop joking around, Shulk! That isn't a joke. I recognize this! Alright! I'm totally missed that cutscene. It's the Monado! It's chasing him! You okay, Shulk? What does it look like? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm glad we said the same thing! Because <laughs> someone earlier was like, of course he's saying that to make sure he's okay because it was done. And I'm glad, because I had the exact same reaction. I'm glad Buttery did the same fucking thing. Oh, I, I will make fun of it, but I'm also just like, no, that's reasonable to no, assume. No, 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 here's the thing, you're right. It is. But, like, if I was being fucking tased and it just ended, my, my first reaction would be, I just screamed my lungs out. What the fuck do you think? <laughs> All right, and I saw there was a bonus one as well there. Where was that one? Yeah, here we go. Xenoshade 8 bonus. Hi. Um, fun fact about this episode of Xenoshade. Um, I think the Ricky doll is cursed. So here's footage that I took, like, right after I made the damn thing. But he is done, and I have used all of the material I was given very, very usefully. Mm. My room is a fucking ignore that Dorito bag. If you are... <laughs> that wasn't even a bit. I slid. I slid. <laughs> I, I slipped over the fucking plastic to the cover of the cutting board. And I fucking... <laughs> oh my god, buttery. <laughs> you know, I was debating on like actually uploading this to the fucking egg submission board. But now that I've done that, I have to. And then here's the footage that we got at a Denny's, we being a friend and I that went to MAGFest. Um, before we entered this Denny's, we almost got assaulted? Yeah, what? I think the Ricky <laughs> doll is cursed. So that means it's probably not going to be cursed for John, because that's just how things work, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, if it doesn't work out like that, I don't know, uh, sprinkle some holy water on it and thwart it with the latest My Chemical Romance CD. Uh, goodbye. Is there even a Denny's in Canada? Is there even a god? Just gonna slip that back in there the microphone picked that up. <laughs> that, pa that pause just tells me you were just holding the plushie and staring at it just like... No, I, I, had it pl I actually had it playing just then, so I don't think it came through. I heard something, but I couldn't tell that was that. I didn't hear anything. <clears throat> All right. Zangnen. Well, guess I'm just cursed again. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was on stream. Okay, so the Discord's uh, thing didn't pick it up, but the stream did. Good. All right. All right, well, thanks for giving me a cursed item again, Buttery. I guess I'll add it to the pile. Uh, we're gonna get a break when we come back. Art Block and more Xenoblade. See you guys in a bit. The Cursed Pile. What's up, chat? How you doing? Hello. I feel like this is our first hangout and chill break. A little. I mean, there's been some long gameplays. The pile? Alright, that's fair. It's not a pile, it's more like a warehouse. There's there's shelves involved. You know, you, you gotta increase, maximize the area of radiation of curse. If it was in a pile, then it just, like, it'd all be collecting in the center, like, uh, like the ele elephant's foot, and that's bad. I don't... what's the elephant's foot? You don't know what the elephant's foot is? Oh, it's one of the most off. dangerous artifacts, uh, one of the, the, the terrible things that ever came out of a nuclear plant. Okay. Go Google it. Actually, Kyle Hill did a really good video of it on uh, YouTube. Elephant's foot. The elephant's foot. The corpse of Chernobyl, that's what it is. It's like okay. a thing at the very bottom.
Uh, bam, there you go. Yeah, It's a I big, it. like, melted sort of pile of some of the most radioactive material on the planet. Hmm. Interesting. Any games you're excited for soon? I'm still going I mean... back and forth on Engage. Legitimately, every, like, couple of days I go between, I'll, I'll give it a shot, it looks interesting, and, like, this is everything I don't want out of Fire Emblem. You don't want sweatpants? I don't want sweatpants. <laughs> Have you uh, been lately? I... In another I, I Discord... Caught... Oh. Go ahead. Uh, in another Discord, we were talking about, like, uh, design, the designs thing, and, uh, as always, whenever it comes up, just like, oh, the armor's not practical, I always show off, uh, Fire Emblem 1 Marth with that, <laughs> with that, like, very short dress, and then I also show off my other favorite, uh, image when talking about practicality of armor, it is the real-life bronze chestplate that has nipples on it, and a six-pack. Yup. Um, I, I, I don't even care about the, the, the armor designs. Um, it's more so just, like, the, the descriptions that I hear. Like, like, the visuals look clean and cartoony. I got no problems with that, aside from the, just, the, the bifurcated color hair and two different colored yeah. eyes. I don't, I don't, I don't, it's so, it's so extra, man. My, it's, it's more that, from the sources that I've heard, it's like the characters are bland in one note again. Whereas Three Houses gave them a little bit more depth. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go into it all because it's just gonna reopen the argument that we had before, but like, I, it, it, I love Fire Emblem dearly. It's one of my favorite franchises and I'm just like, I don't know if I'm gonna buy it yet. It really does not look like it's appealing to me. <laughs> I, I did have one after I showed off those things I'm also just like I don't if you don't like the designs that's one thing never try and get into an argument about armor practicality because armor practicality was never a thing that mattered people who bought armor didn't go into battle because <laughs> they could afford not to which you prefer break topple days burst break topple launch smash uh, whichever one I need I, I don't play at the meta level where I'm, like, planning or having a preference for one or the other. I used Burst more because I was item farming, but I've never gotten to the point where I'm, like, making builds that rely on Smash. I didn't need it. Was there a video about armor? Probably. Uh, what I'm thinking, what I was thinking about was a, uh, panel I went to at MAGFest like two years ago, or two MAGFests ago, because <laughs> two years ago it didn't happen. Engage mainline game thing, a sort of spin-off? Nobody knows yet! Uh, Nobody knows. Like, everything looks like main game. I'm really wondering why it's something that is specifically celebrating the history of it looks like it's being made for beginners again. Big shrugs. <laughs> I just love the joke where it's just like, oh, it's engaged, so you get rings. Yeah, I've never heard that before. <laughs> you didn't no. you didn't get that joke? Nope. <laughs> Thoughts on the D and D OGL chatbot DM? What? I don't know what that is, and I don't really want to. Never heard of it. Yeah. Sorry, Soda. I don't I don't keep any eye on social media or like trends or scandals or debacles or all that kind of stuff because really it like 99 and a half percent of it is meaningless drivel it does not matter to your to yours or my life and i pay it no heed either of you see shan ultraman i have not i live in japan but i'm really bad at being a weeb I'd never seen an Ultraman. For a while, I didn't even know what it was. I, uh... Before you said a little bit more about it, I was about to say I've never heard of him. Just like, no, never mind. I do know Ultraman. I've never seen him. <laughs> What's your experience with T-Ring Saga? Never played it. <clears throat> never heard of it. It's what the original Fire Emblem creator broke off to make, I think. Oh, huh, cool. Do you know Super Genius personally? No. Um, 
I've talked to Super Genius once on John's stream a couple years ago. Uh, I sent him a couple Discord messages, but never got back. I guess I'm just, uh... You know what? I have no way to, to, to finish that sentence. It doesn't sound like an insult, so... Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> what did I miss? Nah, I just... I, I, I don't know how to tease yet, so... <laughs> stuff I say comes off as too mean, without meaning to. Fair enough. All right, let's quickly read alerts. Uh, go to art block and then get back to the game. Antihero Sora with the uh, Outback Stab House alert says, I didn't know Dixon, Larathia, and Alvis were in charge of this place. Uh, I mean, someone's got to manage it when we're not available, when we're doing the podcast. Queen Bee Nev says, If I am somehow awake when you are reading this, yell at me to go to sleep. Thank you. They are still in chat. <laughs> Go to bed. Go to bed, Nev. Chaos Jester AC says, All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Silverblade says, Hey, John, hope the Xeno blading is going well. Been sick with a cold this past week, so I've been binging Xeno 3 myself, and I'm going to have it be my first game clear of 23 tonight. I do hope that be even after this game, you do give the second and third games a try, as playing through the full trilogy is a very satisfying experience. I mean, we already have a save on two. It's and I, I don't see any point of doing three until I finish two, even though I know I don't have to. Do you want to you don't have thing? to, but you three, don't have three has... Go ahead. You don't have your save file of X anymore. Mmm, that's true. Wait, so, what? Space Dude's gone. Space Dude. Space Dude, what about no. Space Dude? What about uh, Space Dude? We played Xeno <laughs> X for a, uh, a Chaos ah. Fortune cookie years ago. Right, right, right. We, in fact, um, were stuck on a different planet. So, yeah, yeah, you, you don't... You, manage. you don't have to play 2 to play 3, but 3 is very much like... Like, so many parts of 3 mean so much more if you know what you're looking at from 1 and 2. Yeah. I'll play it at some point. I just, once I'm done Xeno 1, I'm probably going to take a break from RPGs. Mm -hmm. Never touch an RPG again. No, like not that big years. of a break. Not not that <laughs> big of a break. Like, I usually play through one R JRPG a year. One, like, 100 plus hour game. Mm -hmm. So... We'll see. Although, by the time this is done, I'll have to worry about Coliseum and then, I guess, Tears of the Kingdom? Because that's, what, March? And while no, that's, that's not May. an RP... Oh, it's May. Okay, it's the other M month. No, then maybe I'll be fine. Because, like, while that's not a JRPG, it is a 100-hour game, more than likely. For some reason, I thought it was March 12th, not May. What's coming up from Nintendo in March, then? Because Fire oh, Emblem is, next, is this week. Uh, Kirby's in February, so nothing in March? I don't God, believe this so. week? Fuck, that's fast. Yeah. I'm not even going to have a stream slot for it for another couple weeks. Any information about Super Genius coming back to YouTube? I don't think he's ever coming back. Last he popped on mm -hmm. here, he, like, he's he's leading his own life in Japan. Oh, yeah, the Bayonetta spinoff. Did we ever save Pyro? We did save Pyro. Yes, that was a yeah, thing. Pyro's it day, finally yeah. happened. Pyro has been saved for a while. Uh, Blue Knight 85 says, So the first time I heard the 8-bit NWO theme Draco sent you was when I watched a virtual wrestling league called No DQ CAW. At one point, they made a group called the Nintendo World Order with Link, calling him Las Vegas Link and the Mario Brothers. Here's the funny thing. A, I'm the one who dug it up myself, not uh, Draco. And B, uh, that is the version I used, actually. <laughs> Nintendo World Order. No DQ. Right there. There's a link in the background and everything. All right. Caught up in chat. Uh, HNW Life says, oh, oh my god, you have been tracking this. Only $2,899,996.94 to go, Kappa. We'll get, you'll get there eventually. And Becky Starr says, So a community that is relatively small, I was moderator for the community, and the mod team was already fairly strong. But after a while, I felt like I was drifting from the group, and I wasn't as close and interested to stay anymore. So the other night, I made the very hard decision to ask the boss to remove my mod status, and he did. Hope I was able to make a difference in that community. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's big of you to actually like say, like, I'm not here, I should probably remove it. I think they appreciated that. So, And hopefully, I think you did make a difference there. Thank you, Becky. Let's go to our block. 
John, can you remove Ryan's status for me? I mean, the person themselves had to ask me, not someone else. Who asked that? Maniacal, you, you yeah, know okay, what? No. You can't be surprised. You can't be surprised. <laughs> uh, all right. I still laugh how it was like a month after the Coliseum that I'm just like, dude, I still have the sword. What if they, what if I talk too much in chat and somebody's just like, oh yeah, I need something from you. I'm like, I can't do anything. <laughs> like that was you and Samantha. We're just like, yeah, we just still have the swords. It's all right. Just, we'll just join the team, I guess. I mean, I was already a, a semi-regular viewer at that point. Hmm. I forget how much Samantha said she watched, if any. Uh, before. Four Coliseum? Not much. Yeah, that's what I figured. From BLT General, give in to the chaos. John, embrace the high risk only uh, only cookie. Dark John, I've been awake too long. This made me laugh. Enjoy. I mean, the hoodie does double as a nice cloak, I guess. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I goofed on something, too. I said the week of the 23rd to the 28th is going to be, like, all... Basically all... Uh, cookie jar streams. I forgot there might be a sponsored segment on one of them. Might. I'm waiting for official confirmation, but uh, I'll get I'll get back to you on that. But schedule for the week, for those that were wondering, Wednesday is Power Trip. Thursday is a sponsored stream for Persona 3 and 4, because they're getting re-released. And Saturday is Fortune Cookie. So there's a bonus stream on Thursday night. I am weirdly excited for that. Persona 3, so depending on my mood, can skip above Xenoblades and how much I love it. Yeah. Oh. They, they, they say 3 and 4 are coming out on, like, current gen consoles, but they want me to focus on three because four has been out on Steam for a while. I believe that was the <laughs> notes I was given. <laughs> NZO. From Grease Lightning. First thing, uh, first, <laughs> first things first, mean done, man. I guess you could say Hollywood Dixon Mania's running wild. <laughs> you know, last week when I shot Shulk in the back, my whole life turned around. When I was up in the cranium of the Mechonis for 90 days loading my gun sword, I didn't know how how I was going to handle the rival Lord Zanza but when I stepped out of that elevator and pointed my rifle at the twink's back and pulled the trigger and the way I was received and the way I was applauded I knew it was time to commit genocide, brother. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so is Ryan the ultimate warrior or is he the undertaker? Oh my god. I appreciate the commitment to this priest. Hell yeah. I, th You know what? Ryan has the same energy as the ultimate warrior, sadly, even though I don't think it quite works for the bit. Well, technically it does. It's all stupid either way. Thank you, Grease. Next up. From Germany. Little snuggly doodle. Aw, oh, we all sleepy. We sleepy with the blankie. Yeah. Thank you for the sleepy blankie pick, Germany. Ryan can be Batista. I don't think Batista was around at that point though. Do you know where the next crowd control stream is gonna be? God, I don't know. I haven't thought of crowd control in a while. Don't do this. Super scary. Shulk's corpse. From Grudgingly Waluigi. The phrase, talk to Shulk's corpse at midnight, sounds like one of those terrible YouTube don't call X after three in the morning videos. Enjoy this thumbnail for a non-existent video. Perfect. Super scary. Next up. From Picks of Ice. What was it saying in the font here? Create a world with no need for gods. Oh. Hey, I've been a while since I've been able to catch a stream. I, recently, I really gotta go to bed, but I thought it would swing by. Rosalina's already a god, right? So, Rosa God, just big space girl who makes planets. Shame we had to potentially abandon her uh, or whatever they were planning to do before Zanza got to them. Have a good night. Well, she'll make a different planet with Blackjack and hookers. I, there was That was the only way to go with that one. You know what, screw the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pix. All these infinite godlike powers, and no one wants me to use them! You're wearing this next. I don't think it'll look as good on me. Looking good, John. Uh, I had to take my hat off for this. From Bexy. This was a commission from Mika I forgot to post here earlier. Happy Year of the Rabbit. I fear for when I am given a bunny suit. That is not an mm -hmm. invitation, but I fear for it because I know how my life goes. Well, now that you've set it. Nice thighs, John. Thank you. I clearly worked on them. <laughs> Anyways, that's how I lost my medical license. <laughs> this comment from Ryan in the recap about losing his medical license just made me think of this. Had to make it. Ryan had a medical license? No, it's from the, the recap video. 
Okay, but why doesn't John get the tights as well? Well, apparently... I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Why don't I have the tights? Instead, I have T-Pose from Maniacal. Rosie did good art. I uploaded it here with their permission. Jesus, Xeno Saga Vanguard, baby. Ah, uh, my favorite Xeno character, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who was in Xeno Saga 3, I do believe. Uh-huh. Jesus is really there. Yep. I have forgotten and needed it proved to me several yeah. times. <laughs> <laughs> did you know Xeno games are about religion? Wow! <laughs> Wait a second, you're telling me that Yaldabaoth is religious? I know, right? Wild! You mean the Monado is actually the Monad? <laughs> oh. Oh my god, look at this from Gohan Skywalker. I literally stopped what I was doing to make this all while resisting the urge to just call him brother. Incredible. I can't believe you made Dixon in fucking Soul Calibur 6. Nicely done, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> the wrestler belt really brings it all together. It kind of yep. does, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the necklace, I'm, the belt. I'm guessing this is from Buttery. <clears throat> no, it's from Busy Kick. I bet you're glad one of these wasn't in that box, right, John? <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought so yeah that is that is the same brand it's a different <laughs> one but it's the same brand I mean I figured like if if buttery was actually giving me a heart rate monitor I'm just like is this just a is this like an intervention attempt I can't tell Luxon, Sorry, I forgot just, about that. Yes, fucking Luxon's it. The Xenosaga wiki page for Jesus literally says, This character may have been based on <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hyperlink. <laughs> <laughs> may have. <laughs> may have is so good. <laughs> hey, John, what's the update on Xenoblade? It, what? The game we're playing currently? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just an art block right now. Mm. If you came in late, we're just on art block. We're still playing Xenoblade. Mm hmm. Got one more session. Yep. Everyone, thoughtful and deep messages. Fiora, Shulk! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I can't believe that was so stupid. I lost it there. I would like to believe that this is Metal Gearism, but I can't defend it. It's stupid. I just came by. Sorry. Yeah, no, we're, we're just on our block. We're going back to Xenoblade in like three minutes, so don't worry. We'll be back at it. Just like Dixon may have been based on Hulk Hogan. Touche. <laughs> Sharosa. From Queen Bee Nev, I'm back once more. One of my favorite streams of 22 was your Xenoblade streams, actually. Been to every single one since the beginning and loved seeing the story go on with comments from you and the Cocoms. Leading up to this art, meet Rosa as Sharla. Sharosa for the combo name. Uh, definitely didn't draw this because of how down bad I am for both. No. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks, Nev. Now go to sleep. I like the star glasses. It's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Next up. And it's gone. Why did it go? Is that the one that was supposed to be there earlier? That was, was that? No, that was Gatto. Why did that one disappear then? I don't know. Maybe they had to fix something in it. Unsuspicious walking bush. The bush was Ben's idea. It was great. He also made the bush. Thanks, Ben. Oh, uh, yeah, there is the message there. All right, I also had to remove an image from the brewery because I forgot if they wanted to be tagged under their alt or their main, and I have no clue if it's going to show up when you click it. It's in the sub-only Discord art channel. It's based around Senna drawings by one of the voiceover talents of Xenoshade. Gotcha. Well, that answers that then, at least. Okay. The bush explains it. What a, what a way to word that, buttery. The bush explains it. Mm -hmm. the, the bush explains all. Look to the bush. Oh, my God. All right. Thanks, folks. Let's get back to the game. Thanks! Should I bring back the cursed detail that I remind that I told everybody about last time? What? Last time I was what? on. What? 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 Mm -hmm. About how there is a small little comic of Dunban, uh, talking about the giant, just like he had a very impressive bush. I wish I could have shown him mine. Oh right. Was this was this real? <laughs> yes. I believe it. Okay. Yeah. The monolith devs have. Very horny. Very mm -hmm. horny people. I mean, maybe not very horny, but definitely not scared to occasionally slip that horny into official materials. <laughs> Let's go have a heart to heart. Hooray! Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Turn on the 
Heimer. Maybe not very that? horny. Yeah, but not every single person at Monolith Soft got their hands on Cosmos and like injected their own horny in there. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, no, she just individuals. Has for cannon. Oh, oh you've been a very progressive nice. Japanese company, by the way. Yeah, like I, I legitimately, that's like my dream company, and not just because they make the games that I want to that I like most. Like, everything I've heard about them is like, yo, they're actually really, really good to be mm -hmm. at, too. Yeah, I've not looked as much into it, because I'm not trying to get a job in Japan. But, yeah, I've heard that from a lot of people as well, just from people I know in game development or who work with people in game development. It's like the, 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 the flip side of Square, whereas every single person I've talked to just somehow universally knows Oops. from the air the Square sucks to work for. It's like Monolith is like, yeah, this is a pretty good spot. <laughs> no real complaints. Fiora's body, heart to heart. Hey, Fiora, I want to ask you something. What is it, Charlotte? Ask away. Your new body, it's not malfunctioning, is it? What? It's just, you don't look like you're doing so well. There are sparks flying out your ass. Yeah, sorry, is it that obvious? <laughs> I knew it, so you are experiencing some malfunctions. Ugh. I didn't mention before, but Lenata is teaching me Machina Anatomy. Why do you need to know that? Because when this is all over, I'm gonna quit the Defense Force and become a doctor. Still keeping the gun, though. People have returned to Colony 6, they'll need a doctor. Wow, that's amazing! I know that without main, it's Monado, your energy's depleted. You only have a small reserve left now. Apparently so. How can you be so laid back about this? You should be back in Lenata's infirmary, not here doing this. You're right, I should go. Bye. No, I'm fine here. Oh, of course. <laughs> Listen to me, Fiora. If you don't get treatment now, you might not make it. I'm sorry, Charlotte, I don't want to make you worry like this, but I can't go back, I can't. You're throwing your life away. But I can't leave Shulk, not now. If this body stops working, he's not by my side. Fiora! That's my decision, Charlotte, stupid or otherwise. Shulk is my life. It's not as if I don't understand how you're feeling, but you can't give up hope that someday we can fix you. Promise me that you won't give up. I will save you, Fiora. Don't worry, Charlotte, I don't intend to give up. Yeah, so... Did they level down uh, affinity? Yeah, because they're at max affinity and they can't go above that, so like any loss causes it to go down. But you leveled back up. Yeah, so it's back up. So by, as long as we don't like completely botch a heart to heart, like we're fine. We break even yeah. at the very least. I even if you look, even if you completely botch it, you will get break even. Some, really? Uh, you, you do still get some back even if you botch? Mm-hmm. Okay. I like what I Cole says. During there. New Game Plus, when I was just like, oh, let me try, let me try getting the worst possible option, and then I still round up back in pink. I'm like, oh, okay. I did actually like that conversation. I tend to like the n when conversations go negative, or they have like a not purely positive feel to them, because they tend to show how characters react to not purely smiles. Yeah, it fits the characters more in a lot of situations. Or it shows parts you don't often see. You also like having arguments? I enjoy differences <laughs> of opinion. <laughs> I enjoy the discussions that come that out. That was of really them. funny, though, dude. I gotta admit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. All right, so I guess we'll just go through here. Yeah. At some point, we're gonna have to figure out like when we should go see what uh, side quests we need to make sure we do on stream. Yeah, I can ask. I can ask that in the uh, in the room and get a list. I know a couple of them that people would probably want. Get all the titles that I want for that. Yeah, figure out some of the ones you guys want me to do on stream, and then we'll we'll uh, at least figure that well, out. I I was honestly only ever gonna tell you the voice acted one, just like and just like all right, if you do the others, do it. 
put if Chad's more insistent, so I'll accept that. How do I learn kanji easier? Don't. Mm -hmm. it's like, that's really what I've got. Don't try to learn kanji. If you want to learn kanji, then learn how to read and just, when you start seeing a word over and over again, make a flashcard out of it and you'll start getting a feel for what kanji means what over time. That's how I've been choosing to learn. So maybe a better question is, when should I decide to double back out of here? Uh, like, when you're done the area, I'd say. Because, like, you need access to the next one to do to get materials for some side quests. Mm. Am I going to be paying for my insolence tonight? If you, want to, if you want to get access, yes. Yes. Okay. How big is this area, though? Surprisingly short, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I, rem I remember like... Emil getting to uh, that fight pretty fast, but, like, I don't have an actual, like, marker for that, if that makes sense. There's a few things you can go off the path to find, but it's kind of like one and a half circles in a spiral. This area is small for Xenoblade. I mean, okay, then that's that's decent then. It is, one fun detail, though, is that you could actually look through the, some of the holes when you first came in here, and you could actually see the Bionis heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did show it in the cutscene, too. No, I mean the first time you came in. Oh! When you popped in from Satoru. If you know, like, if you kind of move the camera around and look in the right spots you can see, see through some clear windows and it just looks like the interior of a big living thing I should probably adjust some of the levels a little bit to actually make sure they're getting better experience. Especially if we're going to try to do some of the harder missions later on. Alright, so when I get to Point of No Return in the game, I should make a separate save, right? No, that's not important. Yeah, I'm not sure why you need that. To do the things I have, I didn't do. You can just go back and go do them. Like, then that's no not a point is, of no is, return. No, yeah. the, the point of no return is Dunban says, "Don't step in here until you're ready, and then you can leave." The point of no return is just the final boss. Oh, okay. Never mind. And then, then you and you can't like save anything past. I, that. I was expecting like a dungeon and the final boss. Mm, yeah, they let you go back through the final dungeon. You cannot save at all after the point of no return. Oh, okay, then that's actually a bit more forgiving than I expected. Would this be a weird time to ask what people think of Disney's latest movie? I don't know what movie that is, since, like, half of all movies now count as that. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's like that Forgotten this World or movie. something, Strange World, I think is the one. Or is that, that might be actually from, like, a month ago. The Simpsons movie. I'm the mascot of the new corporation. That's the reason that's Strange my World? favorite Disney movie. Yeah, people are saying I've Strange never, World. I've never heard of Strange World either, so I... It's one that apparently, like, they didn't advertise very much, as I saw the internet talking about. So I don't know if it's actually good or bad. Let's look up a screenshot and judge. <laughs> okay, is Strange World appropriate? That's a weird first question. That is a for weird to show me. first question. <laughs> I do not like fighting fighting in this arena. I will say that much right now. 
Made by the guy. So that that looks like a full-on like heavy CG full animation movie, and they just didn't tell anybody about it. Apparently. That's not necessarily an indication of poor quality. But it also means I have no reason to be interested, so mm, big shrug. Zeke shrug. Oh, is that the, is that the uh, movie that Disney like never advertised? Yeah. Okay. That's the one. Nice. It evidently Just... bombed at the box office. Jeez, I wonder why with no <laughs> advertisement. Is that a heavy? Oh, okay, so can you use it, Ryan? Is that going to be good for you? Yes, it is. Hell yeah. Ooh, nice. Pop that on. It, uh, they didn't advertise it much because I think the main character is gay and that's actually important to the plot, which might explain that weird first question. Ah. Uh... I hate that I understand immediately what that means. <laughs> Same here. Donut. Landmark and donut. Let me quickly turn back on expert mode. Mm -hmm. Let's bump you guys down. That was not an intentional number to land on, but now I'm sticking to it. Nice. Oh, that is my current party. I should, I should probably leave them at that level. And we'll bump you down at least one level, so you're all at the same level, getting decent experience. Right. All right, back to stabbing. Okay. Here's a thing I want you to do because this messed me up for a while. Say this enemy name how you think it's supposed to be pronounced. Wool Cellular. How many L's are in that? One. Or sorry, two if you can't wool. Yeah. So, where did Cellula come from? Did you know he was going to do that? Because it's pretty common. I did it is constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Because you want to say cell because it's a cell. And then, yeah. Then you think cellulite. This is why I said it. Mm -hmm. It annoys me. I'm just like. It took me like so many years to actually look at that in the be like, Oh, fuck. Oh, there's no Cellula. other L. Cellula. Victorious gross. <laughs> It's so good at grossing. It is the champion of gross. <laughs> so what's the yearly gross looking like? Victorious. Nice. <laughs> this guy has made more billions of dollars at the box office. Then Strange World, or Strange Journey, whatever it's called. <laughs> no, Strange Journey is the Shimagami Tensei game, so... Yeah, no, it was something... I, I don't even remember if I figured it out when I was streaming, and I think I figured it out when, when uh, Definitive Edition first came out. Oops, I, just, I think I just missed a thing. Oops. She's in trouble. She's super in trouble. You were a little slow on that one, Ricky. <laughs> Friends fight and bite each other. If you're gonna make a movie or a game but are not gonna advertise it because you're afraid of the backlash you might get, why make it in the first place? Keeps people working. That there's there's a lot of reasons why a lot of things get made that don't even make it out. 
it's not always in pursuit of making like the biggest attention seeking thing at the end. How do you like that? Ricky was cool. It should be, but even if a lot of stuff like fails because of tax breaks and the like, like how do you say sometimes sometimes spending more on a movie than you make is better for your end profits because you get to write all that off as taxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a way better gun, hell yeah. Because capitalism. It's all Panic. capitalism's fault. Fiora. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure she knows. Drag her, drag her. <laughs> you get one heat sink. Not two, unfortunately, but still pretty good. Yeah, I mean, still like coming with one by default's nice. Cole, I agree with that to a point, but also it's just like, yes, they did get paid. But also, they still need to get paid for the game that they're currently working on. That's not a good reason to buy past games. That's supporting the company that made bad decisions, and the devs can find other work. As a dev, I can say this. So what? Wait, what's the question? Is it just buying a game that's been out that's for already a while? Done. Yeah, Cole says, when you buy a game, you're technically just supporting the company because the people who made it have already gotten paid. And like, that, yes. That is actually correct because, oh, okay, in the case of physical games, it's absolutely correct because um, basically the chain of command is the store you buy it from paid the company that had the warehouse, that paid the company that published the game, that paid the developers. Like some, It's like a weird chain like that. Mm -hmm. So from that aspect, yes, it's correct, but it's more complicated than that nowadays. Yes, it is more complicated, but basically I think uh, it, it's like say buying a game and using the argument you're supporting the devs is generally too simple and too short-sighted, in my opinion, um, because you're just paying the company who made the bad decisions that you don't want to support when you could use that money to buy indie games or pay to companies that are making better decisions, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Like, if that's if that's your opinion, then you can still take that money and go pay it to companies that are better. <clears throat> if, if, if you just want to play the game, then that's fine. Just say you're going to play the game. Or say, say that you want to pay for that game. Give me the ether crystals. Hello, Coolified. First Xenoblade stream I'm catching. Nice! Well, you picked an interesting one to come... Oh, I thought that was an enemy for a second. That was Ricky. Uh, you picked an interesting one to come to, considering how far along in the game we are. It's coming right for us! Get him! That pineapple's coming right for us! <laughs> Attack of the killer pineapples. That was too easy. Let's press on and on and on. Not bad, not bad. Just buy the game used doesn't support the company, you just can still play the game. Yeah, if you don't want to support a company, buying the game used is ironically the best way to do it and still get to play the game. Mm -hmm. But depending on the situation, it might also be worth just not playing the game. It depends on yeah. what... I, I assume everyone is discussing this because of a certain elephant in the room, but I would like to not have that be the main topic tonight, if that is okay. Mm -hmm. As we were talking... I, not, yeah. We were talking about the movie at first. It was movies and games. Yeah, but I think some people might be sliding over to that. Yeah. And I'm just saying, like, yeah, like, I ain't supporting that that stupid-ass game because of all the... It's just... Yeah. I'm on I'm on the team it, it boycott. Might, if my sister is looking forward to it, but my sister is not in this economy, and I'm not about to bring up all of this as to why she can't play a game she's looking forward to. It's just... Enjoy a game, sister. Have fun. <laughs> Shit's complicated when it really fucking shouldn't be. You can't just yeah. enjoy things anymore. That would be nice. 
That being said, buy Xenoblade 3 so Nintendo knows to let Monolith make another. I feel like there's no worry about that already. Every Zeno is bigger than the last one, and this one made it to the Game Awards and didn't win nothing, but it did get Flute Guy. Yeah. Flute yeah never, never forget Flute Guy. <laughs> Luke Guy became oh. a fucking meme highlight of that whole thing because of Xenoblade. Uh, Boom, I can't we win. <laughs> oh goodness, what was his first name? I can't remember it because I'm pretty sure his last name was Epoch. It, it, it was either Pablo oh, or Paolo, I think. He, he dude had like an awesome sounding name from what I remember. He's also he, got an awesome career and like skill set. <laughs> Guy is epic. Dude just seemed generally awesome. Yeah, Pedro Eustache is what Lundea says in chat. Pedro, okay. that sounds right. That is a kick-ass name, but like I said, the dude just seemed generally awesome and like the because he did mm -hmm. some like little videos for people online to say hi because he was so excited how many people were like like positive meme on him. So, <laughs> wait, didn't Xenoblade win one thing? Not game of the year? Um, no, didn't. It won it nothing. <clears throat> yeah, Kirby won something. I, won, I am yeah, best family game or I, something like that. I am particularly upset about the OST, not because God of War doesn't have good music, but because. That was a strong of list of games. Mm. Yes, yes, and I don't know nothing about the other ones to really like be it. Officer not Robusto! <laughs> but I do know Xenoblade very well, and music is like part of the soul and experience of Xenoblade. And the OST for Xenoblade is like a hundred hours, whereas every. Like, no, 12, 12, 12 hours, whereas all the other ones. Oh, say a hundred hour soundtrack, that's impressive and horrifying. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's still like. Several men magnitudes larger than every other game on the list, and that just because uh, size, size doesn't equal good in this respect, but it it is an indicator of how much priority they put there. To be fair, the God of War 2018, 19, whatever game, what year it was soundtrack apparently was pretty good too. Like. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's not like it didn't earn it. I was close to getting uh, Wait, a wrong list. No, I said strong list of games. Like, um, I don't remember what all was in there. Metal Hellsinger was in there. Xenoblade was in there. God of War was in there. I think, was Elden Ring in that list? Because that's when I'd be like, mm, no, why are you I there? I think it was. Oh, and that botched. We got, I guess the Robusta was actually pretty robust. No, we're talking for best soundtrack from Game Awards, not Game of the Year. We're talking just best soundtrack. Xenoblade 3 made custom flutes. Yeah, every flute mm. in that OST was like handmade flutes of the two main characters. And the music is plot relevant. Yes. Yes. You all understand me. Well, mm. some of you who are speaking understand me. Mm. I like you. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit sad that Noah and Mio didn't get uh, into best performance. I mean, I think all the ones that were in there were mocap, which would be primarily why. That's fair. Ryan was at nine 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 HP on sixty nine. Nice. Uh, let's change this party up a little bit then. Let's... Let's bring in Ryan. I am gonna have to up his level though. Cause I don't think he's gonna be doing much damage at level 69 here, sadly. Leaped up performances never get considered? That's sad. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure it is mainly mocap performances that get picked. Which I guess makes sense, because it is technically more of a performance than just voice work, but that also diminishes voice work if you use that same logic. Yes. I wonder what John thinks about the Naked Dunban strategy. Yeah, it's not for me, but, I mean, it's still funny that's an option. Wait, who even... Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. That'd be why I didn't see it. Yeah, oh, and there's two of them. Fantastic. 
Make a Dunban strategy is basically uh, Dunban has a couple of skills that raise his aggro draw uh, and his agility if you have no armor and no gems equipped. And on the Wii, you did not have glamour armor, so straight up naked. Mm -hmm. So, health caps at 9999, yet he's at level 76. You have gems. Mm -hmm. What? You have gems on him. Yeah, but I'm saying like... Oh, well, there goes that ability. Yeah, you're not going to get any more I can't break 9999, that's it. That, no. that actually is kind of a bummer. That might have been just a V limitation that they didn't want to fix at risk of breaking something. I mean, that's fair. Still a bit of a bummer, but yeah, at least it makes sense. Only X and 3 let you hit 5 digits. Mm -hmm. Wait, X did, but 2 didn't? Yeah, X was a very different beast than 2, yeah. I think... Oh, you're still alive. No. Yo, by the way, guys, yeah, like, no... Yeah, no, I was just toppled. That was all. I was owing because I saw someone got timed out in chat, and I was like, yo, guys, don't forget, that thing that says no help is still there for a reason. Only help if I'm asking for it. And considering I'm fighting these guys on purpose with my health, with my levels down, I'm not looking for help! Very glad that. Oh, bye, Ryan. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm very glad that Ryan hit an invisible wall and then he just walked off. He hit the wall and then decided. Guess I should come back. I don't. I don't listen to you, wall. And then punched through it and then fell. Fighting higher level enemies is fun. I mean, I just want more experience. That's all. I want number go up. Do go good. Up. Mm -hmm. Brain make happy juice. Yeah! I still haven't put Ryan in slot three like I should have. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess I wasted that move. Monado om nom nom. Chomp chomp. Okay, before I forget. Everyone, let's go! Leave it to Roy! Take it! Try hard! Roy is keep on rolling! Say now it's Roy time! God, the RNG and chain attacks in Xeno 1 is something I'm glad I never returned. Yeah, so for what everyone's been like, yeah, no, you'll like 2 and 3 way better because the chain attacks make more sense. Like, I see all these videos around of like overkill and shit on enemies in 3 and I'm just like that looks fun as hell why is one so like chunky because of it well when you kill an enemy in one you go to the next one and it's also that but like ah oh, damn it that missed really yeah well played we did it you done a full female party once of of course yes mm -hmm. man what a bunch of jokers oh yeah no we've i think we've done most every party uh, layout. Probably. I'm sure there's some steps we didn't do. But, like, for the most part, we hit all the notes. We had Girl Squad mm -hmm. running around, and they were good, but, like, they didn't have a tank, which was mm -hmm. not the wisest. <laughs> it was entertaining, but yeah. Yeah, not it was the not wisest. the wisest move, but it was the move we made. Oh, there's still a chest down there from that guy. From Robusto. Alright, let's fight the big boy. Everyone, let's go. I am sad we're back to this combat music. I got... I miss the, uh... The Mechanist music. I 
miss my heavy metal combat music. I get why, because I'm back in the Bionis. This is the Bionis combat theme, but it still, it still is a bummer. After getting used to that much better song in my mind. Or much more enjoyable, because it's more the kind of song I prefer. Not saying this is a bad combat theme, just saying I was definitely more into that one. How was that not on the side? What? And I'm not alone in thinking that uh, mechanical rhythm is more enjoyable of the two. Mm -hmm. I blame the music on Zanza. I do too. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that. Mm, I can't. Yeah. I can't hold that against him because Zanza's theme is one of the bangeriest of this whole OST. Yeah, All right, fair. Well, we got. We, he's saving it for himself at this point, though. That's not that. <laughs> I got yeah. sarsaparilla. Uh, Gonna drink? A very hot vegetable. The best cook on Bionis can't make this taste good. I got a happy duck. Someone was mentioning about how like a uh, definitive isn't definitive because it doesn't have the jukebox. I agree. I don't know why it wasn't put in. All right, is this a better party to fight our boy here, Robusto? It also doesn't have the model viewer. Which I don't get why there's no model viewer. That seems weird when they put it in the 3DS one. Yeah. I get that they couldn't just directly transfer the 3DS ones over since they were like lower quality ones. All right, Robusto, time for you to pay. More time for Ryan to take a nap, apparently. Get up, boys. Ooh, we are not in the best situation because he's got fucking spikes. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Spike damage is a pain always, everywhere, and forever. This enemy's so bright I can barely see the fucking circle for the link. <laughs> Oops. Uh, and I can never remember where Purge. That's what I was looking for. Uh-oh. As I went to go heal him, too. A vision. Genome break. Ryan had to go to bed. Ryan, I'm going to warn you. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, this will do it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, oh, 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 I'm in trouble. This is bad. Hmm? Big combo six. Armor, 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 armor. Where is armor now? Ryan, you want to do something to help keep you alive? Or I'll die. Behold the power of the banana. What do you think of the vision reacts music? You mean the brr, brr, brr. I wouldn't dislike this song as much if it didn't stop. <laughs> if it stopped. When it gets um, going, it's fine. Like when the guitar gets in, like near the end. But like it just takes a bit to get there. So all you, you all you usually hear is the. Maybe a weird question. What is the most convoluted or out of the box strategy you've ever done to beat a boss in a game that you played that somehow worked? Do you mean something that you like planned or like how did I improv that? I actually can't think of anything. You know what? Yeah, that's a big jump for both. 
Uh, what did you have on that? Or was that a... It was a U. Okay. Ricky, what would you like? Well, let's give you that first. Uh, and let's give you... Like... Like, I definitely didn't plan it, but I know I got through the final boss of Conquest, like Fire Emblem Conquest, by, um... Sacrificing everybody. <laughs> I, on I only got to the end with, like, the protagonist, Xander, and Effie left alive. The mm -hmm. only characters that mattered. <laughs> Did you have revives on or off? Off. Classic mode. Wow. All right. But it was also the very final battle, which and conquest on hard mode. I, I'm never even going back. The, the final five maps of conquest may, made me never, ever want to play conquest again because they don't really make it hard in a good way. They just start giving enemies impossibly stacked and infinite use skills. So that was the ending, and I'm like, all right, fine, just throw everything, just go, just fine, just barrel through it. Yeah, it was the last three maps of Conquest that I had to switch over. I'm just like, okay. And I think uh, my my alternate answer to that, the one that was planned, was also in Conquest, and that was just um the steps, like the the stage that is just a long staircase and they throw mm. infinite reinforcements at you and i put out effie and i gave her benny as a support and they had enough defense that i was invincible <laughs> and everybody else rushed to the end <laughs> and it just sat there for hours <laughs> slowly trudging through it i'm like armor knights are the best <laughs> Let's not lose our heads, though. Bloodworm. Do I have enough to do any of these now? Yes, I do. I can do special to level four. Nice. Uh, but everything else is is not sitting pretty. And level up. Oops, hang on. Ricky, are you back at 77? I think you were. Yeah, go back down one more, dude. Mm -hmm. Ricky levels up too quickly. I mean, I got no pro- Well, the fact that he keeps stealing XP is great. Are we gonna get to that, that boss kills. tonight? I'm trying to. This should be the way out to where we were originally the first time we were in this zone. Based on the map anyways, that's what it looks like. Yep. Man, Sansa, how come mom lets you have three lungs? Yep, that's where we had to go ride the pee geyser. Missing one vegetable, and then we have all the collection done here. Did we do collecting? What what areas ha aren't done collecting? Done, 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 not done, 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 not ooh, not done. Oh, well, but I have it apparently. Mm -hmm. Probably got that from Colony Six if I had to guess. Maybe. Done, 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 and done. So all I'm missing is the other options and the remaining item here. And then we did all the Collectopedia. Unless it, unless there's like another zoning to worry about. You will lose Oopsie. <laughs> That's not the button I meant to press. <laughs> Look at this graph, though. <laughs> Look at this graph. I meant to press the help Nato so I could ask, but you know what? I think it was funnier that I pressed that button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that worked out better for everyone involved. I love that there is at least some implication that because of how large these blood cells are, 
there is the idea that you are actually very tiny people. Very, very tiny. Exactly. Blood one cells more still area, look a I little figured. a little bit oversized, wouldn't they? Like doing some quick mental math. Considering how big you how fast you traverse on the Bionis and how big mm -hmm. you can see various land, you know, marks on it, those blood cells would still be like visible. Wouldn't they? If you were the Bionis' size? I don't know. Everyone, let's go! Let me at him. Alright, let's see how this goes. Okay. Now we're getting started. Alright, I'm feeling it. He doesn't have spikes, so it's already gonna be a better fight by that alone. Man, you build up chain meter like shockingly fast. Yeah, because Ricky's in my party. Ricky is stupidly good at building meter. It actually it builds up uh, affinity, which is why my party's pretty high on the affinity list. Oh, we can see it's hard for scale, and if your cells are that big compared to your heart, that's not good. That's true, yeah, because those cells can kind of have to go through a valve one by one. <laughs> that's how Xenoblade Chronicle 1 works, right? Well, neither are we. Ooh. All right, let's do it again. Ooh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> what does the surgeon say when trying to get praise for his work? Look at this craft. Jeez. <laughs> ah, the dad jokes of Nickelback, of course. Doctor, doctor, I just followed a roll of film. Let's hope nothing develops. Ugh. Do you want to know the worst part? Yeah. I said that on stream, and I had a viewer say, What does that mean? Ooh! 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 Oh, somebody's, uh, somebody's shit-talking dumb band. Hold on, I gotta ban them real quick. Don't you dare. That was too easy. Let's not lose our heads, though. Everyone do good! Dumb band is just so unfun to say or hear. I think it's kind of fun to say. Yeah. It's a little awkward in the tongue. In, in, in the tongue. It's On not as fun to say Ricky mouth. or... Yeah. Or, or Ryan. Jaws of Death. Who's this? Oh, it's Dumb Bands. Okay. Yeah, yeah, book. Take that. Anything good in the chest? It's gonna be the book we just got. It's another book, oh. Freezinate. Okay, shame. I don't think Ricky's using that one. You know, the the thing about uh, film developing isn't even that isn't even really a thing about age. It's just become a specialist thing, like mm -hmm. for high end photographers as opposed to your Kodak camera. Jaws of Death, or that recovers HP. Just for, oh, it's that one. Uh, less interested now. Freeze, Nate. Uh, getting 75% of your health back if you get knocked down, that doesn't sound too bad. Behold, Proton the Jonathan, I have acted my Freezenator. Bury the Platypus. And that one ain't happening. What kind of a plumber are you? A platypus plumber? Perry the platypus plumber? Perry the platypus! Oh, is that actually where I need to go? <laughs> a teenage girl? Perry the teenage girl! What the? Ow! Mm -hmm. Arm. Wrong series! Stop making me imagine Ricky with Doof's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can't do that. It's gonna keep happening. <laughs> I 
Imagine a pair of the platypus alert, but using a different character that suits John's streams. I mean, there's a, probably a million characters we could do for that. Like, Negative Pro already does one of the alts with that. So, would not be that much different, all things considered. A goose? Goose, John! Okay, which way are we going here? Let's... Shoot's sake. I'm gonna have to jump down to that, aren't I? Ugh. Will this hurt? Let's find out together! One, two, three, four... Mmm... Well. Okay. I'm right next to you! A succubus? Don pod the succubus? Take this! Ricky's sidekick's too good! <laughs> Teacher's hero upon Ricky! A <laughs> John puts on the bra. Rose, a John. <laughs> All it took was putting on something no. you shouldn't be able to see when fully dressed, anyways. No, no, it's you that you put on the super crown and turn into Pon Pon. That's how we got in this mess in the first place. Exactly, full circle. Bury the platypus? Why do you keep breaking down my doors? It's not even locked! <laughs> Rosa John, what are you doing interfering with my plan to take over the tri stage multiverse? <laughs> this time you'll pay. Bloodworm. Again. Oh, come on. What even? Mm. Oh, there it is. Dark King Barbarous! Oh, I really thought you were gonna say Barbara. I don't know why, that's just where my mind My favorite King, did Barbara. It. Barbara did it. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're all falling backwards. Just in case you've got one. I guess there's not even much to say at this point, because it's just... Whoa, okay, bye! <laughs> oh. He missed the killer dive and still somehow came back. Back. For vengeance. Sorry. Wait, what? What took me down? Oh, he must have actually been attacking me. Thank you, boys. And Ryan's down. Now you get up. Could well be Ricky. Deep up on you, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to doubt. Doubt our lord. Ether particles. Encourage. Ricky, Ricky, let's talk about it. Xenoblade 2 is specifically a game that is really, really good to replay. Or even if you've seen the plot once, like playing it through for yourself is a totally different experience because of the blade system. Every one of them is a different experience going through it. But how long is the actual game to get through? Um, I've seen somebody on a stream go through it in about 40? 40, 50? But, like, that guy was specifically ignoring all side content. I was like, that's, that, that sounds like speedrunning at that point. Um, no, nah, it, was, it was his first run through. He just was not engaged in all the side stuff. Like, did a couple of side quests here and there, but, um, yeah, kind of just went through the main thing, and stream helped him enough with mechanics that he was able to I actually surprisingly, like, get through some of the toughest bosses on the first try. It was incredible. Um, yeah, so if, if you want to do, like, a regular play, I think I spent, like, uh, 90, 100 on it my first time through. 
So you know one is the shortest by a lot? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, this is gonna cause some problems. Alright, I did 15 of them. I did keep my Monado art for this, right? Yes, I did. Let's go. Get a lot of side quests and finished in 72 hours. Monolith is not holding back these games. Do this path. Monolith makes big games. Ta -da. I'm the treasure chest. They're giving me a lot of items. I should probably actually go through my equipment list and see if anyone can wear any of these right now. Uh. No. XC2 is longer if you go for all the blade quests to fill out their charts. Yeah, XC2 has a lot, like, if you engage with side content, even if you're not specifically going for everything, um, the blades you pick up sort of change how your party mechanically functions, and to power them up, there's more quests you can do, and it gets... It can snowball fast if you're, like, in on the side stuff. Uh... Doing like quick math, not actual like proper mathing for it. It looks like I got to be around forty-five to fifty hours when I was doing it on stream. On stream too. Wow, that's. Did you know what you were doing, or was that a first experience? Oh, that was. Oh, that was not the first time. Mm, okay, then. That makes way more sense then. And then, how long was Torna? How long was Torna? Yeah, like, Torna, for me, on stream first experience was, like, 40 hours. I know I beat Torna at 20 hours the first time. One hour, three... All right, if I want to go down that Crystal of the Fall, huh? And that's the nearest war point. That sucks. Uh... Well, then we'll explore that first, then. Have you decided on a game to play through as an incentive for Coliseum this year? Um, I haven't had any other ideas pitched to me that I liked. The closest one so far was, like, play through Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 dressed as Rosa Rosa John. But, like, even then, I'm like, that's still kind of flimsy-ish. So, I don't know. No, I haven't really felt inspired, and no one's really thrown me an idea that I felt was, like, 100% worth it, if that makes sense. It would be another. It would be another RPG, technically, and I know you don't want to do it. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a Pokemon forward. game, so like it's much oh, more no. straightforward. No, no, I was, I was continuing. I was going I was saying Thousand Year Door. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh! I thought you were saying about Pokemon. Man, could you imagine if I played through that and just didn't like it? I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to deal with the people in the chat. I don't think you would hate it, but I don't, I don't like I've played Thousand Year Door. I just happened mm -hmm. to like go play something else instead of finishing it. I think it was Devil May Cry. I think it was it look, nine out of ten chance it was Devil May Cry. I Active think Impulso. Was, I think oh, I think it was like it was like Thousand Year Door, Devil May Cry happened, then he tried Okami, then another Devil May Cry happened. No, Okami was <sighs> It was like Final Fantasy XII Okami God Hand. It was something like that. Oh, yeah, it was God Hand. To be, fair, to be fair, you just said that it's usually Devil May Cry. That's probably why it was in my head. I mean, that's fair, yeah. Like, that's the reason I never finished uh, Wind Waker. Ah, uh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I never finished Wind Waker because I played Devil May Cry 1 instead. Oh. oh! What? That yeah, just yeah. the ending of Wind Waker is like the best Zelda ending. The ending of Wind Waker's been spoiled for me at this point. I know. Oh, Ryan wasn't even in that shit. I just mean like, oh, experiencing that at the time was like this this kids game. I mean, it looks like a kids game, so cartoony and fun, and it ends with like the badass <laughs> straight through the forehead. <laughs> Out of Wind Waker Rando? Mm. I mean, I've why, I haven't finished the game. Why would I want to do a Rando? That doesn't sound like a good idea. 
best way to experience your first playthrough. God, I think Liam did that? Someone in our group did that, and I'm just like, why? I don't know, it's, it's gotta be something that's like substantial enough, but preferably not as long as this game has been. Because I would like it not to completely dominate my schedule, basically. But I wanted to be like, I don't mind doing cosplay stuff, so like, I'm willing to throw that in there because that usually sweetens the pot. But like, I just have, maybe it's just because I've been jumping from thing to thing and just not had a chance to really like, focus on it, but like, no inspiration's come to me so far on it. For your earlier quest with the scale of Bionis Shulk is about 1 200th the size for comparison ant is 1 2,000th the size of a human. So roughly one third the size of an ant. Or roughly, you know, the size of one third of an ant, the head. You can absolutely see that on your own body. Yeah. What kind of hour count would you want? I mean, well, I mean, let's look at it this time. This is stream number 13 for this game. And we've got at least one more, based on the way we're playing, probably one and a half to two more. Probably don't want it to take 15 streams, maybe more like seven. Like five to seven would be the sweet spot. Like a long game clearing game would be in that sweet spot, basically. You could, you could potentially plow through a Fire Emblem in that time. True, but I've played Fire Emblem games before, though. Fair. There are a lot. There's probably one you haven't. Oh, right, we were also going to do Future Connected, so yeah, no, we've still got that yet. Yeah, but that we can do. That's not as important. And that's, that's probably not, not happening effect. before. We're not even starting that before Kahlo. There's no way. I want yeah. <laughs> I want my schedule back for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Clandestine to Apathy. Or Apty. We can't lose. Ricky, no like this. Let me at him. Ricky's friends winning. Thank you, Ricky. Not three houses. Three houses is JRPG length. That's 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 not shorter. <laughs> well, everybody's just like me. After Xenoblade, I'm I'm done with Xenoblade for a while. Meanwhile, I did uh, at the very least, I did one and X right after each other. Yeah, when I finish Xenoblade, I'm like, okay, um, where's the post game? Let's start digging through the OST. Um, when am I planning my uh, New Game Plus run? <laughs> I finish Xenoblade, I'm like, where's the other Xenos? Two I did, two I actually was also pretty, pretty consistent with, and then, uh, then I have to move. That's what kills my schedule entirely. I mean, that would do it. Hey, it is actually over, Ryan, so thank you, though. How do you like Have I beaten all the Mario and Luigi games? Uh. I did. Oh, nice. Two books. Last Stand and Happy Happy, I think. I don't know if either of those are being used. I think Happy Happy, Happy is. Happy. That's the that's one that's be giving my meter, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a really good one to get then. Holy shit. Yep, yep. At least you aren't uh, Elyra Pen Pandora, who's played through Xeno 1, 2, and 3 in a span of one year. I mean, in a span of a year? That's not bad. And they probably stream more than I do. If that's all you're doing, too. Yeah. I, like, I'm a variety streamer, like, when I'm not doing different stuff, people get antsy, and I get antsy because I got ADHD, so. Uh, I thought, so I thought Future Connected wasn't one, part of the challenge. Like, it's not part of the challenge, I'm just doing it. So, like, once the main game's done, we don't have to worry about the costume. I just figured we would just do Future Connected because I'm like, oh, I'm here, I might as well. Yeah, if I had not moved and been able to maintain consistency, I would have definitely beaten all of them within a year. But it bled into 2020 with the, uh, after that. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna make some things happen now. Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope? Maybe, but I never finished uh, the one before that. Kingdom Battle. Not for lack of trying, I guess. 
Supposedly that's not really a problem. It, they're not really linked. Oh, I know. I've heard that. Uh, Can I go back to Mario and Luigi? What were you going to say? <laughs> okay, for Mario and Luigi, uh, I have beaten the first one, the second one, never played the third one. Uh, I got near the end of the fourth one and just did, like, paper jam I bounced off of for some reason. Because there's only five, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so two I, remakes. And the two remakes. Yeah, not counting the remakes, I, yeah, I've beaten two of them. I got near the end of one and then just never touched the other two. Yeah, you And I never played Bowser's that. Inside Story. I never played, um, uh, no, sorry, yeah, it's the only one I didn't play because I've played paper jam. Right. That is generally considered the best of them, too. So I know. I mean, that's the same thing that happened with me with the with Paper Mario, because I Thousand Year Door is like the only one I haven't finished at this point. Well, I guess Color Splash, but Inside Story is a potential then, maybe short list. Maybe. That's not too long, yeah. I think. The, I think most but it's gotta be. I feel like it's gotta be something like. So the whole point of like Sticker Star was like it was Emil. Emil was so bugged about it that it would make sense to do it. Xenoblade made sense for me because I was making Emil suffer through Sticker Star. So let's do something that he likes. So I guess the real kicker is what do we have that kind of has that same pull in a way, and that isn't just Xenoblade Two. Tim, have any ideas? Hmm. Xenoblade does have a very strong pull. It's. Uh... It's tough to get out once you're in the, the the black hole of it. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I have plenty of people can get out of it. Okay. Oh, shit, out of reds. What about Yakuza's? I'm pretty sure you've beaten them all, haven't you? God, no. They're, they're long. Oh, I, thought you, I thought you and uh, Luca like, got them and, put, and beat all of them at one point. We, we stopped at three. Ah. Because we just, like, just, we didn't have the time. I think Front of the Cross happened. Yeah, actually, we did Chrono Cross instead, I think. We did, yeah, we did 0, 1, and 2 together, and then uh, we got partways through 3. We tried to start 3 twice, actually, and both times we just stopped it. Because I think the second time we got sidetracked because we got to the the Idol Cafe, and Reese was like, Whoop, hand the control over to me. We're done. This is it for the rest of the game now. I have the feeling that we are trying to force something that we kind of cannot with this game clearing suggestion. I mean, that's the, that's the trick, is it might just take us, like, it might just take brainstorming with Emil and the others. And not a uh, tired uh, 3 a.m. brain. I mean, at this point, like, the strongest option is probably actually Thousand Year Door. Mm. I mean, I'd prefer Inside Story, but eh. Oh, you gave me the same book I already have. Okay, I got that to happen. Sure we fought this thing already. Yeah, I just wanted to stab it. All right, let's go up. Man, is it? This is an artery. This is a got fur all over your artery. Ugh. Sensei, you should clean your guts. No, too busy living inside a small child. Mm -hmm. It could be something other than a game clearing thing. Can't think of anything but doing something other than a game clearing thing could be a good change of routine. It's not a bad idea. But, like, what, though? Some people are suggesting Bishawk Shufflers, Bishawk Races. I mean, those aren't bad, but we've done those for segments before, so. Build a giant puzzle. I feel like Stephen and Mal already do that. Have I beaten Splatoon story mode? Yes, all three. I never finished Octo Expansion, that's about it. Yeah, we got the bean. The bean! And I just put it right in the book. 
Squish. I have a possible choice for a one and done game, but it depends on difficulty and it is an aged game. What game would that be? Is always sending Thousand Year Door to TRG as an incentive? Oh, that's not bad. Hot tub stream? No, no thanks. <laughs> Actually, I do, that might be the compromise for it. Instead of making it onto here, it's just like a game that gets done on TRG instead. You know, that's actually not a bad idea. What did we just get? Z-Speed goggles. Oh, and I can actually put something on it. Nice. Because I, I do love being able to talk about these games with you, but I also, <laughs> I also know the viewer numbers. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Literally had like a meeting with somebody who's like, "Yo, like you know, you you're, you put most of your time in this, but man, like you got like the worst return on." It. I'm just like, "Yep, it's for call, it's for charity." Like, oh, "Okay, never mind. That makes perfect sense." Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't have mentioned that if that hadn't already been discussed on stream. <laughs> what do I want to give you in that spot? Ether defense up, I guess. Yeah, that could work. And we just got cowling? That's weird. I thought it was like. Uh, eh, I don't like the, the things off the side. Yeah, I got goggles. I figured they would have been a. I guess it's still speed. I guess that's why. Heart door! I should see. yeah. Is that the last one in here? Yes, it was. Okay, cool. So we got this fully mapped out. Should I level us back up, or should we go in? And am I going in with this party? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go in with this party. It could be fun. Fuck it. I don't remember how strong the boss is. I wouldn't tell you if I did. Welcome to my world. The world of the heart. I am surprised. Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own. And look Here's my stomach. Sprightly. I'm still alive. I won't Man, die. Pretty active for a corpse. Not yet. And that's why we're here. Everyone who lives in this world has a life. So, it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanza. Mmm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true life. It's... G Gallion! Brother! There is no use in calling. It worked before, but now his transformation is complete. Are you sure about that? Because he still has the, the head. <laughs> Like brother and sister? What was their uh, relationship? No. I forget. She's uh, just Lorth there. Lorothea was the minister. You know she the had no relation. Of the word telethia. It means that which eliminates impure life. You may and Pyrea were different life, characters. Just like you. That which Lord Sansa does not require shall be extinguished from this world. Wow, I'm it's like I'm fighting Kafka. Mm -hmm. He's not inside, it's just <laughs> fucked up. Alright, that's fair. That's it, that's the line. We can go home, folks. Oh, it's it's so not bit crushed this time around. <laughs> I think my favorite thing is that when I first played this, I remember that she said something, but I could not remember it. It took like a friend, I'm pretty sure during <laughs> during one of the charity live streams we did for me to actually have it memorized. It's like, I know she said something. I don't remember what. Hey, hang on a sec. I just realized, Blacked it out. I just realized, I don't know if you're getting quieter, Montaru, but like, you're you're now no longer getting picked up past the uh, the game audio, so I'm bumping you up a bit. Sorry. I, I moved my mic a bit. Ah, that would be why. 
Well, bye, Ryan. Oh. <laughs> I wanted your help in this chain attack, but I guess not anymore. Also, I try not to talk too loud too loud when it's 345. No, that's fair. I, I, I was able to bump your audio up a fair amount. Yeah, Ryan, snap out of it. How about this? Ether laser. Courage. I'm not gonna warn him apparently because I have no meter, which is bad. Actually, never mind. We can save this in time. Fast ball on the loose. Did they change the arena you fight this fight in for this version? Because I remember this being raised up. I don't think so. No. Because I swear when Emil was playing this in the original version, like, he fell into the acid and couldn't get back out of it. Yes, sorta. No, this is the same. It is the same. Uh! Uh! I think she moves, like, maybe a little bit less, so you don't fall in as easier, but that could also just be, like, the mentality messing with me. Alright, so I I know, you know, for the dramaticness of it, it's, sure, you're fighting inside the Bionis, but it, it, Loretta, how do you expect Zanza to come back if you, you've carved out his heart? <laughs> just don't think about it, just, just don't think about it. <laughs> This is my room now. Oh no, I'm in the void. I fucking died. There's no way she died, right? You didn't no, go through that she, whole she's not bar. dead. Okay. <laughs> I have to walk slowly towards you, sister, to make this dramatic. Brother? Is that really you? Oh, I have longed to see you. Sorry, sis, I'm dead. I too, Melia. Bleach bummer, it's just because efforts are funny. Brother. I like how you just ignored the main apologize. mechanic of the fight. There was a mechanic to that fight? To you and to everyone. Yeah, a little bit. Because of our transformation into Telethia. I am a princess, but I brought misfortune upon the high end here. I. I. Do you care if we mention what it is? Yeah, let's wait for after the cutscene. <laughs> I just thought the real fight hadn't happened yet. This is a present from me to you. Look at your you mistaken, Elliot. What? The Telethia gene lies dormant well, within friends, us all. I look forward there to meeting no you people escaping again. The cursed blood in our veins, sister. It was fate. That is why our father sought to dilute the bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> not just because he liked you Zeus. The hope of the high mm -hmm. You will it, not transform into a Telethia. It, 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 Even you didn't just the have a thing for Hawks. You can there was still a reason. succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Knowing this, both I and Father were happy to sacrifice ourselves. Although maybe you could have tried a it little harder to save us, save Dad at least Brother. earlier. That probably would have been nice. There is no need to fear. After all. Well, he threw this himself into, into the way of the claws to protect her. Hmm. But Melly's just like canonically got glasses to me now. Everybody puts Stop them on her. <laughs> I mean, it's one of the better items you get around there yes. too. Yeah. Now, leave her to me. Like I think you that's still go. the ruby glasses I found in you that area. Shoot. Yeah. No, it is pretty good even until end game. I killed you, you idiot. I have done nothing. <laughs> this is your destiny. Accept it with dignity. Ah! My body! Oh! You don't want to merge with them in the first place, you dumbass. Ah! Ah! Well, that's a good scream. Holy shit. Mm hmm. Brother. Melia. At long last, I can be with Father. Listen. <laughs> you must now live your own life. Now where it pays for itself. Forge, the future you choose. That is the hope 
of the High Entia. Thank you, brother. Your words will stay with me forever. His words? Oh, Ricky heard. Ricky heard Melly's brother. Oh, Callian say, hope of bird people. Mm. Where Melly's brother? Oh, Ricky not see him, but Ricky hear him. Ricky. Thank you, you for you heard his parting words. Thank you for making it seem like I'm not insane. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting a tear, man. I like this. <laughs> yeah, that heart-to-heart -heart with uh, Dunban is subtly confirming that Ricky can Maya. just hear ghosts. <laughs> he just can. Thank you for your concern. I am all right. Let us go and secure the future my brother so hoped for. We will. Together. <laughs> Such a brave princess. <gasps> Dixon. <laughs> He's just kind of there. I take time out of my schedule to send you off to a nice spot, and that's how you work. I brought you to a heart and everything. <laughs> I'll be waiting at Prison Island. I've picked out a lovely place to return your flesh and blood to the Bionis. Don't keep me waiting. See ya later. Why can't we just fight now? You're here. <laughs> eh, I don't want to fight in the heart. It's too stinky. Why she carved the carved the thing out in the first place? We've I told her it was a dumb island. idea. Okay. All right. So good news. From here on out, I am blind to the game again. Yay! Because For Emil did scream. not beat that boss fight as far <laughs> as I can remember while we were there in the hotel room. He eventually gave up after a couple of attempts. But yeah, um, apparently, you really did just plow through it. Were you overleveled? I was two levels higher than her? One? And yeah, the uh, she summons adds that give her huge damage buffs. You're supposed oh. to prioritize Yeah, those, this, those just didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The adds she summons just... give her a big damage it's resistance good. buff. You're supposed to prioritize them to deal serious damage to the boss. Yeah, but then I have Ricky and I have Sword Drive, so... Yeah. <laughs> Good, goodbye. I think I, I, I think I did most of her damage in one of the chain attacks. Yeah, that one like went like, I like five or six rounds. Oh, they were summoned. You just ignore them. Oh, that's hilarious. Mhm. Mm you were there. Was did show up? They were just so strong. So here's a question: Before we did that chain attack, I did um. No, I used eater. Never mind. I didn't use. Eater has AoE too. No, I was gonna say, did I use the one that takes away positive perks? But I realized no, I used Eater, which just gives bleed. So no. No, Eater does gets rid of the perks too. No, oh, okay. Uh, the AI did kill the ads off. Oh, cool. All right, that works out then. What if I did Sword Drive? Oh, <laughs> we win. <laughs> Oh, yeah, someone earlier said they, uh, yeah, Frozen Hunts dropped five gift sub bombs and said, uh, this is for how many, the amount of gifts, that amount of gift subs was how many times it took me to finally kill her. <laughs> Most of the fight, Ryan and Ricky were fighting them and only you were attacking her. Ah, okay, well, there you go. That makes sense. Essentially, He's supposed to be hard. Wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> Cool. I want to see you try to tackle we said, uh, Jin now. <laughs> we said this who? About a different game. Different oh, game. from two. Okay, from two. Okay. We said this about uh, the tomb as well. That was supposed to be a hard fight. Well, the tomb, I think I was actually a bunch of levels over. Mhm. Mm yeah. So from what I remember, watching Emil play this, like he fell, like he fell from like a ledge. And oh, you know what? I think he. He did something like this. Like, I think he was fighting her up here on some ledge and fell down and never just got out of the acid in time. Because I remember him falling from a height. And him falling in the acid a bunch. I guess. 
She's the hardest boss in the game, but not is not that hard. Well, okay. Well, we did it. Oops, I won. Mm -hmm. Oops, I won. I wasn't even that over level too. Right? Like I like she was 75, right? I'm not misremembering that. I wasn't paying attention. I kind of wasn't either. That's just really funny that uh, that you beat a boss. A lot of people consider really hard in less is than this, ten minutes. That was only like was three minutes, wasn't it? Two. So it has sunk into the Bionis head. She was actually level twelve. Son of a bitch. Ricky, feel mm -hmm. funny feeling from above. Ricky instincts say Dixon is dead. Yes, I agree. Stop praying to Zanza, Dixon. We're coming. Yeah, I'm back to being blind now. And now you are in the final area. Right. Yay. An area I've been to before, but apparently since it's different enough, they've redone the map. Different section, yeah. In the beginning, the first time you came here, I think there's a comment about it. You can get into an area where there's like, I think the characters say you shouldn't come here yet, or there's nothing over here right now. Yeah. Yeah, that, you you will be seeing that spot again. All right, so here's the question now, then. What do we do? How much long until break? <laughs> Eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. walk forward a little bit, fight some enemies. Uh, Can... Maybe find a line mark. Yeah, it's also 2 a.m., so I probably shouldn't go too much later. But am I safe to do side quests off stream now? Like, give me, yeah. I guess, what are the side quests I should save for stream? Uh, let me make sure about one or two things with regard to that. You could probably watch the cutscene side quest. Yeah, that one will happen. Yeah, that one. That do is... I have enough time to do that now, or you can you will you can't finish it, but you can start it. You save that for one chunk, I think. Yeah, just wander around here for eight minutes. Like, find find some stuff, maybe find a landmark or whatever. The only thing I'm worried about is if there's a side quest that needs a thing that's further in here. Hmm, that's kind of what I am worried about as well. All oh, right, let's check Collectopedia. Hell, uh, what was the question? Sorry, I was looking. I was looking at quests. Or the comment. Hmm? What was the comment you both were saying? Oh, uh, worried about, uh... Sorry, I'm looking at which of these is better. Yeah, rashness. Um... What side quest should we do? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I was worried about what would happen if I went to... Uh, didn't go far enough in. I would say just going forward a little bit would probably be better. Because that yeah. just opens a better area to find collectibles. That's what I figured. Hang on. Then let me quickly deal with this unique monster. But I'm also not sure if there's, like, actual... Restrictions for some of those. Oh shit, I didn't level her up. Uh, Fuck. Uh. Oops. Uh. What was that, 75? Let's make her 75. And dumb man. Fucking ether monsters. Let's try again. This time with feeling. Yes, we do. Okay, chain attack time. My rifle's getting hotter. You can withstand our chain attack. Thunder bullet. Fire! Ricky, you can do it. Here, Ricky, go. Dun dun. Aha. 
Good job, everyone. Wiki was cool, yes? Stay calm. Wiki is hit upon Stay power. Fun. Wiki! Fantastic! Inspirational! Hit upon very cool! Game over! Monster! Ah. One heal for you coming right up! Electric Gotta cool off! At least we got through the stuff you had seen in one stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at least the next stream will be entirely blind, which is nice. Oh, I am looking forward to that. Just Genuine question. Do you think we can finish the game next stream, or are we going to need another one? My gut checks tell me we're going to need another one. I could if you're saying probably finish, you might. It, it was a little bit of overtime. I don't think there's enough for two. If we're doing overtime, it's because of the side quests. Yeah, that's what I figured. Like, if we just did the story, we'd easily beat the game. So then maybe we just have to be picky about which ones we see. The voiced one, sure, but then aside from that, it's like, fuck. Let's filter some stuff out. Timing is everything. Remember that. We're counting on you. It's just a matter of time now. All right, so we might want to add a couple minutes here tonight just to make sure we get far enough that I can do the side quest stuff, is what you're saying. Uh, if we're talking about trying to get to the uh, to where uh, the place will let you buy the Colony 6 stuff, we will not get to that. No, I knew we weren't going to get to that. Because I assume we have to have we have to fight Dixon to get that. Some guys are saying that. Um, no. Timing is everything. Remember that. Yahoo! More time now. The more time now, the better. Something I remembered. Um, some people are saying some of that side stuff is higher level than the ending. So if you do other side stuff off stream, you'll probably get enough experience to be okay there. Oh, hey, look, we're back at this part again where I'm out of room <laughs> for shit again. God damn it. Somebody said if if you rush it, you can probably get through this final dungeon in like an hour. Wow, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, Not tonight, but like... No, not tonight. I'm just saying like I don't like even when we get to the actual... Now it sounds right. Like if for rushing it. Absolutely. <laughs> Super bosses, no. Super bosses, no. That's not quests. Oh, finally, heal bullet can be leveled up. God. Nice. There we go. Almost nothing worth going to fight that. The big thing is the ending's like 45 minutes plus. I mean, that makes sense, because there's going to be a shit ton of cutscenes and credits. and. Yeah, it's a JRPG ending. Yeah, it's exactly. Like my favorite of the ending songs. <laughs> Did John kill the Stormy Belagon in Aerith Sea? Oh, fuck, if I remember. Where, what island is that one on? Is that the know. one that's on... Hang on, I gotta bring up the map to remember. Is that the one that's on... Doesn't that have a side quest? There's like one that's on Secluded Island. And there's one that's on one of these hovering reefs you have to fall down to. I forget which one that is. probably have a tiny Cromar that has a sleep topple spike. Probably not, then. It's on Cromar Coast. It's level 87. Yeah, you didn't beat Oh, if it's level 87, I definitely haven't fought it. No. <laughs> Never mind. Absolutely not at that point. Uh, because he can get, he can help affinity grinding. That's, uh, that's cool. That makes sense. Prison gate? Yeah. Now the Ooh. good news. Yep, we Prison finally Islands. get to hear music. Prison Island's real, real tunes. There's a horse. Yeah, this is basically what I wanted you to get for, like, collecting items. I think you can get, theoretically get anything from here. If you, you know, reload yeah. it over and over and collect, like, the same four things. Yeah, it's rare, but it's... Mm. I really... I guess it really might be overstating it, but as an ending theme, I... 
appreciate this track. This this has a really nice like finality and oppressiveness to it. Not the fight theme. The fight theme is just the same thing we've always heard. But the dungeon theme. I think this one is called To the Last Battle. That would make sense. That would make sense. I'd say go to the point of no return, but then focus on side quests. That's like an hour. That's the whole dungeon. It's a bit long tonight. Oops, wrong move. So however extra long you think you want to push, you'll basically just be taking it straight out of the next stream. Mm. Should we go to the next... There's a couple landmarks, a couple points where they stop and talk about a puzzle or something. So there's, there's natural stopping points. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Or should I, at the very least, start the side quest that has the cutscene? That way I know not to touch it? Uh, the one with the touch it, and it so we get to the first cutscene? Yeah. Oh, apparently it's called, uh... Oh, okay. So it got localized as the end lies ahead, but the... Japanese mostly translates to to the last battle. Yeah, if you want to know where it is, it is uh it, can I say? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh it is not Here just to just make it easier. Now it's half half time. It is the second gate in on top of Colony 6. So basically go through the gate, go through the entrance and head north. Wait, Do I need Colony about... 6 at a certain no. level, though? Nope. It's just available now? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how long the cutscenes are, so... It's not the longest, but I know that it is, like, a length. I try to put Ryan in slot two again. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I. I don't think spoiled is the right term. Not about. I. Sorry. I just, man. I, mm, words hard. This monitor is great. <laughs> I'm. I'm. It's big, and I genuinely underestimated how much I would appreciate very crisp text. But like, just I'm using Maya here, and the center, just the work window not counting all the UI around it, is the size of my other monitor. I'm like, oh, this feels so spacious and nice. Shit, I keep thinking that's going to be way faster than it is. Timing is everything. Remember that. Couldn't you just replay the start of the cutscene in the theater replay if you did accidentally hit it? I mean... I don't know if it's going to be one of those. That's the downside. I know nothing about this cutscene. So it, 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 it would be in the theater. I don't remember how chapter far everything or where is. Yeah. Like, I know it exists in the theater. I just never actually watched it in it. <laughs> Yeah, basically, I know that it would exist, but I don't know what wouldn't be in the theater. Like, if there's anything that isn't voiced, that definitely wouldn't be there. Oh, there was just a lot of enemies there, no wonder. I was wondering why that took so long. Alright, so how far do I have to go before I should worry about my next cutscene? Because I might wander around here getting some fights to try to build up things, or do you think this is just where I should stop making progress in here? I think it is the third floor that you shouldn't go past. 
Here should be safe. This feels like a stopping point, but if you want to keep stuff, like I'm just like for like for if I need stream. to if I need to pop in and like for side quests and for Colony Five and shit, make a little bit more progress. Oh, help Nato's still on. Did you still want it? Oops, sorry. Thanks! I'll know the look of the area that you shouldn't go past. So, we can check through this. We can check through here and I can tell you. The YouTube channel's Twitter link is still the old one. Oops! Thanks for a reminder on that. Well, the good news is you still have access to both of them. Yes, that is the good thing. And yep, no, sure enough. All right, I'll remember to fix that then. Dry lemon. Modern resistor. Green cam! <laughs> I prefer wed lemon. Yeah, this area is fine. What? Wed lemon? Wet lemon. Wet lemon. Okay, I thought you meant a lemon that was going to get married. And, like, I'm down for that, but uh, what fruit? It's called Colony Six Numbnuts. What did I say that does, that spawned that answer? What? I don't know. Someone just said it's called Colony Six Numbnuts, and I don't know what I even said that got that to happen. Yeah, the next one you shouldn't go. Don't go through the next teleporter because I know that will have a cutscene. Unless you want to see it. Don't go through next teleporter. Okay. You apparently called it Colony Five. Okay. I don't even remember so, saying uh, a colony. Period. What? A correction still doesn't need an insult. I don't remember mentioning colonies. Period. What the fuck was I talking about? We were talking about collectibles. We definitely did talk about it, but I don't remember. It. I don't remember saying any colony. That was like th that was like three minutes ago. That wasn't like right now. Maybe a delayed stream. Maybe. maybe? God damn, that's why I get for looking away because I'm reading chat. No, no. Would they say something else or? Uh, being a dink. All right, well there you go. They're regular. They should know better. They mentioned the help not all being on immediately, so before, so probably delayed stream. Ah. Mm. Ooh, we got a sword. And a tongue. Hooray! <laughs> okay, so don't go in that teleporter. Yeah, that will... T I mean, you technically can, but you'll see an area, then you'll just be like, ah, that is very obviously where a cutscene will happen. <laughs> okay, so it's one of those. Alright, so we'll do this fight, then we'll go start the cutscene side quest, and then we'll probably tap out there for the night. Okay. Ooh, this is backfiring. So I keep fighting enemies with spikes without any fucking spike resistance shit on. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this guy killed me so many times. Yep, I'm dead. I love how he just throws the baby at you. For the attack. Well, they gotta have it be... They gotta have it do something. Oh boy. <laughs> and I'm dazed, and that's gonna be a death. 
Oh, I have no meter. Yep. Their breath does not smell as great. Nope, does not. Nope, I'm done on this one. It's called being a team player. <laughs> I am so confused. I completely forgot. A command that I've done a dozen times before. Why is it so hard? It's dancing around them. Get up! Get up, Brian! And dead. Yeah, that's what I get for going in with no spike stuff. Okay, but at least I know I can run around there now. So let's warp back to, it's colony six, I think they said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, colony six, it's basically the northmost section you can get to. So like, what, like here or like here? Uh, the gate. Here? No, the uh, other one that you were hovering over. Yeah, it doesn't have a landmark. Oh, here. Mm-hmm. At least it's not Colony 69. Nice. Oh yeah, there we go. I see the, the exclamation mark there now. So only one side quest has a cutscene? That's weird. Yeah. I think I've never seen this cutscene either. Even I've played the game like three times. I think there's like... I think there's one other scene that's mentioned in the archive that I can't remember if that is like actually... If that was supposed to be a side quest or supposed to be part of the main story. We can talk about that Who's after this? we beat the game, but ain't she the one who attacked us in the capital? Are you kidding me, her? You, you. Tyrea! What are you doing here? You're hurt. Do not touch me. Vile girl. Watch it. Oh. <laughs> Luxem's it's static right now. Oh, Tyrea, what happened? Is she dead? No. It looks oh, she's like she dead. just passed out. Let's get her to the infirmary. Ryan! Come on, why me? Please. Because you're big and strong. Are we going to turn her into a robot now? Her injuries aren't severe. Maybe not the best idea. When the Bionis awoke, the ether flow around the colony became unstable. Maybe that's why she lost consciousness. No, I mean, she also I mean. fell, I guess. You mean, why didn't she become a Telethia? Precisely. For pure-blooded High Entia to become Telethia, the ether energy surrounding the Bionis has to be above a certain level. Luckily, the level of ether energy here is not as high as on the upper regions of Bionis. That may be what kept her safe. Or perhaps... Perhaps what? She's not pure blood. No. It's dirty mud blood. It's nothing. <laughs> She's supposed to have smaller wings if that's Something the case. About this <laughs> feel uneasy. I know what you mean. We'll have to keep an eye on her recovery. Why does she hate you so much, Melia? You're both high end here. Is being pure blooded really that important? Tyrea's birth mother is most likely my stepmother. You don't mean Eumea? Yes. I heard about it from Callion after I returned from the tomb. Mother was the leader of the Inquisitors, a secretive organization operating in the shadows of the Imperial household. She was a ninja. The group plotted mm -hmm. to maintain the Imperial bloodline through a clandestine ritual. A ritual where Tyrea was conceived. 
and she was secretly raised as an Inquisitor assassin. Hold on a sec. Are you saying that Tyrea is Callian's half-sister? That's right. Then isn't she in the same position as you? Mm-hmm. That is correct. Tyrea! You're awake! <sighs> I had more right to the throne than she ever did. Were it not for the consort system that has so polluted the pride of our people, it would have been me, a pure-blooded High Entia, who would build the future of our people. And I'd be a lizard. <laughs> you are a hypocrite. Just like me. If we are honest, what is the difference? You too would take the lives of your own people to protect your bloodline. Melia, you too are nothing but an assassin. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm... I don't buy that for a second. Ryan! Pride of your people? How about you're jealous of Melia? <laughs> Do you really think I would be jealous of her? Ain't ya? You're envious of her, right? Of how she lives her life. You just want everyone to feel sorry for you, for being in the shadows all your life. How dare you? No home speaks to me like that. I'm saying that you'll never have a life like Melia's. The himbo does. You don't have the faintest <laughs> idea why Melia's been fighting. Even if you'd been born in her place, the Emperor still would have chosen her as his successor. Succeeding the Imperial line ain't all about blood. It's about taking on the will to do whatever it takes for your land, for your people, when the time I comes. like when Ryan gets, like, the actual chance to be, like, a solid you. character. How dare mm -hmm. you? Like, si si times like this are why I like Ryan. This is no time for pointless bickering. He's right. We survivors shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right, time's up. I want the room cleared out. Yeah, okay. And you. You need to calm down and get some rest. Ugh. Grr. I'm your medic. I will shoot you healthy if I have to. It is weird that this, that this is the only side quest that has a cutscene, but this also makes the most sense to be a cutscene, mm -hmm. considering how much they're covering Me. here. Envious. The only one with voice acted cutscenes. I with voice acting. Think yeah. of my people. What is that? I thought her hair was shrinking for a second, then realized no, it was just clipping into her boobs. <laughs> Mom, you're looking very lizard today. What's going on? Look, over there. The colony. Way to go, guys. Telethia. It started a small fire. Get it. Guys, she's gone. Tyrea, you mean? Could that Telethia be her? No. At least, I'm fairly certain. What? There's no time now. We must pursue it. And now the game wants you to find it. Look for a mysterious Telethia in the same spot as a past Telethia battle in Machna Forest. How long is it, how long does this quest take to do? Uh, not that much longer, honestly. I thought it was a bit longer with the cutscenes. Not that much longer? Then we might as well just wrap it, huh? I'd honestly say, yeah, we probably could. Might as well just wrap it. Uh, fuck, where did I find that Telethia? I 
I actually don't remember where that was. Although I assume if I warp in here, it'll show me. Mm-hmm. Once it you should. find once you find the thing, it's just the battle and the closing cutscene. So did I did I immediately like just completely oh, zone way up off. what was that thing? Hmm? What is that just a random Telethia? I'm sure it might reveal what it is later. Okay. It Maybe. must be Tyrea after all. What do we do? Do we have to fight her? Yeah, she went There's into no the uh, light and Radio then she sense. saw Telethia. And then that Telethia started destroying things. Oh boy, I hope I'm on the right level for this. So I'm kind of just... Oh no! <laughs> Oh, it's not gonna let me out of this because we instigated by warping here. Shit. All right. Well, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I can't run because this is uh. Oh, I can actually. I thought I was I mean, gonna let me because I teleported in here. You can walk away, but it likely won't de-aggro. Uh, I think it does eventually. It did, but now I have something else fighting me instead. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so let's uh, so it's level eighty. Let's get our let's actually pick a party for this. Let's bring back in our usual team. Oops. Let's get them leveled up. Oh, okay. Well, let's see how this goes. Alright, I can't save because I'm in the water. It's Ryan third. Thank you! <laughs> Chat reminded me. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Which one? Uh, He's Ryan in third. Oh god. And it just works with my setup. That's all it is. <laughs> Ooh, that was a big hit. Ultimate Cannon 9! Ryan, stop. Stop just eating lasers. I appreciate it, because you are the tank, but... It can't be that delicious. He's not even doing that much damage. Yikes. Mm. Off that. Right back over there. Prepare for the eventual status effect that he's gonna get, probably, knowing him. I like it very much. Uh oh. Supernova 7! <laughs> ooh, 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 I'm powering up. He's fine. A little sponged up, no big deal. Nothing. I don't even bother if I'm doing them in this order. No, because I guess I can still do that. And then I have nothing with Ryan because everything I have with him is physical. 
Who wants some free shield here? Ryan, you probably could use it. Jesus, now they're giving me them all. Apparently you're crackling a bit. Hang on, I can fix it. I thought it. that was just me. It's gone? Oh. Good job, everyone. It stopped? Yeah, apparently. Weird, okay. Now we're working as one. This is the power of unity, like there was a Loose wire? There I haven't was a... touched my desk, so I don't know what would cause that. I didn't do anything to move it or unmove it. There was like a small spike on the CoCom feed, so I was just like, oh. Weird. I thought it was on my end, because it happened the same time as you going crackly, so I'm like, oh. No, because the guys are saying they can hear me crackling too, so... <clears throat> if you guys are telling me that I'm crackling, then that means it, uh, it's something with my microphone itself. Still weird that that would even happen, but a little bit, yeah. Internet, actually, because like I said, it was you crackling, and then stream, and then the CoCom feed like was was like uh, lagging. Oh, then it must be that. Yeah, I dropped. Mm, yes, I did drop frames. So that's what it was. Shulk, okay. I must. I know. Tyrea, you're safe. You do realize that Telethia is Eumea. Oh, I was joking, but yeah, apparently that is her mom. Mm -hmm. I was pursuing Eumea. Even though she knew it was her fate to transform, she remained faithful to the Bionis. But why? Didn't she feel betrayed? Everyone has their own beliefs. And what they believe is their own choice. Yamea adhered to her path. I pursued her so that I could fulfill her final wish. Her final wish? Yamea was imprisoned within the Tower of Investigation. She told me that after she transformed into a Telethia, I was to destroy her as quickly as possible. She wished to sacrifice herself to the Bionis. At least, that is what I believed at first. But I now understand Yumea's true desire. That is why I must... This is my responsibility. Melia, why? Father entrusted me with the Empire and its people. What I believe in is the will of those struggling to survive. I have to fight if I am to convey this to the next generation. Besides, is it some Umea couple people in chat are saying, isn't this supposed to be different music? I'm there trying is no to check that. To carry out such an unpleasant task. Is the same not true of you? You may not be of her blood, but you still think of her as your... This is a duty that my father and brother conferred upon me. Melia. I want to do it. Let me kill my mom. No, <laughs> let me kill your mom. There, now mom's dead. Now we can relax. Tyrea, I believe you and I are alike. Alike? Never huh, It is supposed to be different music. Weird. Or at the very least, it was in the original game. It did game. change. My gratitude it did change. We don't have the, uh... I mean, mother. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen them fly. What is happening? I don't think Tyrea. they're supposed to yep. be able to. <laughs> this is the only time you see them fly. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like she tried to fucking T pose so away. She goes. Is she going to be okay on her own? It's okay, She'll Tyria be... isn't real. We she can't hear you she... anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Melia, what did you mean just now? Her neck <laughs> there goes my, my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Watch her as she goes. What? But the wings on her head. Not all half-blooded Hyentia have small wings. Only the majority. Some are indistinguishable from pure-blooded Hyentia. 
dominant and recessive inheritance. I've studied this. So that's why. Melia, do you think you may have knew this would happen? Perhaps. <laughs> Actually, she had to have known. I'm glad we got to see that. Least, it's funny. That is pretty that's what good. I believe. She was her mother after all. She must have been aware. Yes. <laughs> Would her just tea posing and spinning away be less distracting? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a new she staff. Becomes an, she becomes an incineroar. Ooh. Yeah, this is a good staff. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> uh, stat-wise, it's not as good, but the effects from the gems are very good. What was unbeatable again? I can never remember what that one is. Uh, you have a chance of surviving getting oh, killed. Okay, no, that is pretty good. What am I losing out 50 on? 50% HP buff. Oof. Oh, and yeah. I'm sorry. I missed that part, damage. too. Yeah, no, that also <laughs> would be good to have on her. Yeah, I'll equip that. She went from 3,000 to 5,000. Mm. Yeah, I completely spaced on that being HP up. I don't know what I thought it was. All right, well, that's done. Yay. All right, so I guess before we go for the night, oh. everyone is level 79. I'm assuming Fiora's not going to be. Yeah. Except for Ricky yeah. and Fiora, everyone's at level 79. Uh... I'm going to do side quests off stream. And I assume since that was the cutscene one people wanted to see, I am safe to uh, do any side quests I want. Right? Uh, there are a couple that people are interested in seeing, but that's the only one that has, like, major scenes. I think the rest are just stuff that people personally yeah, like side quests, but IMO, none of them are crazy critical to knowing what's going on. They're just fun flavor. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. There's... Someone said there's a new NPC in Junks that showed up after beating that side quest. Lutzen, mm -hmm. please, no. Ban as a whole <laughs> ordeal. <laughs> now, for a second, I forgot where Junks is. What about Heart to Hearts? Heart to Hearts, I'm, I always save for stream. So we can do a bunch of Heart to Hearts next stream. Mm-hmm. That's not a big deal. Isn't isn't Banna like almost a super boss? No. I think oh. he's lower level than that thing. You know what I actually hmm. should do before I do any of this? I should cash in this one that I can do. Because this will get us to everything at level four. <laughs> but that that quest is huge, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, lower level than that thing. Lower level than you, Maya. You gotta get collectibles in the watchtower if you feel like climbing up there. Street lights have been built! You see the present for all the residents! Debuff resist 5! Oh shit. Nice. It's actually pretty good. I'm sure John has been doing those quests along the way, which is how it's huge in the first place. Well, which quests? Stuff related to Banna. It's a long quest chain. Lady to Banna? Where uh, is she? Related, related to Banna. Banna is a oh. no-bon. Trying to... Re God, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Banna's not the Banna... chef, right? 
No, Banna was also no. in Xenoblade 2, like the oh. big green one from Chapter 1, but there is a Banna in this game, too. I actually didn't unlock any quests. I'm surprised. Red red pollen orbs? Stuff to do with drugs? Oh, yeah, I've done that whole thing. Drugs. I've done the whole yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Quick question. Have you found... Oh, actually, no, never mind. You wouldn't have them yet. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, no, now that I have special level 4, now I can go get more people for the village. Because I was wondering why there were no side quests. This probably means that there's one or two people I can get in, in here now. Um, so, have you... Do, do you think... Have, <laughs> words. Have you finished the banner chain? I thought I had. Okay. Uh... Have you done the quest, Banna the Betrayer? Hang on. No. Was this, that's tied to like find the kingpin and everything else, right? Yeah, there's Banna. Mm -hmm. Advisor hunt, evidence collection, destroying the city trade. That was the last one that I would have done was destroying the city trade. Yeah. Okay, so Banna the Betrayer is still potentially a thing and that's the one people are saying they would like to see. Because it does have a special fight. Destroying the city trade is the prereq to Banna the Betrayer. All right, so if you get that quest, maybe save that one just because a lot of people seem to want to see it. It's also very much meme, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it either, so I'm interested. All right, so the only quest I need to be careful of is Banna, the one with Banna's name in it, whose name, I, I don't know where I even get that at the moment. Banna the mm -hmm. Betrayer, uh, Frontier Village. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Isn't this the one that is potential to even miss? I, f I feel like there was a side quest in this game that if you did, if you said the wrong thing or talked to the wrong person, it just locked you out. Uh, miss it? No, it's, you only miss it if you didn't do these timed quests. Okay, okay. But by picking the wrong option, no. All right, cool, so we can, we can do that next time. <laughs> Yay. I just noticed how happy that uh, Juju is in the corner. <laughs> I would joke that he doesn't deserve to be happy, but he hasn't done that much bad. My god. <laughs> he helped build the city. <laughs> Alright, I'll track all these down as best I can to see if we can get the place. Should I wait to get this to level 5 on stream or off stream because the way I see it I think getting level 5 unlocks quests so I should probably do that off stream right yeah it'll probably be better okay unless you just want unless you want to wait until you can buy the items <laughs> even then I gotta oh, the... the grind out knob on stone to get those though which I'm not exactly the mm -hmm. most jazzed about I <laughs> Just gather the items and turn them in if possible for start of stream. What? But then I still... No. Here's the problem, though. If I turn them yeah. in at the start of stream, then I have a bunch of side quests that open because we didn't do... Here, to put to put this into... Uh, to put this into, re like, perspective... All this... Opens up after we get to level five. Wow, that all needs level five to do. Yeah. Okay, then. So that's yeah, a lot. That's it. a lot of shit I can't do if I don't do it off stream. Thanks. Off stream. Off stream. So I'm gonna do that off stream. Oh, I'm so yawny. All right, but uh. there we go. That is it. That means next stream may very well be the last. Of the main Xenoblade streams. Whoop. We got some stuff ah. done, and Dixon got to flip over his card and start chewing scenery. Did you see the Telethia? They flipped the bitch. See, I'm not sure if you saw my mention of it earlier, but I did reveal what I consider to be the act breaks of the game. It's whenever Shulk got a new Monado, which also lines up with the bigger plot points. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I could, I, oh, hell. I think you're, it just sort of cut for a second. We're all right.
Sorry, I had a mosquito fly in here, and I'm confused because it has not been that warm for a mosquito to appear. Huh. Hmm. But, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, like, next time we'll we'll likely have the last of the main uh, Xenoblade streams of the main story. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes, I guess. Yep. Ah! Where the fuck did that thing even go? I clapped and I didn't get it, and I don't see it. <laughs> like, it literally showed up and just ran away. It's off to go get Mosquito Girl, clearly. That's a lot of side quests, though. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, so much. Thank God I'm not doing all these on stream. Wait, you said you will do the rest of the Colony 6 stuff off stream. Can I mention that missable stuff you likely won't that you likely won't mind then? Uh sure. What is the missable thing we're talking about here? Shouldn't have any missable things anymore. Yeah, I thought we were literally at a point where there's no more missable shit. Yeah, because we're in endgame mode, basically. Quest exclusives? Well, that's not Lilith. Well, I'm sorry. Maybe that's they're trying to figure out what Lilith's referring to. Alright, well, meanwhile, uh... Eggs. Hire Ryu for 64. X370 for 86, Frozen Hunts with a Gift Sub Bomb, and Adam a Bomb 2002 for 27. The last enemy of Colony 6 Reconstruction, which you can only fight once, drops all of the best light armor. Huh. <laughs> glad bot. somebody's just like. I'm glad it took until the end of the stream, just like, wait, why is somebody called Baby Girl on Discord? Mm. I just didn't know what was happening, but I didn't question it. The enemy is level 99, source the guide you put on stream. Okay, so be careful about that, basically. You literally would need to grind it out with Ricky if you wanted several sets. Ew. <laughs> like continuing to steal stuff, I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Eh, it's not really necessary, it's that's not. like... Honestly, the specifics of the armor really don't matter after a point. Why does chat call you baby girl? Because they call Noah baby girl and I was silly. Hm. What? What? Who? He cosplayed Noah at MAGFest. Aha! Alright. I got two eggs here. One from Kevin R. that says, Eggle's famous line. Yo, Egg. It did not come deep enough. It was a very sharp egg. Or blunt, mm -hmm. I guess. And Kevin also sends in, This was originally going to be, You'll pay for your egg, but then I found an even better uh, Larethia quote. Pay homage to eternal egg. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, I don't think we even heard that at all. Alright, uh, let's do the Wisdom of Duke that I missed earlier. From Disaster. Disaster 20, this is for you. Some lemonade, apparently. Come get some! Was that with a dry lemon? Probably not. Otherwise, we'd be done collecting. Hmm. Why is Noah baby girl? Have you seen him? I, I don't understand it either. I'm... It, it's a net meme. Meteor yeah. Smasher for live says, I only have 10 bits left. Here you go. Thank you. Bleach Bummer says, so donating for a bit of birthday luck since it's now officially my birthday. And that, uh, that in case you missed it or I missed hearing you read my twit longer donations for break. I didn't. You did it twit longer? You, you did a twit longer? You donated earlier, but it wasn't a tweet longer.
Happy birthday either way. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I see two from you tonight. And neither was a, a link I had to click. But happy birthday either way. And uh, Fur1001 says, one bugger down, how many to go? Also, well done for finally getting to the pharmacy to get your insulin. Wait. Oh, and Fox Platt says, that fight took me nearly two hours. Oh no! <laughs> that is, I prefer the Turtle Earthy, I'm assuming. It can take some time if you uh, get caught on the mechanic. Or not at all if you get lucky and get a really good chain attack. Thumbs up. Alright, uh... Let's go to Art Block and let's get out of here, because it is late. I was wondering why I'm feeling like so tired. It all makes sense. All right, I got two pieces here. One from Gabber19 to kick us off. Hello, everyone. I was very, I very recently found out that the alts of the month are a thing in John's community, so I figured I would start drawing them in 2023. Since I heard that the alt of the month was Habanero John, I decided to draw something in a similar vein. So as a warm up to drawing alts, I decided to draw Jalapeno John, Rosa John, and Bagel. Enjoy. Thank you, Gabber. Appreciate it. A little, little spicy bagel there. And the last one I have here from Tiger. Not to be rude, but are you really Nofisia? How could you doubt me with my ab with my when my abundance is clear for any to see? Now keep those pancakes coming. That's a lot of pancakes. From Tiger Brows, I drew Rosa John as no uh, Nofika once before, and I'll do it again. Rosa John was very disappointed to learn that in Final Fantasy XIV you have to kill gods to make pancakes. Killing a god is too much work for pancakes, but impersonating one, on the other hand, better be getting the crafting materials I need for all these turn-ins, or I'll be mad. Giant stack of pancakes, though, at least. Has a lot of pancakes. How many you got in your inventory there? <laughs> That's a lot of pancakes. It's too many pancakes. You can't eat that many. No, no. You, she could eat that many pancakes. She, I mean, see, at that point, she, wouldn't, she wouldn't can eat that many pancakes. Wouldn't it be better to just like make a big cake? Like she, you're losing the she, texture she, in the field. She, just, the she wants the pancakes. She just wants the pancakes. She just likes pancakes. Fuck, I want pancakes. Thank you, Tiger. The only place I could get them reliably is Mickey D's, and I'm not going there. Fuck that. The bunny is doing the yes, dear face. I noticed that. Nice touch. Nod and agree. Cole, do you not know me? <laughs> no, I think they were not in agreeing with you. <laughs> Those are all collectible pancakes. I'm not sure they're for eating. That sounds like quitter talk. Folks, what's our raid message? Scheduled for the week, uh, power trip on Wednesday. Thursday, Persona 3 and technically 4, uh, sponsored stream, and Saturday, Fortune Cookie. Ryan in third, New Hulk order, you'll pay for your insolence. Oh, when's the next Xenoblade stream? That's a good point. Uh, currently planned for the 30th, so two weeks from now. We are planning for the 30th, the Monday, January 30th, to be the next Xenoblade stream and potentially the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. When's Coliseum? Uh, March. Third or fifth. First weekend of March. So we're fine. We got it. Since we don't have to do Future Connected in time, we're fine. Future Connected is like us two streams, anyways. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to get those in before Coliseum without, like, yeah, 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 jamming yeah. it down everyone's throat. I think you can afford to not. For my own sanity, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. You can take a break. You, you could probably just never even come back to it if you weren't feeling it. No need to force or it. Or do it on your... Or just do it yourself. I yeah. think some people want to see it, though. That's the thing. I don't know. What were you going to cosplay as, anyways? Uh, I was going to leave it up to people to suggest them, and then I was... I afraid I was going to vote or pick from it. I think it was going to do a vote. 
But uh, the most popular options, like I mentioned earlier, were uh, Dixon, which honestly, that's probably what I would have went with. Uh, Mithra, <laughs> which surprised me. Um, Melia or Sharla. It might, I think Melia actually got a couple more suggestions than Sharla. And it was a, I don't, I can't remember if it was a Nopon in particular or just a, like, a Nopon in general. I think those were the most popular options. Most popular suggestions. I recently learned about Rosalax. She big. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. As most Snorlaxes are. Uh... I forgot I was looking for someone to raid. Oops. Tyler's mm -hmm. still going on that marathon. Brave boy there. He's playing Sunshine now. Ooh, he's doing crowd control. Sure, I know we raided Tyler last time, but if he's doing crowd control Sunshine, I think some of you that want to stay up are going to have some fun. <laughs> what are we doing for raid out of these? Yeah, we gotta do it. You'll pay for your insolence. You we, raid we Jesus. Get. Jesus may be based on Jesus Christ. Let's tell, let's tell Technic Gans that he'll pay for his insolence. Although I think he's already paying if he's doing crowd control right now. I think we're paying for the insolence. 100? Hang on, let me, let me open crowd control. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get my free oh coins. What is this? What is this? All right, I got this 100 coins. One? What should oh I use? God. Oh, I got 150 it's coins. What should Jesus. we use it on? Again? What the fuck is Abomination Mario? John, that, thank you so that much. Is. Yeah. I think, I think it's think John. Oh I'm yeah. Wondering that. Well, I see a proton John. Evo, Give me an so Abomination, please. Why is someone just use red? that? That's just big. It's hard to say. That's not an Abomination. That's just big. Really hard to say. What's up, crew? Oh, I killed the frame rate though. Holy oh, shit. My Mario is looking. Weird. I'm at the same size. Whoa. I'm the same size as them right now. And it didn't last I got very the long full either. Calgary oh, no. he, today. Yeah, he just I literally got, got raided by Lucagen earlier. And I'm confused. Now by John today, at night. Sure. Calgary showing their love. That's their two clan love. Oh no, not that many. Can I? Can you guys stop switching my? We're playing crowd control. Uh, thanks for coming through, guys. All right. Go give so, him some love. Go root for him the as he does crowd control to hurt me. like a oh, crazy John? person. John just hurt me. Okay, John's trying to kill me right now. <laughs> I'm kind of pissed about mm -hmm. it. <laughs> but everything will be okay. okay. I hurt because I Let care. Me Let me finish it. I also hurt because I'm hurt. That's how it goes. Left. He's fine. He's perfectly Don't fine. Need to be All right, I'll see you guys on Wednesday for uh, Power Trip. Night, everybody. Hey, guys. I don't know if that lets you hurt me. This channel is intended for mature audiences. Wow. Mm -hmm. I've seen that coming. No, Tyler is completely say so. Oh, there's the abomination. He just showed up for a minute there. Mm, oh, he's very shoot. tall and skinny. Mmm, mm, the funky mushroom, eh? Yeah. <laughs> long Mario. Long Mario is yeah. long, they say. Rumor has it. Night, everybody. Night.